And I think I'm like, yeah, here we go. Oh, my goodness. The dream team, uh, i.e. the only five people that watched the whole series of Batwoman. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, we, we all have our crush in the German dude as well. Um, because, oh, yeah, because I've got to say that, that Rags and uh, Mola, you, although you're not caught up on EFAP, you have actually watched it all. Yes. We have, yes. We have seen the whole show. Um and I think that the five of us collectively probably formed the largest conglomeration of online Batwoman watching that exists. Like if, if someone I'm knew, yeah. Thinking, and now we're in a support group. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine the producers of the show knew about this. Like a collective of several communities coming together to discuss Batwoman. They're like, oh, that's so awesome. And then they listen to it. And they're like, what the hell? Yeah. Just well, talking about <laughs> just shit. <laughs> This, this can't be a television show. Them just talking what's wrong with these people? Why don't they just yeah. watch something they like? <laughs> yeah. Why are they being so horrible to this thing? Um, I would just simply tell them, "Oh, I like it. Please keep making it." Well, I was going to say you kind of—I mean, in this in a sick and twisted way, but in a sick and twisted way, Molly, you do like it. I love it. I think it's mm. my favorite content when someone is making like well content and, and they have absolutely no idea why it's not good. They they think it's great. There's so many. They they like they've mutated and and malformed what writing is into all these crazy ideas. Like a lot of tropes run in Batwoman, uh, being that you guys would have seen enough superhero shows to know that when an episode starts with like some overt narrative about sh is it right ever to kill? It's like oh we're doing that this episode, are we? All right, yeah, give it a shot. Yeah. A lot of shows nail it. A lot of shows have maybe multiple episode arcs. Batwoman just rips his throat apart and then she's like there is the body and then next episode she's like mostly forgotten about it because also Batman has killed people so it's totally fine wow <laughs> and that very end end of of or of saying throat. I'm not a criminal the, the episode after she murdered a man with his hands tied behind his back <laughs> <laughs> I am not a criminal I'm is not a criminal that is that he tried to kill himself right he failed and mm. then he tells if I give you the information you want, will you let me go? It's like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, you me, you'll kill me. You, well, you try to date yourself, you know. They swept that oh, shit under the rug so fast. Well, well they, they waste what? everything. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> Bruce murdered wait. the Joker. It's fine. Hey, we're, we're, we're getting, we're getting <laughs> way ahead of ourselves. We're getting way ahead of ourselves. Uh, for all the lovely people who are just coming in, uh, let's get some introductions in case they're wondering who the fuck are these people and why are they talking. Um, so I think do we do Mauler and do we do you and Rags as like a duo, an EFAP duo? That's that's that implies with some kind of you know married yeah. couple of partnership. It's well, we've got to get some diversity up in here, y'all. So you know you might as well be. That woman has brought us closer together. Yes. Yeah. And I know that as that, as a member of the LGBT. Q A, uh, that means that I can kill people and she'll let me get away with it. Mm. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> so we got we got Mags and Ro Mags. Oh my god, I've been oh doing my goodness. Mags, Mags and Roller. And Roller. That's a whole different we got thing. yeah, Mag, there you go. Oh my god, I'm shipping Mags. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness, Love it. Uh, we got more than rags from EFAP. Great to have you on, guys. Uh, then we got the absolutely gorgeous, even though she's hidden behind. Oh, I still think is an Abby Smash uh, avatar, uh, Jay Longbone, <laughs> who I've been desperate Hi. to Hi. Desperate <laughs> your live stream with uh, ever since I saw her stuff. This this woman this woman kept me going, watching watching uh, Jay Longbone's reviews, and uh, I couldn't have got through without them. Jesus Christ, it's Aww. the only thing that gave me a laugh. Uh, so thank, <laughs> thank you for coming on, and then Thorias who. I, I kind of think we had the same journey into depression uh, with the show. Who, he's very analytical, I would say. You're very analytical. You know, you look into the minutiae of stuff. I uh, tried to. At the end of it, you're still put, you literally pulled your hair out, as we can see. Yeah. Is it is it Thorias or Thorias? It's Thorias. <laughs> oh. Because <laughs> well, I feel like Thorias yeah. was yeah. like, I didn't it's allegedly, cool. yeah. but I don't A lot know. of people don't know I mean, how to pronounce it. It's cool. Psoriasis. You know who had a thorny ass is Abby. That sounds like psoriasis, kind of like psoriasis. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with that one. Uh, but yeah, I've been I watched all of your stuff. Um, Thank you so, so much. So it was, it was great to to get you on as well because uh, yeah, 
I kind of had to exercise my own demons by listening to people. And then Maul is just like, oh, I love this. Oh, I honestly can't get enough of this show. I'm really sad I'm not going to get it now for another half year. I'm, they, I'm they never stop going to withdraw. You. Another half year? You're kidding me. We're never going to fucking see this show until about <laughs> October next year. Well, I read an article that said it might be early next year. <laughs> they don't yeah, even they know the fuck January. That they don't look. Giving them look, making them rush it will make it even better. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you take all of this out of context, it really does sound like we're earnest fans of this show. <laughs> we can't, we, we're we're like a fan club getting together to discuss the rumors of when it's, season two is going to be here. Well, and I heard content. from <laughs> Susie Jenkins on the Mary Sue.net org that she heard a whisper that actually oh, was going to come out in early October. But I think I think the best thing to start with then is the fact that um next season we will not be getting uh, Ruby Rose. She's she's gone. Wah, wah. <laughs> 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 the main character of the show. So um, the reason this is a huge loss for the show that you all need to understand is her acting is abysmally bad, and I think that whoever replaces her is probably going to be better. But probably. what if they, what if they do go through with it and they they create uh, what they call him Ryan Wilson, what? Ryan, Wilson. <laughs> Ryan Wilson, Ryan Wilson, whatever. Well, imagine the person they get is a good actress; she'll ruin it. She'll actually ruin the show. She, she's need, not going to be you know, any good. She's not going to be good. Ruin ruin the show quite happily on their own. When it, when it's not even just only be able to complain about the writers now. Whenever um Ruby Rose has to act like a scene where she has to show any emotion, she just like bricks her face and goes, Urgh. Urgh. <laughs> It's so Urgh. fun. It's just like, oh, there she goes. Look, uh, <laughs> different acting. scenario this time. I don't think they're gonna get anyone better than her because I think that they hit the jackpot with her because she was like. She's a shitty actress. That's you know th her acting caliber is good enough for CW, Ew. but her resume they hit the jackpot with that because she's very she's people know about her. She looks cool. She's been in some Hollywood films, but now that she's gone, they're gonna have to get so they're they're gonna they have to go in house to find a new actress because they can't. There's no way they can hit the same jackpot they did before. They're gonna have like, to, I think we're gonna get the same amount of bad acting. I'm inexperienced. With the CW as a whole, but we did watch the five-part Infinite Crisis episodes, mm -hmm. and I would say literally every other person in that show is better than her as an actress. Supergirl, I would probably hmm. agree. Yeah, Supergirl like is like a like like okay. Like if 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 she was to be in Batwoman and as as Batwoman, I would be like, no, that's still a possibility. <laughs> it doesn't have that could still happen. What Superwoman? Yeah, well, anything can... possible. They Supergirl are the could be Batwoman. Yeah, yeah why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I mean, by the end of the series, uh, the only thing that could penetrate the uh, bat suit, because it certainly wasn't going to be a cock, was um, <laughs> Kryptonite. Because <laughs> they couldn't even get the fucking shows correct. You they know? can't even remember. Also fucking the third episode. There's already guns that exist that do that. Why do they need Kryptonite? Alice had one of those guns. It's so. Oh, there were two, two, right? Ba Batman made one, and then there, there was the one in the gun. They were just automatic. But the thing they're forgetting, this is the thing that blew our minds. We were like, so. The entire season plot for Alice comes down to her wanting to kill Batwoman. You're like, okay, I understand. She needs a kryptonite. You're like, why don't you just kill Kate Kane? Kate Kane doesn't have a Batwoman suit on at many moments in her life. Just kill her. Just shoot her. And, keep, and keeps turning up to your base. Yeah, she in, randomly... In, in you a, know where she lives. What? Kill her in her sleep. It's going to be hard. It's Everyone so breaks the way down. If it's I don't so kill her in her suit, I don't get the extra XP. Yeah. yeah, it's so stupid too because they had they already did that storyline where they had the fight, which Alice won easily by knocking her unconscious with a trumpet. Like, couldn't you just hit her with a trumpet <laughs> again and just like shoot her in the mouth or something? <laughs> so, so who, who, who's? I mean, they, they want to get what was it Janelle from fucking YouTube to take over? That's the story, isn't it? I mean, not the person, but that's the backstory. The character she lives in a fucking caravan. <laughs> Um, Why not? Why and not? She's, a, she's a naughty person. So Dude, it's well, because that. it's funny because episode one was already chaos and absurd. She like gets to be Batwoman by the end of the forty minutes when she starts out in like the middle of nowhere, training as a, like underwater. She completes with a story arc in the first episode of the <laughs> series. So 
we were we were like you gotta you gotta retroactively build on that because you haven't earned it and it's like no we're already dropping that this is gonna be a new one you're like what you what hooray <laughs> we'll add that to the pile of wasted <laughs> things awesome <laughs> deal the suit Luke is. We were actually trying to. I can't remember if this is in one of our episodes, but we were like theorizing how you could actually make this good if if you were a good writer and you took over. And it's like that's so every people, episode. Make Luke the new like person who fights shit. Fuck it. Yeah, he's uh, actually interesting. Go back to that universe where you have cool ripped gun Luke. You will yeah, make grab him, him will abduct him Luke. from the manor. Out of muffin Luke. We're gonna make yeah. him. Because he's on his own anyway, because Batwoman killed his his boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, because because Ruby no, it was Ruby Rose. It was yeah. Batwoman kicked. Um, uh, yeah, Batwoman <sighs> killed killed Batman. Yeah, Batwoman killed Batman, which is what this whole show's been about, basically. Anyway, they mm. just now finally wanted to put some visuals to it. Um, go back there, swap them. It'll be way better that way. Hmm. Mm. Because Luke, Drop we have his shit. I mean, everyone, we soy, have soy, shit. soy Luke, and then soy take Luke. Luke. Yeah, yeah, Muffin Luke is awful. Get rid of him. Get gun ripped gun Luke. Like, and then they turn almost him into had the something. And have him go like dropping M bombs all over the place. Absolutely, you know, and have him killing some people at the start, and then we can gradually make him learn about the no kill rule and why Batman had it, and maybe he adopts it, and then he has to go through loads of drama because. Is he absolved for his past crime? You know, we could do stuff. The stuff we can do. I don't know. They've Remember already kind of ruined the no-kill rule, though. Mm. But they, inv they invalidated that. Oh, right. Because he you know, that murdered that. Joker, so that's not a thing anymore. Oh, we, yeah, we that's have right. You can't, you, can't, you can't just say Batman totally killed people without having shown all of the context for it and actually... And specifically the Joker. And they... And a throwaway that. line. Yeah, I was it totally you you could have been forgiven for missing that. It was just one of those casual, yeah, well, you know, when Batman killed Joker, it was da 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 da, da and then <laughs> moving on to the next scene. And you, you might have missed it yeah. if you went for a pee break, you'd never know that in I this universe that it's was, official. You know, I'm massively gay. That was the <laughs> next scene, because that was always the next scene in this show. It's bad enough. <laughs> That they had that happen, but it's also used to tell Kate that it's okay that she's a killer, which is so ass backwards, it's insane. Because That's whatever what context that Joker was killed by Batwoman, it is not going to be the, sorry, Joker was killed by Batman, it is not going to be the same context as when Creepy Skin Man was killed by her. She throttled his staple wound open until he bled. He bled to death and she tried to do CPR. That shit was so funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're like pumping she, the whenever she out pushes his chest. Yeah, yeah, all you have to do is killing him fast. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's what, what made the whole thing so offensive, too. It's because, one, they didn't make a big deal out of the fact that Batman killed somebody at all. But also, it wasn't even about Batman's character in the first place. It was just about letting Kate off the hook for killing yeah. someone. Well, it was just it, it was dragging him down. So yeah, it, it's yeah, all exactly. the theme of the show where yeah. we have to drag Batman down. This was it's, the last thing in a long series of different displays of how Batman is actually kind of shit. And we should be grateful. We should be grateful that <laughs> Kate Kane is here to take up the mantle. <sighs> and, and then uh, the irony of them introducing Bruce Wayne or a Bruce Wayne lookalike at the end of the season and the ratings go up for it. It's like, oh wait, people really like this character. Who knew? We'll take Bruce Wayne even <laughs> in the hush behind the fucking face. It's like whatever. We'll take, yeah, fake, ask mass fake Bruce Wayne over this woman any day. <laughs> it fits the, just... it, the 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 um. I guess you could call it a trend now with uh, Star Wars in particular. We see it. Uh, Batman mm -hmm. is kind of running in a parallel to the sequel or the the original trilogy characters you gotta gotta tear those old ones down or try and convince us that those guys actually aren't all that great they're they're really actually pr pretty crappy but but we can springboard off of your misplaced love of them to show you how great these new characters are well that's because they can't create they can't create characters so they have to tear down the other ones because they have no idea how to elevate their own Kate was the worst, disgusting, horrible piece of shit <laughs> the world has ever seen. And everyone kept oh, telling yeah. her she was a hero. And we kept getting told she was a hero. But we never, ever saw her do anything heroic. Do you remember in the episode where she killed Creepy Skin Man, she said, um, 
I would be what Beth would be if not for you, as if she's this great person. <laughs> no. I'm not a bad person. Well, in the episode that we were watching, in the, we in one of the episodes that we watched, uh, the one that debuted um, on uh, EFAP channel recently, it was t yesterday, wasn't it? Um, there mm -hmm. was the there. It was the episode where Sophie and Batwoman um, are kind of in a relationship, sh sort of. They're starting to make one. They're like they're they're, they're kind of gearing up for one, and. Then Batwoman has to go to Sophie and tell Sophie we can't be in a relationship. They'll use you against me. Mm. And it's it's always the selfish angle with her. She's extremely selfish. If other people get the glory, even if lives are saved and and all that stuff, she it's bad for her. She but needs to be the know? one to get the credit. <laughs> how would they know she was fucking Sophie? Well, but, well if they well, they weren't exactly making a secret out of it. The, well, the greater yeah. point is you're, you're supposed to say as a hero immediately, like, it's dangerous for you. To yeah, you you will be put anyway. in danger because they will try and use you as a way to get She's a, a member me. of a security firm that gets blown up every week. <laughs> 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 It's just it's just funny though because she's just like, hey, they could use you against me. It's like I could get hurt. It's like that's irrelevant. They could yeah, use but they'll use you against me, right? Like this is about me. This is my show. I'm Kate yeah. Kane. I don't give a fuck about anyone else, really. It's, oh, it's was, all about me. This is me they, time. They were that trying to do the uh, Batman um, family thing, and it didn't work because they didn't know what they're doing because they don't know what they're doing. So they were they're trying to do the um, you be in danger. Uh, you would be track down this is why i wear a mask i mean the whole point you know is masks and secret identities is to protect your family and that's so it doesn't make any sense that she'd be in the mask because when she's fucking sophie is she gonna wear the suit <laughs> gotta the suit off. Of course. i'm gonna keep the cowl on <laughs> hey i recognize these fucking million tattoos oh We're shit i'm wrapping She's concerned about being connected to Sophie, and she turns up at her house to tell her this. It's like, maybe maybe meet somewhere a secret, you fucking idiot. <laughs> nope, balcony of my lover's house, just mm. hanging out. Here That's I am. The, boy with the, the, the lady who cuts people's faces up the, our Instagram influences, right? That's, she's like, she hates makeup. That's That's her thing. But but hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. don't get off this one, mate. Because at the end of the episode, when she dumps Sophie, she goes and fucks Julia. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, that's so Julia, does, you know, don't give a fuck about J hey, Julia. Fuck you. <laughs> let's, let's, yeah. uh, I don't give a fuck if you get shot. I don't give a fuck if you get. The about the show, Emmy, is, Ivory, any of these? Because like, wait, I, I was confused when you said that. Because I was like, doesn't Julia and Sophie? Is like, oh wait, no, you're right. Yeah, break like, it again a few episodes later. She just doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> and and up to this point, she has a she has a relationship once with the bartender lady pretty early three, on in yeah. like episode four or three, something like that. Three, oh, three or four. Yeah, the, the magpie I, one. Uh, dun, dun, yeah. dun. Who turns out to be Magpie's sister, who yeah. she then meets up with later on, coincidentally, and they restart their their love, their their tisms, their relationship thingy. Who? Well, let's put it this way: what what I lesbian in the show has a bad woman fucked? Um, Sophie. She didn't the teenager. Oh yeah, it's only oh, been yeah. we, we've seen flashbacks to them making out and stuff, but yeah. we haven't actually seen them do it in real time. Oh, yeah, but we know that she has. Us. Yeah, we, but they yeah. haven't fucked on the on the timeline of the show. Yeah. Um, yeah. So they still have fucked. So what what other lesbians do we have in the show that yeah. that woman they need has? To the, the terrorist, hacker teenager, the terrorist, the terrorist. Yeah. 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 teenager. Yeah. I will put a pin gay. in that. Get back to her later. I'm sure. But then she invites her back for that one episode. Fuck, she's such, she's such an insufferable little cunt. Mm. Uh, it, they brought her back. <laughs> this She does invite her to the Batcave, which isn't quite what I meant with the original question. <laughs> I get it. Thing? I think it's a vagina thing. Uh, but that girl, she got a girlfriend because she was on the phone to her girlfriend uh, when Hush went, shh. Oh, dude, Hush is so fucking funny in that episode. He just walks up <laughs> to people with his guns. He doesn't care about anything. 
He's got him. He's got him both pointed forwards as he's walking, oh, like he's some kind of Tomb Raider two villain. Yeah, because the only picture they've ever seen is of Hush with two guns like that. That's the, that's the only research they ever did. So, so they think he literally walks around like this twenty four seven with his fucking shooters just popping people. <laughs> It's that so is the cool. level of research for this show. It's fucking abysmal. His first episode where he's like full on got his his new stupid fucking face bandages, whatever. Uh, we just see him kill two people in a library, and then he walks over to a guy sitting at a desk, and then he's about, he cuts to the he's captured that guy. And I was like, wait, so are we supposed to believe that he walked into the library, walked all the way upstairs, walked to this particular set? <laughs> Killed those two people, then went to the guy. Like, what? Why did you just not kill those two people? <laughs> what was the, point of that? You, in the background? Though, there was two other people, and they just didn't give a fuck. Yeah, they don't fucking care. They were just <laughs> looking at books, just like looking through. Oh, who cares? Uh, this oh. it, it, silences don't work in real life. How they work in movies? Yeah, like, in, in movies. movies like Silences don't do that. Silences are still loud. <laughs> still loud. Yeah, uh, you still have to w wear ear protection with silencers, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> um, but in movies, people who are standing fifteen feet behind you, they don't know what's going on. No. If you're inside, it's don't don't worry about it. It's fine. You got silencers. It's a free pass to do whatever. Mm -hmm. keep don't worry about it. I think would have seen him though, in like a way they think is cool. Like they show him with his gun, they're like, "Oh, look at him!" How bad. did they get him into oh, Arkham? How the fuck did they get him into Arkham? Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. <laughs> I mean, they they basically turned Arkham into just their their house, their pad. They just hung around. Sophie would just be in his office for hours, and I I guess, and nobody. This didn't raise questions to anybody, and this ties into yeah, they, how the writing of the show makes it so yeah. that when Mouse puts on the face of anybody. He doesn't just look like them, but he apparently absorbs all of the knowledge contained within the face of that person, <laughs> and, and he can then well. <laughs> he can change height and weight as well. <laughs> yeah, he changes height and weight, and he also he knows how to do that person's job. So if they're the head psychologist <laughs> at an institution, boom, he has all that info. If he's a tech scientist at some weapons manufacturing corporation, boom, he making rail guns. He just but knows how to do everything. In that situation, if he was playing the psychiatrist, then Mouse is missing from Arkham, and then yeah, what, they, about, what about the what yeah. about the doctor's wife that he's impersonating? <laughs> Who knows? Did she not oh. notice that her husband? Yeah, her they husband kill a god gone? as well. The Sorry, god apparently didn't know. have any loved ones. Was, was he going home at night to see the wife, or was he staying at Arkham? Because it sounds like he was staying at Arkham because he said he well, enjoyed they, the hot shower. Like your dick is so like, different. It's really weird. Like, I don't what's understand. What's going on with the wife? They Honey, why do you smell the ass mask for for uh, <laughs> so There's Honey? two people at Arkham missing. <laughs> why does your face smell like it's rotting? I don't understand. <laughs> also, also, they were letting the Mag also, they, they let Magpie out for a while, I think. Uh, and you don't know the names. Nobody of our notices children. that multiple prisoners are missing. Meanwhile, you've got <laughs> Alice, <laughs> Alice, and, and Mouse just running around like they like they own the place. They're hanging out in the electric chair room for hours on end. And we know the security <laughs> staff is still there because there's at least one guard who notices them when Batwoman is there trying to make the, the prisoner exchange or whatever. So the security staff is still there, at least one guy. So did no one notice any of this was happening? <laughs> How the fuck does that work? It's This one, This is one scene that made me laugh. Uh, it was the one where uh, Alice releases all the uh, Arkham inmates. And like <laughs> Mouse as uh, like the head doctor or whatever, like he's like going in and out of the room. Uh, he he, uh, he and Hush are going in and out of the room like like it's nothing, and it's just like they're just. <laughs> yeah, he just strides in from <laughs> the hallway. Waltz is in. The door is unlocked. I mean, I'm surprised people there don't give a fuck. Without mentioning that in the electric chair room, there is the ability to open a panel and release all prisoners in Arkham. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's where you want it, obviously. That's yeah. obviously where it would be. <laughs> it's just the Tell us what you know or we'll release all the prisoners. You know, it makes perfect sense. It's called um, We Don't Give a Fuck About This Show. This whole thing is just <laughs> made because we want gay people in TV. <laughs> They're gonna have to uh, have Hush just in episode one of season two magically learn 
uh, Bruce Wayne's voice because the thing that they may have forgotten is it's not enough to have the face. Mouse could apparently impersonate yeah. anybody. Yeah. So they're just yeah. be like, unless he's going to talk like an idiot throughout the whole thing, like hush his way of being talked. <laughs> 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 they're gonna, no, there'll be a throwaway line where I just be, I, where Alice will just be, I have taught you everything I know about throwing your voice hush. Go. Yeah. Come here. Come here. <laughs> All right. Well, if you're Bruce Wayne, what's the password to his computer? Uh, like, oh fuck! I didn't think uh, this far ahead. Oh, like, I didn't. Oh, I didn't. I didn't think ten oh, seconds ahead. Shit. I. I guess they just assume that oh he was Bruce's friend, so he automatically knows everything about him inside and out, and he'll just be able to do everything. The person, yeah, the person who hated <laughs> Bruce Wayne. <laughs> so, the password at Wayne Enterprises is Alfred. Alfred. <laughs> holy, holy shit! The head of security's password is Alfred. Oh my god! Like, well, yeah, that goes back to the first the episode. Hacker to have guessed that they uh, never changed his password, and it's a very, very Alfred, obvious password. Arthur, Alfred. Oh, I'm in. Oh, I'm in. Or, I'm or a completely random series. I mean, it's, of it's not like those computers are that hard to break into anyway. Oh, what I was mean, the um? I mean, that, what was the, that was a big, a, a big a plot point in the first episode. Kate, like, it was like scales the scales the building to break into the building makes. You know, Luke look like an idiot and just breaks into the computers like it's the easiest thing in the world. People keep breaking uh, in throughout the whole season. It's hilarious. They just keep breaking in. Luke's just like bewildered every time. The security is a joke in that building. And he keeps Batman leaving and Robin, and what was the password? Because Alfred had a little computer thing, and that yeah. girl in that movie, she guessed the password. <laughs> it was like a was, three letter name. What was it? Yeah. Was it like. What was it? Was it, was it was Kenny? Oh, Peg. Peg. Peg, of course. Mm. By the way, to oh, all yeah. the people watching this, one one day when you're old and senile and going senile and going crazy, and, and when you have all your passwords and everything, don't have your password be like your most beloved relative's first name. Just don't well, do my, it. Well, my password's password, so that, oh, fuck. Oh, mine is one, two, three, four. <laughs> You just revealed all of our passwords. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, well, well, I guess we've lost our accounts then. Oh, uh, is, do you remember in episode one where she enters the main room and she just has the flashback of them looking at the, the necklace and she's like, ah, oh, that's <laughs> what that <game> is. <laughs> what? Very convenient flashback. <laughs> it's funny because the first episode tells you everything you need to know about this whole show. You're like, oh. This episode's great. Okay. It sets you up perfectly. Um, yeah. The first episode is one of those. It's like a like a training video for people. It's like, ah, oh, you wanna you wanna criticize things? Well, here's the first episode of Batwoman. <laughs> just find all the things that you can. Train your brain to spot all this stuff, and it's it's a minefield of it's like a gateway, writing. It's like a gateway drug. When Kinda, the, you get hooked. It's still one of the better episodes of the season. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Oh, that's, no. that's terrible. I'd say it's one of the worst. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'd say. I don't know. Well, I mean, <laughs> she, 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 she concludes her story arc in the first episode. Her well, season I, arc is concluded. I mean, I think the I think the show got progressively worse. I mean, compared to the rest of it, I think the pilot is one of the lesser bad episodes. But I, I mean, low mm, bar. I, mm, I, low, low bar. I think. The, I, think the I don't know. One of the worst. Um, I, um, the one of the ones we thought was one of the best was when. 16, Luke, right? the moment where he got to act, he like yeah. stood up. Yeah, that was. I think that was yeah. sixteen. That was Jake managed to outplay a sniper, and mm. they, put, they put Alice and Mouse in prison. We were like, just for those three things alone, this episode is now the best episode of Batwoman season one. <laughs> speaking, speaking of snipers, what's it? What is it? Great when they're trying to get second Beth out of Wayne Enterprises, and they decide to stop at a random car park. Uh, where there were two snipers set up ready to kill them. <laughs> they take off their helmets in broad daylight. Of all the layers, stop for a breather. Set. Oh man, we made a bad we made a bad guess. There are two snipers <laughs> here ready to kill us. Dang it. Oh so no. With a sniper one, rifle. This fucking um, Augustus with a sniper rifle is just like holy shit. I can imagine this is in some kind of a D and D game. And the DM has his one, his D100, and he rolls a natural one on that D100. And he's like, ah, oh, you encounter two snipers who are camped here randomly, and they shoot your characters dead. And they're like, ah, oh, man, what, what terrible, horrible luck. 
Sophie doesn't even pursue the other shooter, a like fifty year old man. <laughs> <laughs> he just had the surprised face, and that's basically it. But that's oh Sophie. Yeah. Oh my god, he shot her. You were gonna fucking shoot a bitch. You no, but I decided <laughs> not to. Probe. The thing of that is, she she would have also seen Luke through the scope. And, yeah. and even yeah. if she didn't know who Luke was, even if she hadn't met Luke, I mean, I think she, they did come face to face later on in the season. So, didn't she have any questions for him? Like, why did wait, why were you helping this wanted felon escape? Oh my god, were you, you at the sniper you, parking lot? No, you highlighted no something that you can tell you, though. When uh, when Jacob finds out that Beth is alive, or at least Alice is alive, and he's like, but I, I saw her in the morgue, and then uh. Batwoman, because she doesn't want to reveal the infinite universes thing. She's like, "Well, you, you know, it could be, it could be a minion with like one of those faces." And Jacob's like, "Oh, okay." It's like, what? <laughs> yeah, he drops that. Yeah, the drops that shit. Like, no, I exactly. saw my daughter dead in a morgue, <laughs> and you're just, you're just, and then he just like, oh, I, I guess, I guess what I saw just didn't count. Just then. Basically, you know, okay, <laughs> what you it's just doesn't count. <laughs> You she could, she you just know, appeals to the insane writing. She's like, "Oh, you know this universe. Things are just fucking crazy. You can't, you can't trust your eyes." He's like, "Yeah, this is a good point." Well, that's he, a good he, question. He was the character that was. He was all over the place the most during the season. His character. Who's, who's your favorite? Uh, who's your favorite character? Everybody. The one that died. Like, like if if there's uh, one person what? when you see them on screen, you're the least annoyed. Uh, well, Luke. The only one to choose from, really. The best on screen? That is such a terrible question. Uh, uh, is you feel the least amount of pain when you see them. Yeah, I'd have to say Luke. Luke. Alternative world Alice. Luke. I, Alice? I would oh, yeah. say either that, that, Luke or for a few Jacob. Um, so J Jacob is like, I think the best, my favorite moments in the season actually go to Jacob, but he's been, he's, he's been tizzing me here and there. He's done some stupid mm -hmm. shit here and there. Like, That's, he's not in season two. Wait, you reckon he won't be in season two? Yeah, I bet he's gone. I bet he's just gone. Oh, Jacob, you think he's going to be gone? No, Jacob, we're rooting for you, even though the show thinks like, you're bad. We know you're right. Sophie's going to be the leader of the crows. He's no! Me. <sighs> how, did, how did they get rid of him? Though? He died. No, he went missing. He went missing. <laughs> no, they're going to have to do it off screen because they can, he's like, they, they can't, showing up. Because I'm thinking they can't kill him off. Because they've already shown that he's he's immune to getting stabbed in the gut, so <laughs> three times. It, maybe he's immortal. I don't know. <laughs> he got shagged over and over again. The dude <laughs> like the dude knocks the shagger out, and he's like, "Hey, don't forget that I saved your life," and walks off while Jake is <laughs> <out. laughs> like, bleeding on the floor. Please call somebody. <laughs> I, I guess he wasn't injured that bad because the next time we see him, he's walking out of the courthouse having yeah. been. Uh, proven oh, yeah, yeah, it's good. he's got he's got um he's got immunity oh, powers as well because he yeah. spent three episodes in a fucking prison <laughs> telling everyone oh it's, the evidence is racking up the evidence is racking up and the next time we see him he's just out out it, and they <laughs> didn't even explain it they didn't well. even explain it. There, there was a whole there was a whole article about how they didn't fucking explain that they're like wait a minute bad woman's supposed to be good usually like, what please, happened please i know you saved me from being stabbed could you at least go to the phone that's in the prison cafeteria that anyone could use whatever they want <laughs> please can you go there and <laughs> call 911 or something very source of yeah. like a lot of funny shit happens with jacob mm, he he not his character annoying me well it, like like i said it, it's funny. He was the worst leader of a security company absolutely <laughs> That's part of funny. no no i no i think i think sophie was technically worse no. I I think Sophie's probably worse. Jacob, at least in a lot of oh. these episodes, is legitimately correct in the way that he sees Batwoman, and he wants to really, really capture some criminals. Oh yeah, Jacob satisfied mm -hmm. the hell out of us in the final episode. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. He he... That I think, was I think so oh, that was good. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, like, I'm totally like team Jacob. <laughs> I think we we were, we were I, I, her, and then they just continuously shoot her in a bulletproof armor, and then she flies away because what? no way she grabs onto it. Here's the th here's the thing about that: she's got a cape, and it's obviously made of shower <laughs> curtain material, and there's yeah. no bullet holes. The mo like they, they unload on her ass, and she, none of it goes through her cape. <laughs> or her mouth. Armor, Jay. That is what that is. Fucking yeah. hell. 
Plus, oh I think God. the crows technically, if we started a counter, I think the crows technically broke more laws when Sophie was leading them. They were the um, worse than Joe in Seattle. It's like just running around and shooting the shit out of anyone, regardless of whether they're like Because I feel Sophie, like when Jacob does. Go ahead. When Sophie teamed up with Batwoman and they beat the makeup artist person and they just left her. Like they, they, they just, <laughs> just off. left her there. I'm sure, the, I'm sure the cops will find her. <laughs> Batwoman, it was very versed in letting people go. She did it. Sophie on was a right very on board with it. Basis. She it wasn't keep just Alice. Alice the promise not to kill people. <laughs> but, <at least I'm... laughs> but when Jacob does like really morally questionable stuff, you could totally understand exactly why he's doing it and you can believe it. Like how he wants to keep creepy skinmen and like beat him up and he hates him a lot and he's keeping him prisoner. Like you yeah, can I mean... totally believe it. Why why he would do that as a character in this show. But I, I, that's just yeah. a matter of course for everyone else. He actually Wait, has the motivation the, to yeah. do it. Here's the thing about that, though. I can believe why Jacob wants to do this stuff. I don't understand how he keeps getting away with it. Because, I mean, <laughs> yeah. there were multiple times when he put, like, shoot to kill orders on people. And, like, <laughs> dude, this is highly illegal. Like, what? But, but Are the police not like exist exist in this city? Like, who is empowering him to do this? Does like, he have legal did authority you, to kill people? Like, how? They haven't explained any of this. The I GCPD... still don't even know what the crows are. <laughs> the the GCPD, security, but I mean, well, we don't. Are, are they? We don't like, really resolve that. Are they okay. deputized in some way? I have no idea. The point of the show, they alternate between or oh, the. Yeah, are the GCPD g gonna come and capture like the, yeah. like the social media lady, scary face person. She was left so that the GCPD would find her, and the GCPD <laughs> comes. Other times it's the crows, so it kind of swaps know. between the two. <gasps> it's like the only time they referenced the GCPD was to accuse them of being fucking homophobic, and that was the last time you saw. <laughs> so, <laughs> even in episode three, where you had Magpie. Who is it that takes Magpie away after she's caught? It's the Crows. And the uh -huh. GCPD are there watching this as the Crows <laughs> apprehend her and take her into custody. Well, that's making a statement about how they don't want a gay hero for later on in you know the series. I wanted to, I wanted to hear the speech by the commissioner. That uh, uh <clears throat> from the show. City, uh, we have a zero tolerance on crime. And uh, have always welcomed Batman to to save us, but if he smokes pole, he's gone. And we have, <laughs> we have recently come to our attention that Batwoman does scissor the vagu, and we can no longer support this activity. You know what? No, you, you're paraphrasing. They said she made things political, and they're totally <laughs> right. She's shoving. <laughs> Yeah, vagina all over saving people's lives, and I can't have that. Well, I say saving people's lives. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> killing people, <laughs> mostly killing kind people. Of disappeared from the show. The like the mayor, he was only in a couple early episodes, to my knowledge, and then he basically kind of disappeared. We haven't seen him in a while. I can't even remember the mayor. He was a, I think he was a middle-aged uh, black guy, really short hair. I, I, I thought that's the police commissioner. <laughs> I have no idea who you're talking about. I remember him when they ripped <laughs> off uh, Ghost in the Shell standalone complex when they put like the the cute puppy emoji over his face. I don't know. Yeah, like, his, uh, yeah. his son got kidnapped, and his son was totally boning that other guy, wasn't he? Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. that was in the episode. Well, no, they oh. they kidnapped his son because of the exchange that they needed to make with Mouse and Alice. But he was out he with was his boyfriend at the time, and they got Mouse. Them both. Everyone is gay in this show. Yeah, every, yeah. everyone is gay. <laughs> How are there people in this city? Where did they come from? I don't know. <laughs> like, they're 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 holes know. in the ground. The police they department, they're the only heterosexuals alive. That's why they're trying so hard. Why they hate them, yeah. That's why we barely see them. Oh, <laughs> no, no, another thing. While we're on this subject, every time we see the crows arresting someone or taking someone into custody... They're told to take them to Arkham, not to the police so they can go through due process and whatnot. No, they go straight to the insane asylum. Innocent so until does caught. The, does the justice system even yeah. exist at all in Gotham I'm, I'm anymore? 
Well, no, they, Batwoman is a vigilante who's terrible, and she's, like, praised by the general populace, even though, luckily, Jacob can see through her lies and propaganda. Luckily, thank God. They, they have, this city has no concept of justice. If they knew how many people she let escape and how many lives were on her hand, how much blood was on her hands, man, that... Well, but she, she basically just kept the costume to get closer to Sophie. That was that was really why she kept the costume. After the end of the first episode, she'd done what she needed to do with it. And then she just kept it for no other reason than to perv on... She was a stalker. I mean, it was always for selfish reasons. Because <laughs> Kate um, is a very, very selfish Stalker character. is on a long list of issues that character has, and it's low down. Yeah, <laughs> she was but... real. They would be me tooing the fuck out of her ass on Twitter right now. Uh, it's like, like saying Bill Cosby's a hit. Come me to a lesbian. Like oh, if you're a guy, I, think, yeah. I think we're going to see Amber Heard's. I think she's going to start getting it quite soon. Oh my god. Oh my god, Amber Heard for Batwoman. Do it. Uh. <laughs> Do it, awesome. cowards. Don't you cowards. You're cowards of beings. Let's quickly run through a few super chats before um, before people start to think that we we like this show. Uh, Black D, with a two euro super chat. I expect an 11 hour stream. Well, I mean, it's your mags. Mags, yes, did it again. <laughs> we'll go through each episode one by one. Yeah, yeah. Every minute. Let's just break it down. Every scene. Let's do it. <laughs> Bryce uh, Byerly with a $20 super chat. Thank you, sir. This is for bringing this villainous team up together. If you uh, together, you'll find a way to penetrate the back suit. I doubt it. I, I, some of us. No, it is. It is one hundred percent cock proof. What about a yeah, kryptonite? I'm all a kryptonite. It is schlong proof. That thing. Yeah. Anybody have a trumpet? Uh, <laughs> I've got a clown horn. Uh, that's as good as we're going to get with that one. I think. Uh, outside of the gun that was designed to do it, and the face-shaped hole in the mask. <laughs> It is odd. It it is kind. It's it is kind of the elephant in the room. Whenever there's a shooting scene involving her in the bat suit, you're like, ah, no one good. ever tries to go for the. F I'm still lost to the fact that it's like just go for it when she's Ruby Rose. Just just it's do the that. Robocop thing. He can't penetrate plus, his armor. But we're not I just like the after effects dings. Yeah, plus, it seems to be common knowledge in the public that the bat suit is like made of magic or something and it's like mm -hmm. the most impenetrable thing ever like everyone knows about this for some reason i don't know why like, so like sophie had a whole conversation with some chick at a bar about how how awesome the bat suit is first of all how do they know this and if they, and if they know this why don't they go for the mouth when they're shooting at her <laughs> that woman, the woman they brought in to make fucking hate jealous and chat Sophie up and like, oh, this is where they're gonna go. Never seen again. <laughs> what happened to that woman? <laughs> fucking gone. I bet it's I bet it's one of the fucking staff's lesbian partners that just came on for a cameo <laughs> to be a lesbian and then they were gone. That was it. Out. I was waiting for her to come back in and be Sophie's like, you know. Love interest for the second half of the season or something, but no, I think Batwoman's bad. I think Batwoman's good. I love her suit. Oh, Do you remember when she let a whole bunch hair? of people die so that she could sort out getting her hair done? Well, maybe, she, well, maybe Batwoman killed her. Um, Scottish Nerd <laughs> with a 1,050 super sticker of a phallic unicorn. Thank you, Scottish Nerd. Is this for you, EFAP? I don't know. Taylor Ramirez with a $2 super chat. What do you bring me? <laughs> 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 we brought you even more in-depth discussion on Batwoman. In That's like uh, I, I brought you a clip of me spilling my drink a minute ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All, all over my shirt. <laughs> That's a top, uh, the top, that. the top meme we've got for our Batwoman series, if you will. The what you bring me thing. It only happened because I just found it so absurd when I was editing one of the earlier episodes. I was just like, he just slams the laptop and says, what'd you bring me? You know, like, he only does it once. Fuck? It's a one-time thing. Just the one thing. time. Just the once. But there was, um, once, once you see it enough times, you start to realize, holy shit, what a weird thing that happened. Yeah, you wonder how many <laughs> laptops that man has broken in his lifetime. <laughs> there's a, there's a meme running behind where they were just like, 
by the end of the season, as is going to be the Joker, he's just he's just like <laughs> descending into madness. So I decided to do a supercut after I think it was episode fourteen, maybe. Uh, I did a supercut of of me just losing it, laughing during the episode. It's <laughs> fucking it's like four minutes long. Just laugh after fucking laugh after breakdown after breakdown. It's just like this. This show killed me. Yeah, I, I got I so many comments about that too. Like, say you're turning into the Joker by the end of the season. He's he's gonna review the the season finale. He's gonna be in Joker makeup. Yeah. Oh, and then oh, you turned into Lex Luthor instead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have the kryptonite for you. you see? <laughs> uh, Brian Yoda with a five dollar super chat. The largest conglomeration of people to survive watching Batwoman. True. Oh, we know I'm a survivor. We're all on the inside. I'll be honest, though, that show gives me energy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I do have a, a perverse appreciation for the show. Oh, fuck because off. I mean, it's 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 agonizing. But I've gotten so many views off that thing that it, in a way, it's I, I, it's not about it. the views. It's about uh, yeah, the entertainment. <laughs> Not about the round. I dreaded it. I fucking dreaded it. When it came around to Monday, I was like, oh. <laughs> I, 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 the shoulders would sink, the head would turn down. It, I'd just be gone. Yeah, and but you, you can make those videos fast, though. Like, you, you watch the episode. Then no, you I, I, make the, I make the recording fast because I do it in one go. But it takes me like seven hours to watch a fucking episode because I'm just. <laughs> dude, dude, do you I know how long I spend making a Batwoman video? No, that's good. Dude, you, would not, you would not believe how long those things take me. I would. That's your fault. <laughs> yeah, Mahler. Mahler, you wouldn't. You couldn't imagine how long it takes for him to make a Batwoman video. <laughs> video on its way out soon. In, in production <laughs> uh, since the beginning of this year. <laughs> I know I started um, due to a, a very unfortunate accident with like some weird file in Vegas. I, I lost the project, but I was like 40, 50 minutes into. Just a review of the first episode, which I am going to redo anyway. So when he says it takes a long time to edit these things, like there is a shit ton to unpack. Like every scene, there is something wrong. Every interaction, there's something odd. You can just pick it apart and pick it apart. And it, it's just layers and layers and layers of incompetence. So these <laughs> videos are just, you can't, to make a show criticize, to make a video criticizing the whole thing, You'd have to give up if you were going to be in depth. There's too much to cover through sheer mm -hmm. volume of mistakes. Mm -hmm. It I will never it. be covered at once. Yeah, because the, was, the writers have the attention span of a goldfish or less. Because I yes. mean, they, one, they can't keep continuity to save their lives. But there comes a point where they can't keep continuity from one scene to the next because people <laughs> are saying things in one episode that contradict what they did or said earlier in the episode. I mean, it's 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 baffling. Oh yeah, How like when, it? yeah, like when. Um, suddenly, uh, Kate accuses her father of like, "Oh, well, you blame Batman for you know for Mom's death." And but no, he didn't. In the beginning, he did not. That was you. You came back pissed off at Batman because you thought he he like had a hand in killing your sister. Like that he he dropped the ball, which he did technically. Uh, but, but then they shifted it and they're like, no, 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 it was the father. He hated Batman. And I was always the one who kept the hope alive. Like, bitch, shut up. <laughs> well, I hate the it's a part of what makes the show so entertaining is not remembering itself. Yeah, so I in fact, yeah. it was today, Sorry. Mahler, you pointed out um, it was when Kate was, Kate and... Because because I think of the memory and, and I'm instantly assaulted with like 12 things wrong with the scene. I got to stay focused <laughs> on my original point. Um, they were burying uh, Creepy Skinman's body and she, uh, Alice, steals his gun because, of course, she does. And she says, you know, oh, you got to let me go because oh, your DNA is all over this body. So that's like what she's holding above their head. So instead of them moving the body after she leaves... She is eventually captured, and she never uses that like she said she would. <laughs> she never mm -hmm. said, oh, yeah, by the way, um, yeah, if you go to this location, you'll find a body that has their DNA all over it. Remember Just her body. pleading with Kate what? to not leave her trapped in Arkham, and she never <laughs> says, hey, by the way, I know you buried the body. I'll just tell them. But they did. Uh, Jer uh, Jacob did say, I've moved the body. Oh, did he? 
Yeah, yep. he Jake, Jacob yeah, did that, say that wasn't until, that wasn't I, until I, later though. Well, yeah, Rick, that was much Rick, is at the end of the episode. Well, I was, I was about yeah, to say, that, did well, Alice know that? I don't think she did, that. right? No, Alice didn't. No, know no, that. no. Well, she, she would still, still yeah, said, so yeah. she would still say that, and that would but be their get out of jail free card. They would just say, "Oh, I moved the body," and like, well. All right. By the way, I love that she leaves Alice in Arkham right after Alice just got done explaining how like horrible and inhumane the doctors are. Like, <laughs> like there's tons, tons of illegal shit going on there, and she knows about it, and she just leaves her sister in there. Well, doesn't, the, do doesn't the doctor um, dabs Mouse with a syringe. Uh, like he, he he full on rams the syringe into Mouse's throat, and it's like, okay, I get you want to have evil doctors, but this is some absurd. Pleasure in his work, he's a passionate. He he loves what he does. Don't take that away from him. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I we we all wish we could be as lucky. I want to love my job as much as he loves stabbing needles into patients. <laughs> and the code breakers are like, they they look at the code and it's like solve it, and they're like, I, I don't I don't, and they just zap them to death. You're like, wow. <laughs> Maybe give him a chance to look at it. Well, they, they look at Luke. They're like, hey, Luke, here's a what? desk. Here's a pen. Here's a paper. Check it out. You have all the time in the world. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, plus, how, the, uh, how good at code breaking can you possibly be if your fucking brain is half fried? Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to be too as cognizant. The they kill. That's as good as. Uh, <laughs> the characters just do things. They don't make sense. I mean, that, there, was, there was this whole storyline. I think. Um, the one where they had to go clubbing, like uh, Mary wanted to go in, and Kate's like, "No, you can't." And later, it's, be it's revealed that she, no, I didn't want you to come on the mission because I couldn't bear to lose another sister. When Mary's <laughs> entire storyline, the told the whole fucking season is that Kate treats her like garbage or treats her like she doesn't exist. She, she as much as she said this, you treat me like I don't exist. She was reduced to tears multiple times because she thought Kate didn't care about her and now all of a sudden oh I, I couldn't bear to lose another sister. Fuck you. Where did this happen? Their relationship just changes off screen and no one says a thing about it. We're just supposed to well, accept it. It changed when she worked when she told her that she knew that she was Batwoman. That's when it changed. Oh. I, I love when, when she realizes she's that woman. She's like, ketamine was in her system, and the bad guy has been used. <laughs> uh, Mary, this has been way bigger evidence up till now. With all the fucking equations going around. Oh. And, then she, and then the last piece of the puzzle was her looking at that magazine where she comes out as gay. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like oh, she's gay. <laughs> now I know she's Batwoman. Exactly. Now we got it. The episode that opens with uh, Jacob being like, people think the crows are incompetent. And it's not because of all that. And he points to a screen because, because of Batman. And it's the fucking front cover saying, you gay? It's like, why is that? Why is that your, your picture of Batwoman every time? She's I mean, gay, by the way. I, I, no, I personally this, feel... This magazine with this cover, with this fucking lit, brightly lit cover of a woman saying, I'm Batwoman and I'm gay. Look at my <laughs> brilliant Dude, I, air costume. Who do you think I am? Dude, I'm like... so robbed that nothing came of that. Like, nobody looked at the cover and think, hey, that Batwoman's jawline kind of looks like Kate's jawline. Or, or there, there was an episode where they were doing, like, facial recognition to find, I, I, I forget who, some killer. I, I don't know. But they, they were doing facial recognition on everyone who comes into the club, right? And mm -hmm. they were literally checking this, like, this like database of like everyone's face in the entire city and they can check the entire city in like seconds. So if facial recognition software this good exists, are we supposed to believe that not a single criminal or not, not anyone who hates Batwoman, not, no one in the entire city has looked at this cover of Batwoman and tried to do facial recognition on her? Because, I mean, Kate is a, a, a public figure. Right. I mean, they, she she yeah, owns a very public like law firm. firm. Real estate agent in America. Yeah, yeah that and cr criminals are always infiltrating the crows and the GCPD. It's so easy. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 we so we come up with this by now. I know. Are we supposed to believe that nobody tried this? But the gay girl was just <sighs> like, I know who you are. You're. I see. I have. I follow Taylor Swift and fucking somebody else. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the real dad. It's just like, what? I pass by your real street every day. Why didn't you just tell me you were super you gay? Crazy. Like, what fucking kid cares about real estate? <laughs> oh my god, the real estate thing, man. That's why. 
Oh, and yeah. The Bush kidnaps her, and the, the girlfriend calls Kate and says, oh, yeah, my, my girlfriend got kidnapped by some guy with bandages all over his face. She said, call Kate Kane. Call the, call the, <laughs> call the, call the, call the realtor. Call my fucking realtor. She helped us. Right, get a we, we, still haven't, we still haven't understood how, we get it, how it is she has access to Bruce's money. Like, how did this happen? I, Nobody I, knows. I know. How could you possibly do that? How could it possibly be legal? It's not. You, wouldn't Bruce's money like belong to Jacob? Or I mean, no, it's his only like family member. Been, he's been missing for three years. It's he's not dead. <laughs> there we go. Well, I mean, but I mean, like, who's in charge of Bruce's estate? They they never explained it. But, I mean, they kind of hinted that Kate had access to Martha Wayne's necklace in one episode. <laughs> but what, what about the estate? Because they just. I mean, we, we he just, who controls the necklace controls the controls estate. The they, they just they just say that Kate is a billionaire. Okay. Well, yeah. well they never even they never even really do they say that or is it just implied? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, this this no, they just um, flat out say times, times, I think. Isn't it the magpie episode? She's being interviewed and she's like, billionaire Kate Kane is so great to talk so, to like powerful women or some shit like that. And it's just like, what the yeah. fuck? Where, when did this did happen? Money come so, from? So what's doubly weird about that is that if you go back to the first episode, the only reason that she comes back to Gotham is because Kate learns because Mary calls her that Sophie's been kidnapped by the Wonderland mm -hmm. gang. It doesn't have anything to actually do with um, with Batman or with Bruce Wayne. No. However, it just so happens that she comes back to town and then instantly gets control of all of his facilities and wealth. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not even works. why she came back to Gotham. She just got it. It's, it's hers now. Shit. That's you could just walk in and just. Why didn't anyone else think of walking into the building before uh, her? It was jeez. <laughs> Guess why they, they had they had it locked up. <laughs> all they had to do was scale the. Oh, building. I'm sorry. Go ahead. monkey. Oh, no, go, go, go. Solve these three riddles to, to have the way <laughs> fortune. It's like all they had to do was write a scene that says, "Oh, Bruce leaves all his shit to you because blah blah, blah whatever." That's all they had to do. <laughs> it, I, I, disappeared from. Oh three God, don't tempt them. He'd leave a letter saying, "Do better than I did." Succeed, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck, they oh, would. God. Well, I Bring played. balance to the force as I once did. Fuck don't that kill the like. Joker. I mean, because I've already done it. Uh, I mean, don't, don't give him ideas. They've already pulled that shit with Superman. They will revive Joker just so that Kate cannot kill him to show how better <laughs> she is than Batman. <laughs> I assume they'll have a Joker copycat and just bring their own version or whatever. I thought well, I thought Alice was the they Joker. Do. Copy they do. They have Alice copycat, though. But so, they'll do it in yeah. a terrible way because it'd be like the Batman failed to kill the Joker, and then Kate will be like, "I'm not going to kill you." Well, Bruce didn't then because he failed, didn't he? So, oh, yeah. you're actually, yeah. I feel like you guys are actually right. Yeah, they probably will introduce him and be like, he didn't kill I, me at all. <laughs> just, I mean, they, 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 they kept dropping, they kept dropping hints about his existence. So I was like assuming it. Yeah, they're gonna eventually gonna introduce him. They already introduced the fear toxin thing. So that means because oh, yes. they're already they're already um, talking about bringing Scarecrow in for season two. No. Okay, oh. so while I was uh, <laughs> while I uh, I hopped up onto the shitter and thought about women as I normally do. And oh, I was sorry. thinking about the, the fear toxin, nothing related to bodily functions. So I was thinking about the fear toxin, and they only had that in for like an episode and not even a whole mm -hmm. episode. Uh, they, they introduced it at the very end of one, and it leads into the next, and it's never brought up again ever. It's just, boom, fear toxin. They mention Batman killed Joker, just like that, just throw a comment. They mention the old mayor, Cobblepot or whatever, who's supposed to be Penguin. They mention right? Riddler, don't they? Yeah, Riddler they mention, mention yeah, yeah. They allude to Riddler. So, they totally... Their references to um, villains are totally squandered, or they are... It was just probably for our benefit in hindsight. But just a call out is enough to be like hey see like hey we're we're in the batman world we got all the batman villains see we made references to things and stuff aren't aren't we clever aren't we good see this is a cinematic universe what we're doing here yeah, yeah. the next 57 minutes are taken up with her trying to fucking scissor whichever woman she wants to scissor that yeah. week that's what <laughs> <Yeah>. also i think <laughs> i think there was a vague reference to harvey dent meaning that two face is not a thing yet in this universe so um, they're going to take ownership of the two face origin I thought, the, I thought the I thought the crazy body dysmorphia woman was uh, Harvey's daughter, meant to be Harvey's daughter. Wasn't she? 
And instead of being two faced, she had a whole oh. fucking face taken off. Yeah. Are you the dent girl? The what? I thought his, his surname was something stupid, like. Uh, like Duella Dent. Duella, wasn't was her? I thought, yeah. I thought, I thought, we're talking about the one who got her face torn off by the end of the episode by Alice, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. Duella Dent. I thought they found the yearbook and she had like a dumb name and, uh. Oh, like. Dinker. I think it was Duella Dent. <laughs> yeah. No, oh. she had a name Murda before Dinker? that. Though. Oh yes, yeah, Dink that's it. Dink Dinker, Murda, the Murda was Dinker. Stinker, something like that. Murda Stinker. Murda's isn't a terrible name. The Dinker kind of, it's the icing on the cake for that one. Well, well, it seemed like they fucking tried to make it sound like Stinker. Oh, that was their whole joke. Murda's, well, well, it's the way that Mary said it. She's like, Murda's Dinker. Well, that, that, I, like, I think oh. that's what they were going for. They were probably like, Well, any stinker. name could sound bad if you say it the wrong way. Maximilian. <laughs> <laughs> or like Tharias, I guess. Thoriass. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Thor Come on. Thoriass. That was a name from Futurama, damn it. J. <laughs> Long Bonnie. Bonnet. Bonnet. You, you oh, French. Jalon Bonnet. <laughs> yeah, Bonnet. Jalon Bonnet. Jalon Bonnet. Okay, I, I, I like that one. I like Jalon the French jangle. Jalon Bonnet. Ton chuzir, ton 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 ton. Oh, uh, what's that woman in French? Let me check. But um, it's all irrelevant because Kate's not coming back for season two. No. <laughs> and it we're is. gonna get we're gonna get another origin story where by the end of the first episode she's running around in the bat costume. Yeah, and Luke will be like, "You'll be better than Kate." <laughs> <laughs> he'll, be saying, he'll be saying you're already better than Kate. <laughs> fuck it, fuck it, no, this is this show, so it'll be like, you're already better than Bruce, you will be better than Kate if you keep working at it. <laughs> oh, God. How, are they gonna get rid of How are they going to get rid of Kate, though? Like, Because they don't want, they said they're not going to kill her off because they don't want to contribute to bury your gaze, quotation marks. Yeah, well, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, well that, that doesn't gaze. give them very many options, then. Because wait, I was wait, 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 can I highlight, or that was their reason for not wanting to do it. It wasn't that they love the character, it wasn't that she's important <laughs> to the world, it was, we don't want to contribute to killing gays. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't, it's not even that, we don't want to contribute to the trope that gays yeah. often die. Well, if it, I mean, it's it doesn't matter, they're all gonna fucking die, so it doesn't matter, but they're replacing it with another gay, so look, it's, it's replacement gay. <laughs> you know who needs to be made? How are they going to be made gay? Is Sophie's mom? She needs to have an arc where she becomes gay. It's going to be great. Meet the yeah, new but... gay. Say no. old gay. Do it. But how are they going to explain this? They're just they're just is Luke just going <laughs> to find uh, a note on 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 Kate's desk? Why like, do they uh, have explain I met some girl in a club and we're going to Mexico. Ciao, bitches. See you never. And then she just never. <laughs> oh, dude, never I'm picturing back. like episode one is just a narration. It's like <clears throat> Kate fought hard and well for Gotham, but <laughs> but and she they just moved put on some to random... a new city. Oh, so they just put some random stunt woman in her suit. Really bad. And she had to, she didn't want to die in an accident for the CW I... for a terrible fall. <laughs> I have uh, a theory. After Kate had saved many orphans and many burning buildings, she had to Got leave God. This would be what? their way to reintroduce the multiverse, where she is brought to a new universe as the paragon of courage to do some extremely heroic stuff. So that way they could say, all this time, as season two and three and however many I hope they make, goes on and on and on, as the Batverse continues, they could say, Kate Kane is still out there, still fighting the good fight. Still making like a pair of shears with every woman she knew. <laughs> still, sh still saving cities. She is out there being the hero that another her universe her needs. Her the the her her the hero as the paragon of courage. Bat Supergirl's gonna come in for a cameo in one episode and say, "Batwoman, we need you to save universe tisms in the paragon something multi infinity stuff." And she's <laughs> like, "I know exactly what that means, but I need to find uh, a successor." And so she appoints the next lesbian to save the city. <laughs> the next lesbian. Yeah. <laughs> so what, why did they just do? Why did Here, they take this big L. You can home. make. A UFO just taken her away. I'd be on board with that. What it needs to be. I'd love um. You could really make a powerful supercut with the Infinity Tism stuff with like, who would be like, oh, 
Batman gave up on saving people's lives and he like abandoned Gotham. I won't. I'm the paragon of courage. I'm one of the seven people or whatever that's core to the universe, the multiverse to saving it. Okay, bye. Oh, then she, <laughs> and then she, uh, she ascends into godhood <laughs> as the paragon of courage. Don't She's give like, me I, I courageously paragon. run away. <laughs> okay. I mean, just, just I, she got into hookers and blow. That was, you know. <laughs> be strange if like they did it the way they did bruce like oh. Oh, he just went into exile because he just felt so bad about something like it's like it's like your father leaving to, to get a pack of smokes but he never comes back <laughs> oh, like, maybe she, they'll maybe they'll do that she's gone to search for bruce because fake bruce has arrived or she needs to find real bruce i don't fucking know uh, this can't be the real <laughs> bruce well if you don't have I get, I get, yeah, because I guess I was thinking about making sense for a moment. So I was thinking, oh, well, surely the face is just going to eventually stop working, right? Because it's a she'll make another one. Face. But she's only got the one. But she, if 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 Hush is going to pretend to be Bruce, then surely, so It'll she doesn't dropped. even need the original don't worry about face. It, it <laughs> <laughs> so It'll I guess now dropped. they don't need the original face to do it. They just decided that's no longer the fact. Face. No, they, they the never fact they, the face. The fact they've got an actor to pr represent Bruce Wayne in this universe, I feel like we'll be getting the real Bruce Wayne in season two as well, and it's going to be terrible. Yeah. Well, they, they, actually, honestly, they never actually needed the face to make the mask, because originally, when this first became a thing, they said they were taking it from, like, the booty, the, the ass of the victim. Well, they said booty, but yeah. that's what they meant. But they also showed... He, he, Alice, he, Alice was taking it from the thighs. Of yeah. So, I mean... They said it was from the ass, but it was also from the leg, and then it's from the face. So it's really it's it's just it's like any kind of skin you can get your hands on, and Alice can just carve it into mm -hmm. like someone's face. It makes complete sense. Yeah, because my the person wearing it and whatever. Because my brain, desperate to try and cling to reality in some way, um, tried to find a, a, a rationale for them taking people's faces when they could just make whatever face they want without needing that person's face. They that can just do it. Point, wasn't it in the first place was was replicating so you could but they because they always well, she, up taking actual faces there was so they, they had both yeah they had both options you could just tear someone's face off and wear it or you could make someone's face out of a slab of meat so all the times when they went to get someone's face they didn't need to go and get that person's face no no <laughs> just they cancel the so show because they, they, they do it so much pork. She broke yeah, yeah, I, I get that now, but my question yeah. is, why would they go through the trouble then later to go to meet these people in these circumstances to get a face that they didn't need for especially a one-time use? Because the writers didn't have a plan. Yeah, they don't know their own show from week to week, it's obvious. All right, well, that's fair so enough. <laughs> anyone else, anyone else think that, like... The you had a woman kill. kill a guy one week, and the next week she was saying to her criminal sister, I... I'm not a criminal like you. After murdering a man the very previous episode. I think the mouse a few episodes before. I don't think Mouse is better than Alice as a villain. I hated Mouse. I wanted to fucking stab him in the face to the Yeah, died. I hated I hated Mouse too. I could see I, why they I, I, I think he's better than Alice. I'm so, I'm, yeah. I hate, I hate oh, convenience. I hate convenience. I'm gonna have to agree with I'm gonna have to agree with Mahler on that. Like in the end when, <clears throat> when he find well he got a little better in prior episodes, but like when he finally told Alice off, I was like, "God damn it!" Finally, <laughs> they randomly decided to give him he some kind of character. Off, killed off, though. That was it. That was the only reason why I told her off. Was yeah, they I know. But like, if they had kept him around though, and he had gone his own way, like I think he would have been a yeah. The, a way I thought he was at his Alice. most interesting when he died. It's like I'm done with <laughs> killing people. I'm done with it. I just want to have a life. I've been fucking yeah. thrown around by everybody all the time. I'm this. I've been told I suck and I'm scarred and I'm ugly. And people keep throwing slabs of meat on my face to pretend I'm different people. I just want to be me in some place distant from here. Chill. And then he dies. I was like, oh. He was, he was the only one with a fucking arc. He was the only one with an arc. Well, I'm just not realizing it. I don't know if it was. I mean, it was the attempt at an arc. Like, we learned his motivations, yeah. I guess. Yeah, I was like, oh, like, oh, well, I was going to say, like, that... his desire to stop killing people came almost out of nowhere. It was just like, yeah, I want to stop now. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. It wasn't great. 
It wasn't great, but like well, they, they, they had tried to try something. Like, something. Better than Alice. Alice is just happened nuts. off screen. Well, well, when he was in Arkham in, on Earl Furnace, when he was in Arkham, they were saying uh, he was saying, "I want three square meals a day and a roof over my head." I'm a fan. Yeah, yeah, like, that's, that's actually, to do, okay, yeah. we're, we're praising the show for a second here. That was actually something. Yeah, plus, he liked yeah. He liked being the doctor because it gave him purpose. It, it was comfortable, sheltered, safe. And, and he when could Alice somehow do all the job it, every single day. She, she yeah. tore plus he was in that plus he was plus he was in that he support. Got, yeah, plus he was in that, plus he was in that support group and he was actually hammering out his, his emotions about yeah. things. Yeah, he, he was, was way better than Alice. Come on, give it to him. Give him the trophy. <laughs> uh, I'll go on then. I'll go on. I'll give it that. <laughs> Let's talk about well, Alice. He had back. A better arc. <laughs> Alice was all over the place because she was like, I want to kill my sister. And then it was like, I want to turn my sister. And then it was, I want to kill my sister. So she didn't exactly have an arc. Uh, well, at all. <laughs> I'd like someone to find out how many speeches Alex, Alice gives about how you should feel sorry for her across the entire <laughs> season. I want to say like, at least 20. I'd say that probably because. Earlier on, they were it was every other episode, something like that, but they ramped that shit up. Whenever they needed you to feel sorry for her, they really started to pack him in. I spent uh. years in a house. <laughs> like, Shut the fuck up, you in kill people. Apartment. I was stolen from my family. I was locked up. I had a hot <laughs> liquid poured on my finger. Oh, the zombie grandpa. <laughs> If that <laughs> is a violent thing, I don't know what does. And then they fridge the, they fridge the woman. So they fucking fridge weird, the dude. I am absolved of all sin. It's like they knew that we were watching the show and we were like sick of Alice, and they're like, "Put in crazy grandma. We gotta do it. We gotta do it." Oh, that was, gotta, that that was so. Was it. That was so annoying. Like the the whole season, I kept looking for an explanation. Like, why is Mouse's dad this crazy asshole? Like, what what is the explanation? Why is he the way he is? Oh, he's just got a crazier fucking like grandma who's even worse than he is. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that family. Well, do you, do you, do you remember the whole arc there? What the hell? What? The whole arc oh. there was the the crazy grandma wanted their mum's face, but the dad, creepy skin dad, was like, "Lol, no, that's a bit too far to parade their dead mother's face around." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh my he's god, he has his limit. Well, oh, they should have done it. They should have put the face on Grandma, what, well, what the he had a motivation. She rest of her body. She still he had, had a motivation. motivation. Because she, she would have been miraculously, like, 35. <laughs> well, what, what Creepy Skinman said was his mother really, really wanted the face, but he knew it wouldn't work. However, he wanted to let her have hope and give her something to live for, which was the hope that he could do that for her one day. So he had some kind of emotional, like, desire to keep his mother alive and hopeful. He was also like, more you know, this, you know, this lady is like a hateful, crazy gargoyle. Yeah, she's just... terrible. <laughs> she's comically evil, and that's why the show fucks up because you couldn't just have a person who's like, "Yeah, that's that's a believable person who's an asshole." They have to dial it up to eleven and make these insanely crazy people. You yeah, made you, my you, you rock your heart. Yeah, yeah. She, she, you, you like she would make these. Sorry, she, she, oh, she was she made these creepy comments about uh, about Alice. Like you have such milky, supple skin. Like. What the your milky supple complexion, young well, child of mine. That's, that's what they would. This is what I mean about they try to achieve something and they fail miserably. Her character was she. She longs to be youthful. She had three moments I think that tell you that. The first being she admires Alice's youthfulness. She she said she's looking in the mirror and she's like, I used to be pretty, you know. And then you have the whole like she wanted the mum's face. She's like. Oh, okay, okay, it's something there. And then she just, this absurd caricature, grabs people's hair and cuts it off, throws tea on them. You're like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> all yeah, old people all are like pouring this. fucking hot tea all over her hands. And she's like, <laughs> Don't have an open yeah, flame near my canister. Talking to the guy with a fucking pipe. You're like, what do you mean open flame? <laughs> <laughs> As if they were trying, because they, they just can't understand nuance or subtlety. It's just like, she's worse than Alice. Do you get it? Do well, see, so it? this is the thing that they almost had something to work with and they didn't even realize. You got abusive parent leads to abusive parent leads to abusive person. Like, it's like, oh, so it's like a cycle of abuse. Like, what, what do you have to say about that show? Like, the 
uh, who's ultimately responsible and where does personal responsibility come in and what does it mean for these people? How do they re rehabilitate them? It's like, nah, they're just evil. <laughs> like, okay. I guess it's fine. Like, like, is it obvious? But, or is it fucking evil? But I'm just being generous because they're like, no, Grandma was evil, birded hell. Skinbad was evil, bleated hell. But Alice is okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, she can be saved. We can save her. There's still a good person buried beneath. No, you you had to read the comments for um for the traders on YouTube to oh, to yeah. understand the crazies because the comments <laughs> the comments would just be full of people going. Oh, Alice is like becoming such a good person now. <laughs> really? <laughs> and, and her goodness is basically her deciding not to murder people. Yeah, all of us with with certain episodes just be like, why isn't she in prison? Why isn't she in prison? Why isn't she in prison? She's a horrible she person. Her go. Okay, I'm gonna Kate go to a superhero. Give a chance to, to calm down this show. I hate this fucking show so much. It's great, I love it. <laughs> Never ends. Jesus, it. With uh, two trillion francs. You poor peeps. No one should suffer like this. Exactly. You get it. Uh, Shane O'Reilly with a one euro fitty uh, phallic unicorn. Thank you, Shane. And Mugsykins with five Canadian. Hail Queen J Longbone. Long Hi. may rain. Hi. <laughs> uh, all of you bow to her greatness and smash that like button. Ah, oh, you can do that if you want. Uh, Jay's awesome. She's fucking hilarious. Um, Shane O'Reilly with another one euro fitty phallic unicorn. Thank you, sir. Uh, Scottish Snow with a phallic five unicorn. Mm. What, mm -hmm. what, what's the difference between a unicorn and a phallic unicorn? Um, Does this unicorn not... have its cock out? Well, no, uh, the horn is the phallus. So, every so all unicorn you know... is really a phallic unicorn. Oh, okay. I guess that's what I was asking. I thought all phallic unicorns phallic were phallic like by rainbow that. tails and rainbow manes. So it's well, like they're super gay phallic unicorns. Mm, late and gay. Like Lisa Frank unicorns. Like, um, what's she called? Charles, the makeup artist. Ruby Rose. James Charles? James Charles James gay. Charles. Levels yeah. of gay. <laughs> turning, turning straight people gay levels of gay. That's what this is. Oh my God. I only go for heterosexual men. No, they're gay. If, yeah, if I feel sleep. like if if they're lured to sleep with you and then like they go through with it, like I don't. It, I mean, I guess if they, I guess if in in a moment of like they don't know, they're curious and they try it out and then they're like, eh, that was not good. I don't like. I'll never do that again. That was not pleasant. Then I guess that's one thing. But I feel like to get them to that point, there's there's probably something inside of them stirring. Well, yeah, it was uh, James Charles. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he, he ain't no top. <laughs> no, he's definitely a bottom. I still believe Mary would make a better Batwoman with her magic blood and all. Failing that, uh, Alice should don the cape. Yeah, what happens that magic blood? Uh, that, they on? forgot about they it. it for writers for one, epi one episode, and then it was gone, just like I said it would. Yeah. <laughs> one day yeah. in the writer's room, they just said, Oh fuck! We just cured AIDS. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Forget about it. Just don't talk about it again. Make it go away. So, and AIDS still exists. Really like we're safe. We're good. Oh, the gays or, can have their special thing. So in law, Mary's the most selfish bitch in the planet. <laughs> I run a clinic. I have magic blood that will cure anything. I'm not oh, going to talk. Fuck, about I forgot it. about that. A You're fucking a doctor. doctor. A doctor, a doctor who wants to save people's lives has blood that cures every fucking disease and she doesn't even realize. She's like, Ugh. oh well. If only there was a use for this. It. Test that if shit. You probably cure cancer and AIDS, but nah. You could cure AIDS! AIDS! <laughs> What she should start. What we should have seen immediately is like almost a creepy scene where she's just bloodletting like Continuously into loads of bags, and she's and like, and she's losing her shit a little bit. She's like, the the less the 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 blood that I don't get out of me is a live lot, a life lost. You know that yeah, sort of shit. That could be as her. many as I can. I have to do it. I have to save yourself, everyone. Save as many people as possible. You can have some well, that dark shit there. Interesting though. No, I know. That that a fucking <laughs> shitty show. Else was doing. <laughs> and I'm trying to find out more in that episode where Ruby Rose would lick some minge. And I, don't, I just can't see where it would fit into that. Min. Um, well, so when she's giving blood to save people's lives, Ruby Rose can walk in the room and be like, anyone, any, any gay blood? It's, it's, what about gay blood? I don't know. 
AIDS blood? AIDS blood. You need to you need to cure the gays before the straights. Let's be fair. <laughs> um, Mary's so, like, they're, they're, so they're like, okay, well, we'll just you know who's straight. And like, there's 50 people in the room, and none of them put their hand up. <laughs> <laughs> like, they, they know what show they're in. Yeah, I just I just love cock myself. Just can't get enough. Oh boy, yeah. just guzzling them down one after the other. I've broken my arm. Is this the gay I, hospital? Because I've, <laughs> I've, I've gotten AIDS so many times. Oh. Glory hole like, gem. Pr That's prove you're gay. Me. You're like I I ugh, that that cock man. Wow. I sure do. <laughs> I do love a good penis. I certainly do. I like to I, put I've it into my mouth. James Charles on YouTube. Oh, he's he can bring him in. Bring him in. Well, I'm uh, watching this show, so. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki D with a five dollar super chat. Who's excited for the fabulous pirate lesbians next season? Oh, uh, <laughs> yo ho, yo pirate ho. lesbians. Yeah, because it's gonna be uh, what's a jiggy? Sasha, not Sasha. Fucking oh god, don't, don't, oh god, don't. It's bringing me Sasha Baron Cohen. No, it's the because it's, it's reminding me Sasha of Sasha Mel Yankee. Life. The, it's around me the comic story. It's like, don't. Pasha Mjaksnikovic. All you need to know is uh, fuck that storyline if they dare bring it in. But they, I don't know if they will now because. Oh, mate. Oh, that's how they get rid of Kate. Oh, she dies of AIDS. She ran off to Coriana, whatever, to, uh, to fight the pirates. Fight the pirates? And then she got <laughs> AIDS and died. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, she downloaded right. AIDS on a pirate <laughs> website. Oh no! <laughs> she got bad AIDS. Uh, Corey Timmons with a two dollar super chat. BLM, absolutely. Uh, bat lives matter. Bat lives matter. Bat, bat lives matter. <laughs> <laughs> Diego Flores with uh, seventeen Argentine, no Peruvian uh, nachos. Uh, this is the Justice League uh, of social commentary assembled. And facing the nemesis, aka Batwoman. I like this episode. Do 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 do. Let's be honest, we'll be dead by the end of the episode. telling us all what wonderful person she is. She's stabbing us in the face. Milch. Cancel nice. Cancel Venom with two Canadian. All around me, I see clown faces. Clown places. Around me, I see clown faces. Clown places. Clown faces. I oh, know it's brilliant. Andres Antonio Gonzalez. Tiny cars uh, Thirty um, boobs, I think. Uh, what about bat suit equals uh, Kryptonian skin? It that would be the only thing that makes sense to be because, because there was one episode where they where they test uh, or Luke tests a bullet. Like bullet uh, damage on the suit, and it and it fucking ricochets right up. Like it, yeah, it just, he, the bullet it's a flattens. Desert eagle. It's like, oh, and it's, that suit's fucking impenetrable. And there's no need to be skillful unless you have a just... trumpet. <laughs> Who skinned the Kryptonian? <laughs> yes, yeah, since one of Kryptonians vulnerable to trumpets. Oh, dude, what if? What if? <laughs> yeah, like uh, if Alice made like. If she makes faces of anybody, if she did one of Supergirl, would you get her powers? Because Mouse would absorb their knowledge. Maybe you absorb their abilities. I know how to fly. Try this. I can't, but I know how to. My weakness and is then. <laughs> then Batwoman would finally have a foe that would. Uh, do you remember how they, uh, they they said that she's keeping a hold of the Kryptonite in case anything should go wrong with Supergirl? That's not going to have any payoff now. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, it's like yeah. Supergirl goes yeah. evil, and she's like, "If only Kate Kane were here." And they like desperately ask Ruby Rose to come in for one episode. And she's like, "Lol, no, you broke my fucking back." <laughs> Go well, kill uh, the plan was to do a crossover with Superman because he's getting his own series. So she probably oh, would be uh, tonight. To no kill way, Superman's getting his own series. How about that? Yeah. They don't even remember that character. I was playing the great cuckold Superman for forty-five minutes. Uh, I can't imagine how shit. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Them. When's that coming out? I'll watch the shit out of that with, with the lab. It's come out January, but I don't know now with all the COVID. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna be oh, so I'm bad. so ready to see how. Yeah. Give me a trailer. Is. Give me a fucking trailer. Um, what if what if he's identical to Kate Kane, except the show actually calls him out for all of his bad actions? Well, there's meant to be two twins. They got two twins boys in the series. 
and one of the twins is like buff and sporty and active, and one of the twins is like um, gay. gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you. We all know a gay. And uh, guess which one's got the powers, and guess which one doesn't get the powers. The nerdy the one gets the powers, the powers. Mm -hmm. obviously, and then yeah, the other one doesn't. So that's the current plan. They Apart just Lois this Marie. is all just part of one big plot to not have anyone take care of their bodies ever. <laughs> Unironically, yes. yes. <laughs> Working <laughs> out is, is that's what the alt right does. They work out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> you notice a lot of protagonists are starting to get like more slovenly, like either in attitude or in or in body type. It's just awful. Like you're just perfect no, the way no, you are. Like remember when superheroes used to be like heroes but super? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now they're that just that was just dudes, just a shitty dudes who <laughs> happen to get <laughs> powers and you're like, oh, you're you're just like a powerful shitty person now. <laughs> it's what you are. Yeah, it's like snowflake in safe space, and it's like one of them is non-binary. They're like, beautiful people. <laughs> Which villain's gonna give a shit about your fucking pronouns, bitch? You know? <laughs> Let me reach into my infinite sack let's, black let's hole and see her. if I can find let's that fuck. Um, excuse me, it's not her. I'm non-binary. I'm it's <laughs> her. It's Xerm. It, it would yeah. be funny if that was one of their weaknesses, like you misgender them and their head explodes. That's oh. basically what happens to people in real life, so yeah, I could believe yeah. a super version of that. <laughs> I had if I had to, what, I, I only just discovered what Two Spirit was yesterday. Two hey. Spirit. Oh, Bisexual, shit. right? No, it's where... You, you know, if you gender oh, an alcoholic, two spirited. <laughs> if you if you um, gender fluid, it means that you you actively go between male and female persona. If you're two spirit, oh my god, this is so <laughs> no, no, no. I I, I your, promise your you, I will soul, believe with your soul anymore. bounces between male and female, oh, and you can also wait, wait, wait. <laughs> soul. Soul aren't real though. Your, well, your spirit. My spirit. Your, what the fuck is spirit? spirit? <sighs> What's that? What's the difference? I don't know. You're, because you brought it up, you are obliged to make sense of yeah, this. Yeah, you to are. Me. You are the source of all you knowledge. You have to on make this sense of this. You Tell brought us, it up. People, what I, is I what is a spirit? Well, the, no, not the, soul. The, the spirit. The like, oh, this, is, mm. this is how this is how um, indigenous Americans uh, deal with their spirit animal and stuff. It's a it's a derision. Uh, der, der, doesn't help. What's your no. spirit animal? Help me. This is this is the only information I I could collate. So they about... can have two spirit animals. Is that's what it is? They have I multiple know, spirit, spirit animals. Animal could be male or female, and you could uh, like a spirit. Your spirit yeah, animal could I, be a female I, animal. Or are all spirit animals a gender? They're just well, like cartoon animals, and they don't have box or anything. Like fake, you know? Aren't they just like fake? Well, no, you can't. Is you can't agenda? say that. No, you can't say that indigenous peoples have batshit insane beliefs with no grounding to reality, because no, that's crazy. Wow. <laughs> you Listen, can't say okay. that they're wrong. The spirit, okay. like, could can you choose a human as your spirit? They're not right. <laughs> Or is that boring? Like someone's like, I have a bear spirit. I have a wolf spirit. I have a dragon spirit. You're like, I just have a human spirit. It's just like I have a slug human. spirit. My, oh, fuck my, slugs. I have a tapeworm spirit. That's my spirit animal is a tapeworm. But like, you know, like a show where like a character is like doing a power stance. You cucumber. see like spirit dragon, spirit wolf. This is a spirit ghost guy. A spirit. I have a spirit spirit. <laughs> and we go, we go cannonball running every week, every Sunday. What happens if your spirit animal dies? You die, but only your spirit, oh. really. But you can't be two spirit anymore. You got to be something. Three you spirit. Make you just add another. You get an spirit. extra layer of spirit on top of it. One what, spirit. If spirit, what if your spirit gets cancer? <laughs> <laughs> well, then that means that. You get, you get spirit. You use a super AIDS blood. Save you. Oh, okay. See, Mary, you, you're being selfish. You're hoarding all your blood. Hey! Okay. Um, <laughs> I've done a soup chat. I pre purchased the entire Batwoman season one for $5. Why? 
Five dollars. Why? It's on an app for free, motherfucker. Oh no, I can, I can, no, I can see why somebody would want to have a physical copy of this stuff. Uh, back in September, it's five more dollars to publicly out myself for treason. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's we know people like this who we have to thank for there being a season two. Thank you. You make all of this possible somehow. <laughs> Blu-ray for season one. Someone's probably done that. <laughs> you could see all of the scenes in high definition, super Blu-ray clarity. You could see all of the emotion on the actors' faces in every scene. <laughs> <laughs> Never going to watch that. That's That's right. Right. What do they think? Ruby Rose can only emote in high def. Who are you? Is that why your bird is so bad? Is that we didn't see it in like K or something? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> something um I didn't even notice until the person editing the episode actually like picked it up as well as uh, a bit of Rags' commentary. But do you remember when she's told by uh skin creepy skin man that she's told something that makes her angry and she goes to throw a bunch of bottles off the table <laughs> and uh, they're, they're supposed to smash, of course, because it's it's made of whatever, like a sugar glass, whatever. But she grabs them too hard in the take, and they all smash on the table. <laughs> as you. And she throws them, and there's just loads of glass on the table. It's like, how did that possibly happen? <laughs> oh, I remember that. How did that how did the show fuck up knocking things off a table? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's how bad she is. You can't just go out and get an infinite supply of empty glasses from any dumpster in the world. No, 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 no. Yeah. We don't want glass, glass on the floor for our scene. That was Ruby no, Rose could get hurt, and she might have to leave the show. We didn't know, you know how glass had, Do you know what they had a limitless budget for? Fucking blue filter. Oh, like, no, God. Oh. Don't even get me started on this oh. shit. Ugh. There was that one episode where they didn't use it, and it looked fantastic. Well, as good as a Batwoman can actually look. It looked look. approaching normal. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then they brought it back. <laughs> Why? Did, did so you guys notice ugly. there's blur at the top and bottom of the frame of, of most episodes? It's just a weird blur. Like, it's like something wrong with their lens or some shit. I don't even know. Well, like, in the scene where, in the scene where Batwoman's on the balcony, yeah, you pointed out that Batwoman's feet were just strangely blurry for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> on the balcony else of Sophie's house throughout the whole season is there are scenes where if there's ever shot reverse shot while it's raining one of the shots won't have rain every time. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's fascinating how obvious and it, it's a, like a pattern Just like, it's like they didn't want to get the bat suit wet or something as I think all of us have noticed separately a different ones but some of the editing is actually horrendous oh. between like, scene transitions are so fucking bad yeah. The conversations are clearly not over. It just cuts. <laughs> You're like, okay, then. <laughs> like, what did you guys discuss after the scene ended? Because you guys clearly have a lot of stuff to resolve and talk about. It's, oh, don't think about. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. You bet. I'm mean, gonna gotcha. we'll stick a Rachel Maddow uh, narration in between. I'm not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh don't go. She's in the show. Why was she? Ah. Even, there was no point to that. She could have just not been in the show. <laughs> like, see, see how much gay power we have behind our show. Yeah, Take that! They needed another lesbian, uh, and they needed her to be as obnoxious as possible. And they—I mean, I was annoyed because the the character of Vesper Fairchild gets murdered in the comics, and I was yes. really hoping they were going to murder. Her. <laughs> I was really hoping they're going to murder her, oh, but they, wow. which was a shame. Do you guys remember but, when? Um, yeah, they can't uh, kill her Jacob, now. That's a trope. When Jacob was concerned that Batwoman and Sophie were working together, and he was like, "Are you?" And then her phone goes off, and he goes, answer it. And she answers it on speaker, and it's just Batwoman being like, so I've tracked her, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, what the <laughs> fuck? <are you> doing? <laughs> it's it's so, like, I would love to talk to the writer. I'd be like, so you're telling me Batwoman is calling her now of all times. It happens to be her. <laughs> so she answers it because Jacob tells her to, and she puts it on speakerphone? Like, how stupid is this fucking character? Uh, yeah, upon what character do we lay the incredible... Who, who's holding the idiot ball right now? Is it everyone or just one person? Uh, the writers. They, the writers. they held it they held it throughout yeah. the whole season. They held it yeah, close to that. Everything they write has it. Yeah, starting at the top. And never let it go. 
And then Caroline Dries, who's the showrunner, she didn't give a fuck about anything. How dare you? She's fighting for uh, something. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's trying to raise money to uh, give the woman she crippled a life. No. Uh, maybe <laughs> <laughs> to be awful. fair, maybe this will work out for Ruby Rose. Now that she's crippled, she has to learn how to act. No, there's another person who got crippled. Ruby, Ruby oh, yeah, you're girl. right. Yeah, yeah, that one chick. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That's a damn shame. I hope she gets better. Get crippled for working on Batwoman. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's not like you were injured on the set of Lord of the Rings or something. It was Batwoman. See, well, yeah, because the ring set injuries are used in the takes because they're so powerful and raw, while the Batwoman ones are like, oh. Yeah, I got one of my fingers bitten off on the set of Dances with Wolves. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. Yeah, but classic, classic I film. I became quadriplegic on Batwoman. <laughs> well, see, the story would be I became a quadriplegic thanks to work on a set that I, you know, really unfortunate, tried really hard. I'm like, on what? And you're like, oh, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> It's a little, little independent movie. You wouldn't have heard of it. It was Avengers Endgame, I think. I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> like, what movie did you get injured on? There's uh, uh, Casablanca. Oh wow, it's very impressive. How very have they not? Wow. How have they not shut down from like lawsuits alone? They're because they don't even break a million viewers. It, it they haven't done. They haven't broken. Hey, a million thanks viewers to us, since. they might. <laughs> if, you, if you add up, yeah, if you add up our view counts, we definitely get there, right? <laughs> all of our videos put together, all of the views that probably bre breaches a billion. Oh, we, well, I God, I had a couple of videos like two, three, two hundred thousand or, or something. Oh, there you go, definitely. <laughs> we did it, guys. Yeah, we, we if you wanted all of our we videos, saved that one. we'd be way over there, fucking. <laughs> Don't give money to purchase Batwoman. Give money to the people who watch it for you. Yeah, <laughs> we we're, we're on the front lines. Okay, we'll take this. <laughs> we'll take this. Uh, this narrative bullet for you. Batwoman is the Gallipoli of s television programs. And Batwoman is the 9/11 of television programs. <laughs> I think it was. Um, <laughs> it had popularity in the same way as The Room, but the producers didn't tell the lead writer this, and he was just like, "Keep doing whatever it is that you do." <laughs> <laughs> On top of the fucking Gotham City Police Department coming out the fucking door, I did not hit her. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you guys? We know as well that set they have this at like the top of a tower. It's used so many times. She fought, so I think one of the first times we saw it was when she fought um, Hush in episode three at the top of the the building. But that little set, it's used like ten times throughout the whole. She fights Magpie on it at one point. It's just like it's so incredibly hard not? to not notice. Well, it's like why not just go to the top of an actual building? <laughs> that costs more money. <laughs> they might they might quadriplegize somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I might quadriplegize. Like they can't even afford filming on top of a of a building in Canada. <laughs> because they, Vancouver, yeah, wouldn't it be? Vancouver. Hey, that was the top of a parking garage. That's a building. <laughs> you could put a couple of fake walls up, make it look like a set. Well, a lot of these scenes, it's just people talking. So surely you wouldn't have to. You don't have to get insurance to go to the top of a building. Because that's just a place you can go. It's got doors and everything. You just film there. Then you have yeah. a real city and real oh, city noises. God, it's a hassle. <laughs> they don't care. Well, we gotta get in the elevator <laughs> or climb it's some great. stairs. No point, really, you know. Just give it to the CGI guys. They'll make it look shitty. Hey, wasn't it great when um, Batwoman got the code book uh, that <laughs> tells people how to Oh, God. I know oh, that shit. Instead yeah, of we gotta, we gotta talk about that, huh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put it on my desk while I fuck a girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's worse. It was in a bag. It wasn't even secured. They just knocked it over while they were in coitus. <laughs> this is the secret to killing me. It's cool. They had another out. copy the whole time. And then she wakes up and didn't watch. She's like, oh. ah, <laughs> ah. Like, dude, ah. I totally flaked on this. <laughs> Woman. Five fucking minutes! You're like, oh god, they got the thing which kills me. Oh. Uh, her, like, her dad, her dad's shot socks were shaking that day. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like, I don't bring my concealed carry piece when I'm going to someone's house to fuck. 
I'm mm. like, I don't think things should get that bad. And what, what was so important about the journal entry? The journal uh, anyway, because it was literally just a Wikipedia entry. Copy Listen, and paste no, it. no, that that. Let's think about it, right? Let's say that that book actually did have the Wikipedia pages in it. Think of all of the insane meta knowledge that is contained within Wikipedia that these characters could use to foresee events and the future and all the secrets that they could learn. It, oh boy. And now that it's technically in the actual world of the show, oh boy. Oh my <laughs> yeah, goodness. I was frothing at the mouth thinking, oh, Azrael for season two. And the writers just like, nah, we just copied Wikipedia. We didn't give a fuck what was on the page. <laughs> well, like the big the big reveal is ah, Kryptonite can can kill Batwoman. And it's like, well, didn't we already Kryptonite is like apparently sharp enough to stab anything. So that was just an obvious. It's like, yeah. Like like if someone's if we're in a boardroom, like figure out what can kill Batwoman. I'm like, well, basically a spoon. Like if you just put it in the right place at the right time, but she's dead. So I don't know why we're struggling with this and some guy goes what about kryptonite notes. if we can harvest kryptonite into maybe a knife or bullets we're like dude 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 just you can just gas it <laughs> so many well options. no they tried that the they tried that in the executioner episode the, well this is the thing the plot protects her from everything but if we're talking about ways to kill batwoman everything is possible she's just a person and you'd be like well you know this isn't good for people who don't know she's kate kane it's like well the person concocting this does know that, so why not just kill her when she's KK? I don't know, just why did he kryptonite? Why did he need the book? Why yeah, the you office of a real estate company is by a big fucking window. Just shoot her while she's at work. Well, we've broken into Wayne Enterprises a million times. Just do it one and, more time with a gun. And don't, don't give your sniper a fucking laser sight so everybody can see it coming. <laughs> don't fucking do that. <laughs> but he wasn't. He was hit <laughs> behind a fucking car. Like the <laughs> he wasn't even hit <laughs> either. I mean, the four guys are right here about to shoot the someone, and they see the laser, and they jump out of the way. Dude, he <laughs> thought the laser was cool. He was like, "The laser's awesome because it's like blood already." This sniper, he wanted to, he wanted to give people a chance, right? He wanted to be sporting about it, so he points the laser at him, and he's like, "Oh, well, if they jump, they jump. You know, good on them, I guess." When, when he kills the dude and his blood out of his mouth, he's not moving, and Jacob's like, who hired you? <laughs> you're like, I'm dead, bro. You shot me like four times. Dude, like, how, I don't how even about, know how you did that. How about that first sniper, the one from earlier in the season? I think it's from the episode where Julia shows up, where yeah. he's, trying to, he's trying to save this guy in the parking lot. There's a sniper like 10 feet away, like right here, set up on the car, not even hit. Like, how did the guy not see the sniper there? What? He's he was he was obnoxiously just just obvious what? to the point where I'm like, are you okay? What are you doing over there? Are you <laughs> in the airsoft? <laughs> what? And it's nighttime, and it'd be a lot easier to be on, under cover of darkness further back. But he was right underneath the the garage lights. Like, <laughs> listen, <laughs> you you need a high powered sniper rifle and a scope to shoot people from 15 feet away. With a yeah, laser okay. sight. You know, okay. I re rise buildings all around him that he could have got a nice little vantage point and picked them off. He's like, I yeah, want to smell the blood when I end his life. I want to see the light <laughs> in his eyes. I remember the Punisher and how, like, he, like, the first episode of the first season, and Frank, like, sniper shot someone from a mile of fucking way <laughs> and then you go to Batwoman and it's like oh, I'm in the parking lot I'm like right up on this guy's back right up on his ass <laughs> I'm gonna wank off on the body after I shoot him. <laughs> oh my goodness Caroline, okay, so if we, if that's we why they call me the wanker there, if we put the sniper up there then we'll have you know actor walk through and Caroline just be like yeah it uh, sounds like a lot of work that you just put me up my car <laughs> Just put me on the car, fine. Then we wrap up, and then we just get. Oh, you know, competence award has to go to uh, Creepy Skin Man. He's like, I'm gonna kill Alice, and then about half an hour later, he shoots Beth and kills her, and thinks he's actually achieved what he's done. But a guy, a, an evil villain, sets out That's to kill a good him. guy and successfully achieves it within yeah. like 
in a, at a couple of minutes like, of episode. Yeah, he couldn't have possibly like, known that an alternate yeah. version of the one person that he wanted to kill just so happened to have been existing just prior to his decision to kill that person. <laughs> oh, how could he know that? Oh, how could he have known that she would show that that particular party? Dude, line? I would have killed to see Creepy Skin Man's reaction to someone telling him, no, you killed an alternate universe, Alice. He'd be like, <laughs> mm, excuse me. Well, oh, what? <laughs> what? Oh, so what, so what it is that you are telling me is that the universe itself is wearing a mask? Is, yeah. is she, his cheekbones would have sagged and just wait, I must, because, I must harvest the face of the universe itself. Dude, that's a whole payoff they missed. They didn't have be- fucking. It would have been way better to have Alice in the room when Kate killed him, and he could see her and be like, "I never actually." Wouldn't isn't doesn't that make sense to have him be like, "Shit, I never actually did kill you." Like no, she comes in later and makes a snarky comment after That's he's the dead. Thing, he never finds out. He never even knows. That sucks. That would have been an awesome payoff for it, just to have him be shocked. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on a minute. You are a ghost. You are a strange ghost. But wait, he claims... Hang on a minute. He claims that uh, she's getting given the fear toxin. Wait, when does he find out that she's still alive? When he, she kidnaps him. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I completely forgot. <laughs> well, you would, you would assume, rightfully wow. so, that... Like, that's because they never address it. That's why. Yeah, I'm he's just like, oh, I they never address alive. the fact that she's an alternate universe. Because he just goes, oh wow, you're still alive. How weird. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how it is that this has occurred this particular way. Mm-hmm. How peculiar. Fucking, again, see, I was I was thinking about a payoff that never happened and could have, and I just assumed that they never had the chance to do it because they never thought of it. But it's like, no, they just didn't have it. They didn't. I want him to wrestle with the idea that she came from an alternate universe, but fuck it. I guess he just believed that someone's face was on the wrong body or whatever. As 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 apparently works for Jacob too, even though he has forensic evidence, but whatever. <laughs> and probably video footage and phone evidence and fuck it. Oh wow, fuck this show. Like he's the uh, only person <laughs> of the villains who discovers the multiverse. Like he figures it out. Like this yeah, leads him down a path where he researches it. And they get to come back to that boardroom meeting of figuring out how to kill Batwoman as well. I was just thinking, like, what is the stupidest way she was disabled in the entire show? We brought up earlier it's the trumpet. trumpet, and it's like, well, no. who knew about that? It's like no, Alice. It was fucking Reagan, and having Reagan steal a book of death. Oh, she she disabled it by sexing by it. Sex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, by sex. My point my point is that Alice is by like, injury. we need a kryptonite gun to be able to kill Batwoman. It's like you knocked her out with a trumpet. <laughs> and how'd she get do, captured do you in the, the later the, episode at the club? By the, yeah, the, do you remember the, when the guys um, they, they knocked her out by throwing her at a wall? For some reason yeah. that knocked her out. Luke didn't help her whatsoever when he remember the last time she was unconscious, he gave her a defibrillator yeah. shot. Yeah. 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 Um but yeah, they don't take her out of her fucking outfit. Why? To protect They're her identity. Like, oh well. And then they're like, nah, we want to sell her to someone so that they can cut her to pieces. Or And he has like a little hatchet. It's like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Such a, it's, not a, it's not a good show. I'll, I think I no, agree with you, yeah. Not, it's not a good they show. Cut the they cut the lights in the, uh, the nightclub and there was a girl so fucking white, she actually shone like a beacon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude! They, see everything. That was that was so stupid. Like, the, like the lights are off. It's supposed to be pitch black in there, but it's actually very well lit. Considering <laughs> powers out, and I then they're all, this, all the okay? actors are acting like but, they can't see Batwoman, even though she's very oh. clearly right here. It's like what? <sighs> It's so embarrassing. I think, I think it's episode five. Do you remember the episode where Batwoman just decides to capture Alice? She's like, okay, enough is enough. I'm going to capture her. She goes to her base. She knocks the shit out of a bunch of Wonderland gang people and then captures Alice. That's the episode where they get a bit more history and shit and they go on a little adventure. They go to a restaurant and Alice... Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. remember all that, right? Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, we should when Alice... the whole thing very easily at the start of the episode. Well, yeah, when Alice attacks the Wonderland gang, I'm pretty sure they do your actual standard movie night vision thing where it's it's the green and black and yeah. you can see it all and she's fighting them. It's, it's, a, it's a terrible scene, whatever. But from ev- everyone since then... They've done like quote unquote stylistic night time where it's just bright, but everybody looks around as if it's dark. <laughs> and I was just, I was just like, wait, did you just give up? <laughs> oh, fuck it. There it's is, there is, time, is the <laughs> there is only one a night vision appropriate scene, and that was in the finale when they were at the football stadium and all the lights were oh, shut off. Yeah. That was the only time oh. it worked. 
Oh, you know what? I, 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 I've seen your coverage now already with, with all the episodes. I was surprised you didn't comment on the, um, the, the machete dude teleporting to kill all of the police. He just like... <laughs> you see, you see their lights, oh and he just goes pew, and kills one, pew, kills another. And you're like, wait, he just traveled through like ten <laughs> rows of seats. Like, what? The yeah, fuck? He, he must have been traveling <laughs> at like forty in miles his, an hour. In his, defense, in his defense, they were not trying to hide themselves like at all. They were just oh, I'm cool with them finding you. all over the place, so he could have just like it's seen the where speed. they are, shut off the lights, and just picked them off one by one. I suppose the actual counter is in fantasy can Naruto run. You're like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, he's he's not just <laughs> faster than light, he's faster than dark. Oh, Th this clearly God. crippled oh, man. <laughs> he was faster than gay. I know that. Because he beat the bat one. He beat it twice in that episode. Do you remember when he, he had like a machete <laughs> heading to her neck and then he was shot down and she was like, why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I could have saved them in the time it took for the machete to get I from his to hand to my neck. <laughs> I was about to say that his mother's name was Martha. Why did you stop me? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say that name? <laughs> uh, Laquanda. Why did you say that name? <laughs> Laquanda. <laughs> Laquanda. <laughs> Why did you say that name? Shanene, why did you say that <laughs> name? <laughs> My mother was Shanene. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, My sister Laquifa. 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 Cancel Venom with two Canadian. One, two, three, four, five is the same combo in my luggage. There you go. Wow, I can uh, break into your luggage. Yeah. Uh, do Jokes your boomerangs. Uh, Diego Flores with another two Peruvian pens. Uh, as wasn't the password Kathleen Kennedy's a hack? Um, well, that would be a hack, wouldn't it? If you if the password is Kathleen Kennedy, that would be a hack. <laughs> oh, mm. no, that would be the opposite of a hack because you're unlocking it using the password. True, but if you discovered uh, the password via hacking. Yeah, no, how's that classified? Uh, then that thing would be the hacking. I feel like Selena Kyle did in Batman Returns with the Chihuahua. What? Or how Batgirl did in Batman and Robin with her memory? She hacked Peg by looking at by looking at a photo. That was I hacking. Photo, and then when it went back to the photo, the signature had vanished because there was. A oh, you know what? Yeah. We need to fucking watch that free fat movies rags, Batman and Robin. Yeah, yeah I'm ready to see that again. That's fucking. Oh. That's one of. That's one of my. I love those. That movie. For every, it's 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 like Batwoman. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> got you dark in the morning. Uh, uh Connor Doherty with a five year suture. As I better be able to watch this later without being a member. Nope. No, you won't. Uh, or I'll a massage gravel on that glorious head of yours. Hi, rags. Long. Hello. Long man, but it's long bone. And Ewok J, <laughs> not here. Wait, what? Wait, did did they say long man and you said correction long oh, bone? Oh, well, yeah, sorry, they're saying it to you. No, I'm, <laughs> it's long bone it's like, excuse me, there is a long man here. There Dang. is a long for that. Here, indeed. But there's not e no Ewok J. He's not here. Uh, True. He was kicked, he was kicked uh, before before the show, just mm -hmm. as you know, as mm -hmm. should be. Uh, Tim Robbins with a five pound super chat. No message, but thank you, Tim. And Andres Antonio Gonzalez again with 30 boobs says, Favorite character Wayne Enterprise building. <laughs> <laughs> it had, had character. Wait, yeah, you guys remember the whole reason she broke in was because she wanted to get the security footage from Wayne's tower because it was next to where the initial kidnapping took place, right? That was yeah, that. So that was she, the whole reason yeah, she went so there. She... Yeah, she broke in. Instead of like calling the police and they could look at the footage and get everything together. Yeah, they, they didn't think of that because she gave yeah. it to them and they were like, oh, wow, yeah, this is, oh, good. How and is it that Oh, my God, it's so stupid. Because it? I'm remembering episode one where it's like it's a, they get into a van that's of a particular place. We go to the place the van is from. Then she beats up loads of henchmen. Oh, it's such a remember when the henchmen drove. People. Remember when the henchmen drove into the parking lot? It piled out of their van to get the knife back for the <laughs> oh, DNA. Yeah. Oh my god, yes. Remember that? Oh, oh my god, that was so that, funny. That's, that's classic Batwoman. That's taking it back. 
Yeah, as if you don't remember, they have the knife in the crow's HQ, the one with like the the, mm -hmm. the the earring thing in it that that Alice wants. And then for no reason, Sophie and and Ruby Rose go downstairs to talk about the knife, oh, and God, suddenly yeah, 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 yeah. a vat arrives, and yeah. all of the headphones pour out and grab the knife. <laughs> Well, None the of them are for capture. They just in and so out. Bad. The Crow's HQ parking lot, and they just all show up in their masks oh, and their God. van. Yeah. Not a single one of them have guns. <laughs> they have they, pipes. They, they knew by that's where it would be at that point in time. <sighs> Coincidence! That, fuck, that hey. fucking knife, man. That Dude. is the power of lesbian right there for everyone. She, she has the damn knife the entire episode. And she wants to get the DNA test done, but she doesn't. Because if she did, the story would be over. <laughs> but there's, there's no reason why she can't get the DNA test. Alice even encourages her to do the DNA test. Here, you want some fresh DNA? Here you go. Here, do the test. It's like, I can't. The script doesn't say so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this show is a treasure. It's a, gift. it's a gift from heaven for all of us. Uh, Mick Quinn with a two-part super chat. As with all the CW shows, we have to tick boxes. Um, yeah, otherwise you can't win diversity bingo if you don't do that. Um, but I like the fact that they they ticked. Oh, I like. Uh, I'll tell you what I like. My favorite uh, well, favorite bit favorite bit of the series. I'll start because I'm my mind's fantastic. Favorite bit of the series. Um, Opening up a gay bar just to spite a small <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so well, when yeah, I my watched real that, estate endeavors weren't enough. <laughs> when, I watched, when I watched that episode, I was like, okay, this guy's got an accent. He's going to be a bad guy eventually. <laughs> it was like, he's just like a bigot, kind of. <laughs> he's, wor he's worse than a murderer. He's a bigot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, God. I'm going to use power, wealth, and money to open up a gay bar just to spite him because I'm a hero. I'm a hero. <laughs> Meanwhile, oh, her oh, shit's going to oh, get oh, folded oh. while dude's thriving across the street. <laughs> just just because it's mostly it's empty 98% of the times we see it. So I assume right. that she's, just, she's accepting. It's like YouTube. She's accepting the loss Ooh. just to make a statement. What about Meanwhile, all the Italian guys packed. It's turned into a coffee shop for one scene. <laughs> there was never a coffee shop again after that. <laughs> what the fuck was that about? <laughs> no, because I was like, when I was watching, I was like, okay. I've never been to a bar before, but I'm pretty sure they don't sell macchiatos. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, it's a, it's a gay and she's bar. Got the little, and she's got the little bat insignia in, in the coffee. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yes, like the little yes. milk pattern. Oh, my yes. God. We're just, we're just big fans of Batwoman here at Gay Bar. And it's her bar, so she's like, she's, she's, she's putting those practices into place. She's like, you know how she nobody so figured out Bruce Wayne was Batman? Like, everybody knows Kate Kane. I'll never is get over that shit. Point. Oh Bruce God. Wayne, She's... tirelessly, he tried all the different things to ensure that his secret stayed a secret. Batwoman's like, lol, my bar has bat symbols all over it. <laughs> bat lattes. And I'm a billionaire. It's a coffee shop. I mean, a gay bar. I mean, I'm. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck am I? You know that oh, lattes God. are the only flying mammal? But what does, what does somebody do? To, if they walk in and they're just like, oh, uh, sorry, sir, is there anything wrong? Yeah, I thought I thought was this was like the hottest gay bar in town. Oh, no. During the hours of eight till four, we're a gay coffee shop. And then from six onwards, we're a Jokes gay bar. on you, all coffee shops are gay. <laughs> yes, I play golf. Hmm. Um, do you remember from the, that episode with the, the vampire where we, we got all this drama is is around the, the the gay bar because they're trying to lure the vampire in there. The crows know that that's a hot spot for the vampire, so they're sending in Sophie. 
everything's around it. And as we were watching the episode, I was like, how is Alice going to be brought in then? Because, like, you know, we can't have an episode without Alice doing something stupid. And there's this, this moment where they check the security camera, and she's just in the alleyway <laughs> staring at the camera. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> wow. I know you yeah. see me. <laughs> and they said she'd be hard to find, but, like, wow. <laughs> like, what? Wow. Yeah, so Kate goes out to talk to her, and then she gets mad at Luke because Luke called the cops. <laughs> I'm supposed <laughs> to have the glory. Who are you? Luke I was, I was reporting thing. a dangerous murderer outside the gay bar. Like, supposed to let him Luke. go, Luke. You know we how we do things that. now. <laughs> and she was she was more um, enthusiastic about about keeping Sophie snatched to herself than actually capturing a fucking terrorist. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because oh, I was just getting jealous when that other woman came into the bar. Yeah, who we never saw ever again after that. <laughs> We we talked about that first sniper was, scene where we first meet Julie, and they, so that they could schmooze and fight each other and talk to one another, they let the guy they were supposed to protect go so he could round the corner and get fucking stabbed. Yes. <laughs> but they, they met up again. They, yay, we met. Hooray. I, I would go running after him, but I need to give the audience, I need to tell the audience that we fucked. And then she looks into the camera. <laughs> Do you want me? Would you do that, me? That's how that scene works. And then it cuts and then it goes to the next scene and the guy's getting fucking stabbed in the face by man. <laughs> oh, hell. Jesus Christ. They've got no clue what a hero is, do they? Anyway. Wait, uh, Antonio, uh, Andres Antonio Gonzalez again with uh, 30 boobs. Uh, hmm. I bet this super chat uh, end... I bet this super chat end of season two Alice becomes Batwoman. People keep saying that. I don't know why. She's probably been it. responsible for fewer deaths than Kate was. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's that's just Alice, most people. Alice's kill count is pretty high. It's just that yeah, every kill that she achieves, Kate is vaguely responsible for it as well. <laughs> <laughs> And let's not forget the stuff like planting the bomb in a school and all the big stuff. <laughs> yeah. Nothing major. I no, not, honestly think. Serious. I honestly think if you were a character in the universe and you called her out for that, like Alice is horrible, she's trying to blow up a school. Kate would honestly be like, "Yeah, but it didn't work." Yeah, but there were straight people in that school. <laughs> like, oh my god! How many times did Kate let Alice go after that? Good God. She let her go. Wait, that's, no, wait. The school is where she got captured, and then next episode she was interrogated, and then she escaped because she got the threading from her book, and she managed to kill two police officers with it. Remember that? God damn it. That infuriated us. Because oh we, we knew she'd be escaping, and when she did... Do you, do you know what move she does? She wraps it around a guy's head, she pulls the thread down and steps on it, grabs his gun with her hands, you know, uh, locked up, uh, cuffed, and shoots the other guy, then shoots the guy who was Apparently unable to deal with a thread. <laughs> well, that, 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 that fucking book made me so mad. If ever there it was, was a fishing thread, wire or something, I think that's what they say, right? It, it was. It, it wasn't. was the, yeah, yeah, it was like fishing line to bind the book. Dude, if ever there was an example of how absolutely incompetent Sophie was at her job, it was that episode. Yes. She, I mean, she has Alice like in in the interrogation room, and she takes the book away, and then she brings it back. She's like, well. We did every test there is on this book to make sure it was safe. <laughs> and she gives the book back to her, and she somehow missed this fucking garrot wire that was holding all the pages together. And yeah, like, how would that all show up? It's like, oh, it's how like, weird. Well, and and this is this is all accepting the fact that they're fucking entertaining the idea of giving this psychopath just stuff that she wants. <laughs> I know. I remember when I she got Sophie read. outside. Uh, uh, say, um, I remember when she gets Sophie outside after like killing all the, the the crows officers, and she's got a gun to her head, and Sophie's just standing there, and she can she can disarm her at any time. She she's just standing there crying because Alice is kind of like bullying her. <laughs> like yeah, you're never gonna be nothing because you're gay, and she just standing. <laughs> well, characters, we, we saw this when um, Beth and Alice were both in the same room together after the reveal, and Alice learns about Beth and tries to fucking murder her in the in, in Kate's office, and they just they just allow they allow Alice to dominate the room in conversations, and then they just let her leave. 
Yeah, then she just walks <laughs> away. She tries to murder this person right in front of your face to where you have to use your bat reflexes to catch the throwing knife, and you just let her leave. You just let her walk away. Uh, oh, God, I didn't, I didn't put the volume on. I need to put the volume on. Um, it's a show better for Yeah, i, I got to show this. This is from uh, Jay's. Um, this, this is uh, as regards to uh, the final episode. Just... Damn. The Naturo. <laughs> this is Naturo. the crate. Yeah, this. Should we see it? Naturo. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? And I love how Bro was still standing there. <laughs> oh no! It's a party. It's just Naruto run in a gallop. <laughs> Stop! 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 Tim, this isn't you. All he has to do is push forward. She's dead. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just stab her in the face. It just, it just will be over. It just will be over for us. Why would I what aim the for the unarmored parts though? What the fuck is that? For Christ's sake! <laughs> That is I mean, acting. No. How, the director did, didn't stop him and say, could you stop fucking galloping and run <laughs> like a normal person? <laughs> well, they had to convince us that he could move fast while also telling us he's crippled. It's like, wait, I feel like these two <laughs> things are incongruent. He's like, you didn't he have to like, have him be crippled. Dude, well, he killed like 20 crows in pitch black. I mean, With machetes while he's crippled. Okay. The crows are so shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> a, a big guy dressed in orange with a machete who's crippled went around killing all of your guards armed with submachine guns. Like, <laughs> what are you guys doing? Come well, on. I mean, I mean, well, well, at least they did previously establish that the crows really, really suck. Oh they yeah. No they didn't come out of Dude, remember that previous episode where they they established like this. Uh, that this like illegal police state or something, and they're setting up checkpoints, and they have Mary in the car. And she says, "Hi, uh, my stepdad is your boss, so let us through." And then they find someone in the back seat. Alice. We don't know if they they realize it's Alice, but then Batwoman shows up and attacks the crows, and she says, "Run!" And then they just, they just haul ass out of there. They never follow up on with Mary. Yeah, they never right. go to Mary's house or whatever and say, "Hey, why did you run from us? Why did?" We need to bring you in for questioning. No, it just never comes up again. Like that woman showed up at just the right time to stop you from having your car searched. She told you to run. What what's up with that, Mary? Like what what yeah. is it that you did bring us exactly? But they smashed through the barricade though, didn't they? Yeah. So no repercussion. No oh, consequence. It's highlighting this because this happens again technically in a different way in the in the makeup person episode, the the face slashy one. Um when they go to the the van that has a guy in it who's dying. So first of all, Batwoman picks up the dude and he's like, Ugh, and then she just leaves him back down even though he's bleeding out. And she's like, okay, well, I just, no, no, it's, <laughs> just, that's Kate Kane for you. Uh, but the uh, Sophie shows up. Sophie just shows up to the area. She gets out of her car. Then they see the police are coming. And so they get away on Batwoman's bike. And it's like, wait, but if, if, oh, if yes. they find your vehicle, then they'll know that yes. you... Sophie just leaves her car there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my God, it's Sophie's car. What's up with that? And she Why rode away Sophie with that woman on her motorcycle. Funny. Wow, that's kind of weird. I wonder what that means. Probably nothing, though. <laughs> <laughs> we we yeah, had better things to you, do. You could picture being like a script doctor, and and like these people pass you the the scripts for an episode, and you just, you just look at them like, really? Like, you didn't even try. <laughs> Is this the first draft? Always okay. <laughs> yeah, they look at you confused. Like, what do you mean first draft? There's that's it. <laughs> like so there are second like, drafts. Is it like an essay? Oh, I was uh, I wasn't very good at those in school. Oh. Great ghost with ten dollars super chat says the final episode when they had limping guy with the machetes run half the length of the football field <laughs> while that woman just stood there waiting to get right. <laughs> and me laughing like this. so bad. 
I can they just surround Batwoman at the end of this circle, just unload their fucking guns into her. It's so absurd. It's like, you guys are easily gonna shoot each other, but you don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. They're in a circle shooting inwards, and I'm like, oh, fucking hell, you guys are gonna be shooting each other. They made a joke about it. Believe it or not, we're taking it back. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, straight to fucking VHS. They had a joke in there where uh, Robin Williams, who they brought back to do Genie's voice, he, he had a bunch of guns. He, he, he was a bunch of GI guys, a bunch of SWAT guys, and they surrounded an enemy. And he was like, please do not attempt to move or we will be shooting ourselves. And Batwoman up and does it <laughs> unjokingly. <laughs> if she had gone oh. prone, they all would have died. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh no, more deaths at my hands. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> Classic Kate. <laughs> it's so funny because he's like, Sir, we fired a desert eagle shot at her and she still survived. He's like, We're going to have to find something bigger. It's like, Shoot her in the face. <laughs> Double desert eagle. I got a trumpet. I, hear, I got a trumpet. <laughs> it's like, Sir, I know her weakness. I <laughs> so at the school. Turns out it's bullets in her mouth is her weakness. You know how they could have got rid of that plot point? When they said, do you have your kryptonite? And she says, yeah. And she gets out. And it's in the shape of a trumpet. Oh, my God. Kryptonite trumpet. <laughs> God, <laughs> kryptonite. It's that woman theme when you when you blow into it. Do, 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 do. It's her yeah. only weakness because it's not like she's ever blowing into anything. <laughs> we did it, everyone. That's for both teams. That's homoism. Homoerotic. <laughs> homoerotic, yeah. Blow, blow my crypto bone. Is I, it? Is it? Yeah. Is it Trump tonight or crypto bone? Hey -o. Oh wait, is it? Is it a trumpet? It was a trumpet, right? It's always scissor time. Mm -hmm. All right. Always. I thought it was a trombone for a second. Only when it goes. <laughs> do you wanna? Do you wanna yeah. have a heterosexual relationship? Mm. <laughs> 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 we don't do straight uh, gear. I don't know if you're aware, but I'm like super gay. Oh, thank you for telling us that. Uh, I'm trying to out some balance with uh, 30 boobs again. Thank you, Antonio. Oh, nice. uh, Ryan Wilder uh, equals talks to plants equals Alice 2.0. Ryan Wilder. Talk to plants. That what? sounds like something uh, crazy. Well, the That's thing about Alice is that Alice is crazy, and it's really, really easy if you're a shitty writer to just say, oh, the character's crazy, so like anything she does is justifiable through craziness. It's like a get-out-of-jail-free card for any decision that person makes. So <laughs> just make a crazy character, because <laughs> lol, they're crazy, right? That's <laughs> so random. But I just didn't understand why they, they kept doing the re attempted redemption arc over and over, and... and she just kept killing people. <laughs> yeah, but those weren't those weren't like really important. Pe those were just random guards who were mostly white males anyway. So fuck them. They're, they're not really lives. If you get down but to it, were black males because they don't want still to males, white still males. They, <laughs> they, they don't murdering a lot of black guys. <laughs> yeah, but she's crazy. <laughs> Oh, I love was, I love the racist CW. The racist, sexist, bigoted CW. It's awesome. Ray. <laughs> uh, the high and mighty Azur with two Canadian. Can you guys please give me a what'd you bring me? What'd you bring me? What'd, what'd you bring, bring me? me? You gotta hit the you you gotta laptop. Me? You gotta be like, what'd you, what you bring me? You I bring fucked me? up my laptop and it's your fault. Did you bring me a new laptop? <laughs> I was, I was thinking, by the way, you know, you know the logic with all of this this gay stuff is that you finally no. give the gays a hero, which makes no sense at all because gay people can have heroes and straight people. Yeah. But imagine being like a person who believes that wholeheartedly that you need a gay hero to in order to have someone to look up to, and this is what you get. Like this <laughs> psychopath. You're like, this is my hero. You're like, yep. Do these writers you. actually hate gay people, and they're trying to make us like, look as monstrous and they crazy as possible? A better hero is Jacob. <laughs> that is a better gay icon than Batwoman. The, the writers, the showrunner, they're gay, and this is their their hero. Exactly. A horrible, disgusting, you guys? narcissistical, selfish, 
um, repugnant a, a, a person who doesn't give a shit about anyone that murders, steals, <laughs> allows long as someone else to kill murdered, multiple okay, people, let's, let's mass attempted murderers go, um, blackmailers for being gay. That's well, like, a hero. Remember, because we often have to complain about, like, they create these characters that are too perfect, everyone loves them, and they save the day in every way, shape, or form. It's like, wait, we need a bit more layers, realism, you know, like, this isn't good enough. And they're like, oh, okay, let's try Batwoman. And you're like, whoa, no, 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 you made her insanely awful. Like, why did you do this? Like, this <laughs> it feels to me that this is their, their, they're finally writing for the first time, and they don't know how to do it yet. And we got to wait another few decades before they finally get up to where, you know, like, where we were in the 70s. It's like, Take your time. First, you're absurd because you have no idea what the fuck you're doing, and eventually you'll get it. Where a good person doesn't just murder captives. That's that's step one. Once you get that down, I'll be making Which, it wrong. Yeah. Remember Dodson when he was and he was a prisoner. He almost died horribly and painfully oh, yeah. from a septic wound. How terrible of a sh oh like how God, shitty yeah. of an and awful she person do you have to did. be to allow that to happen? And she did not give a single fuck. Yo, not who, one like, oh, am I, am I doing am I doing the right thing? I don't know, man. I might be getting too dark. But no, it's like, uh, uh, I'm sorry, you're criticizing me. Did you criticize Batman when you did this? Even though he never fucking did that? into getting this guy medical attention before he died. Like yeah. this guy is going to die <laughs> from a septic wound on his yeah. leg. You know the insane agony that must be to die. Stop hell. criticizing me! He was dead. No wonder Batman left. You're annoying as fuck. <laughs> when Batman didn't kill anyone except for the Joker, were you this annoyed? <laughs> like, it, oh, I know we've talked about it. I just can't get over it. It's like I killed a person. It's like it's okay. Batman does too. You're like what? The what fuck? do you mean? Specifically yeah. the Joker. Of all the it people, just, it was specifically that. That, 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 guy. that fact that he the fact that's the reason why it's okay. It's like how does that make it okay? That's <laughs> <fucking dread. laughs> it's literally if we also say this other person did a bad thing, it's okay that you did it. Yeah, like, I know. She's just not bothered by it anymore. It's, it's like that. It's okay. And, you, and you could have made a meaningful talk out of it. It's like, hey, hey, Hitler had a genocide too, okay? <laughs> I was waiting for her to be like, oh, what, so you just have a problem with me killing people? It's because I'm gay, isn't it? <laughs> it's because I'm gay, right? You just like All the people I killed were straight, words. don't worry. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. Yeah, the show's bad. <laughs> it's, it's and I can't wait for more. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm actually gonna miss Ruby Rose though. I really hope her replacement is just as lousy. It's, it, they got no, yeah, they got no choice but to get someone as equally bad because, like I said, like they're already harvesting from Riverdale for their next Batwoman. Oh, <laughs> oh it's wonderful. Yep. Uh, keep it in the family. Keep it in the CW family. Uh, Michael Andrade, maybe, uh, with a five dollar super chat. Here's some money for this epic crossover. Big fan of all your channels. Thank you, sir. Uh, Cisco Keith, uh, with two US, uh, two US dollars. Crack that whip, bat as. Uh, uh, Shane O'Reilly with two euro super chat. Uh, says toasters. Yeah, uh, we have a bit of a thing here. I want to see everyone's toaster, but um, we toaster, we but I hardly know her. We're going to toaster. That mm -hmm. is toaster when Ruby Rose gets crazy in bed. Um, Brian Gade with 50 Danish Corona. Thanks for bringing this awesome cast together. Hi, Max. There's your Hi. Name. <laughs> Mags together. Uh, Taylor Ramirez again with two US dollars. What's the most hilariously bad episode? The gay one. I say the gay one. Uh, the worst? I only think in... I really think in episodes, I mostly think in moments. The bit where she was hit by the van had me fucking rolling. Oh, that was shit. so funny. <laughs> that was great. It, <laughs> the which, scene was which, so bad that happened? even though she, she was CGI, but it was so bad that the actual <laughs> actress felt the pain and the injury of it. <laughs> which, which episode? It happened twice. The one Wait, where she's not in her outfit. <laughs> When was she, well, she's on a motorbike. 
Oh, oh, good God, that one. Oh my God, she she wakes up. She's not even bruised. She has a whole fight scene. She takes out like multiple guys right afterward. Like you, you were hit by a truck at like fifty miles an hour. Shouldn't you be like injured? Or well, the car who's got no proper leathers on or anything, and the only cut she has is on like above her eyebrow, where she was wearing the fucking helmet. <laughs> So how does that one work? But uh, I mean, it felt I, so I, good when she got hit. <laughs> because I'd, yeah. I'd hate, yeah, I had hated I had hated her yeah. at that point. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, lose I your leg. Overall, overall, the 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 gay girl episode who who commits all the crimes and then gets let go for free. I want to say the zombie she, grandma episode. Oh, that was great. That was hilarious, though. Yeah. For 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 so bad it's funny like that that was the one that I legitimately la like got like enjoyment out of just because it was just so absurd. I mean, more often than not, I'm just angry. I'm not really laughing so much, but that one I laughed at. Depending on the episode, this this show can both give you energy and wear you down. It's a roller coaster. Yeah, I think there was only one episode. In the whole series that I was able to watch in one sitting, really, one yeah, the, in one and sitting, it, yeah, and there was one episode where I think it took me between seventeen to twenty sittings to watch it. Wow, you poor soul. We 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 mostly didn't pause ever. We just wow. we just ran with it. I was yeah, it wasn't until episode like. Four or five that we just had to say, "Fuck, we've got to pause." There's too much. Yeah, we to actually talk did have to pause here. a couple of times because there was so much to talk about. It oh is what was God. wrong. Sometimes you have to. The problems run deep. I, I think uh, the record is like. Um, actually, the record might be on Stargirl, but the record was like forty seconds on one episode, and I was like, "Fuck it, fuck it." Yeah. Guys, I'm I got to step off for two minutes. Yeah, I need a break. Yeah, 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 sure. Just put your camera off or whatever and then put it back on if you want. Um, but yes, I'll just go like that. <laughs> Make an exit. Make an exit. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, there's just so many, so many horrendous episodes to choose from. It's like Sophie's Choice. <laughs> just they're all fucking abysmal. Uh, I think, yeah, I think, oh, I was gonna say, uh, I think logistically, yeah. What you said, the gay episode, episode ten was the worst because it was just so blatant what mm. their uh, what their bias was, and at the same time, it's just like bad screenwriting. Like so, those two elements together just made it the absolute fucking worst. Yeah, um, you nearly you uh, blackmailed a whole city. You uh, committed credit card fraud with the mayor's credit card. Mm -hmm. You attempted to murder four. According to the show, um, those four carriages contained four hundred and something people, mm -hmm. and which is total bullshit. But yeah, yeah. About fifteen in it. Probably uh, all straight though, so no worries. Yeah, so they wouldn't. <laughs> and straight and white. And uh, she just says, "I'm. You don't want it to like being young and gay and not being." Able to tell anyone, do you know what society is like? And just like, uh, yeah, <laughs> fucking years ago, you dumb cow. Nowadays, no one gives a fuck. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I found the, uh, the the part where we we see them, get, we see her get hit with the uh, oh, good. uh, fucking the <laughs> van. I was gonna say, if you want to, you want to throw it up, go down yeah, memory yeah. lane. Let's see, let's see, Batwoman get well, he's not even Batman, it's Kate Kane this scene, isn't it? Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah, share it up and I'll uh, I'll put it up. Oh, it oh, I posted like a... it in our little little chat thing. If you copy that link, it'll give you it. Oh, you, okay. You didn't. Uh, okay, you didn't. It was like a Looney Tune, something out of Looney Tunes, like boing. Well, it, it totally <laughs> took us by surprise, like, but it always does, and that's what I love about the show. I figured after a few episodes, we we'd be like it would run dry, but it consistently mm -hmm. surprises us. Like we, we're just like, no way, that's what you did. Wow, I love it. It's just. Mwah. Bueno. Okay, let's have a look at this then. Let's bring this up. Uh, oh shit! I didn't. I didn't. God damn it! I didn't share the audio. <laughs> hey, hey there! Hey there! Just tick it. Just tick it. It's natural. There we go. 
Uh, so this is uh, Kate's going to get twatted by a bike uh, by a <laughs> truck at about forty miles an hour when she's not wearing shit. Not they they consistently do this. this yeah, they're really good at that. Yeah, that they wait until the rain starts. And... Oh, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. She disappeared. Saw that? She fucking disappeared. Can we can we look at that can again, please? That? How did you possibly plan that? <laughs> can we look at that again, please? Can we go back? How are you? Okay. I need to the... see that again. Yeah, that was cut. insanity. Yeah, <laughs> How is she not dead? <laughs> I swear to God, the way they fucking show that. Cutscene level graphics again. She's this little CGI body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the animation. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> Luke's face. I can't believe it either. I've frozen. Okay, I'll have to show you this. Look at look at this frame. <laughs> Me. Look at that. What? That frame doesn't make any sense. <laughs> if you look at the tires, they don't even have any. There's no rubber. Oh, no tears shit. On them. It was like running on a rail and they CGI'd out the rail. But there's no fucking tires on it. Oh. Why oh. did they do this? They didn't need what? to do this. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, they could have just had it so that Kate was walking down the street and they just fucking, I don't know, attacked it. Why did you have to have <laughs> it this they, way? No, nope, that, that wouldn't be amazing enough. It would take more than that to stop Kate Kane. <laughs> it takes oh a God. fatal motorcycle accident that I isn't fatal. Cut to black. That is that is ridiculous. That is <laughs> ridiculous. Oh, it, you just, it becomes even funnier when you think about mouse behind the wheel. Like hey, there's you. Just, there's you <laughs> <laughs> faster, slower, slower, faster, 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 slower, slower, slower. She she is fine outside of a bit of blood on her eyebrow, which is like the mm -hmm. one thing that probably shouldn't have any injury on because her her uh, helmet is fully intact. So it's just like um, wh what about the rest of her bones? <laughs> How are they doing? <laughs> She's dead. The only wound was that scratch. Under her helmet, and I don't even have the the bat costume Deus Ex. It absorbs everything, machina. Yeah, she's just in her civvies with a helmet on. She's dead, <laughs> dude. I'm not joking when I say that while well, women are indestructible on this show, if people think <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. I'm serious. They they just don't get hurt. Uh -huh. No matter what uh, happens to them, it's 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 kind of know. fascinating, actually. Yeah, I remember where uh, Julia gets shot by the sniper <laughs> and then she goes through a brick wall. <laughs> where, <laughs> where, the, where the fuck was the sniper though? <laughs> to be fair, the, the her going through the brick wall probably slowed her down a little bit before she fell. The three, four stories or whatever no, it was. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm talking about where she, uh, later on where she saves Sophie from being... Oh, sorry, we're talking about another, two different events. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and uh, Sophie has the, uh, the, the the dot trained on her, then Julia just comes out of nowhere and pushes her out of the way and gets shot, and then she's just like, all right, darling, I'm all right, fucking massive lesbian. Which is, there's so much wrong with that. First of all, why wouldn't you tell her as she entered the room to get the fuck down, instead yeah. of waiting for the sniper to shoot? Like, what? <laughs> secondly, the fact that it shot her and it didn't kill her, you're like, thank fuck, I guess. You dumbass. <laughs> Callum blew her left fucking arm off. She's so cool, though, because she talks to her for a while, and she's like, hey, do you mind if we deal with this? I'm shot, by the way. And you're like, oh, yeah. she's so badass. <laughs> oh, you are so good at And then uh, she's just, like, fancy a fuck. And then, uh, just, and then... Yeah, well, next why not, shot. isn't it? Why not? I don't know. Her getting blasted through the wall was funnier, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, scene, that scene is so asinine. Like, first of all, where the hell was the sniper? Because they weren't in front of a window. The only way the sniper could see her is if he was in the room with them. But they, he, he's not oh, there. Oh, I know what you're talking about. The guy with the TISM gun, right? But, oh, my God. but it wasn't. 
It wasn't rifle. fully loaded. Like the force of it was loaded, but the kill shot part of it wasn't loaded or some shit. That's that's why she didn't yeah, die. Alice, because, yeah, Alice getting, kept it. Yeah, because getting blasted through a brick wall and falling fifty feet, hitting the concrete on her back. Yeah, that that wouldn't kill a person. Yeah, the force <laughs> that it would take to do that, like <laughs> she should be Listen, mushed. If you if you put on some body armor and jump off a cliff, you'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> Because the it's so funny as well so because, <laughs> well, yeah, like, because that's what the armor like... does is it stops the impact of the fall for you, so you're a okay. Now, if the break, she's now trying to roll recover... it of trumpets, that would have killed her. <laughs> if she was assaulted in a high school band room, then she might not have been able to walk. Out of <laughs> I remember after she's blasted through the wall and she's getting back up, the, the, the van just shows up, the crows just capture her. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, we were right, yeah, man. It would be this wall. <laughs> you knew it, Jenkins. The, the, yeah. the promo was like, Batwoman's been captured by the crows. It's like, oh my god. It's like you find out the context. You're like, what? <laughs> 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 the, the, the funniest part you is they don't ask for context. The funniest part is they don't even look for the sniper. Like, no, like cool. I think, I think Snoopy sits on the comms that. or something. Yeah, there's no sign of the sniper. The sniper. You didn't look for the sniper. You. you they, they did not look for the sniper at all. They just showed up. They grabbed Batwoman. Yeah. Oh, no sign of the sniper. Okay. What, did, did you mm. look? No. <laughs> the, the, the crows, crows are, are so bad at this. Yes, that, the crows are terrible. The crows are meant to be there because the GCPD can't cope with the crime, aren't they? And they're terrible. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> terrible. Yeah, I... I don't understand this either because there are like multiple scenes, multiple episodes actually, where we see the crows doing clearly illegal stuff. Um, there, there are several times where it's openly acknowledged that they're doing illegal things, and yet no one is like investigating them or taking them to task or trying to stop them or anything. Like, like wouldn't like wouldn't the GCPD step in if they're doing illegal things? Wouldn't the government step in? Wouldn't somebody like Homeland Security or, or something? I don't know. But why are they allowed to get away with this? Because yeah. the show had there's no consequences. And I thought they were paid to protect. Like there's some, there, there's not times they just show up like they're cops. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> people pay you? Who paid you? Who called you? <laughs> and it, it's mentioned in one scene, in one episode that they have a homicide division. <laughs> yeah. you're a, you're a firm. No, like the, the the crows homicide division is like them trying to do math problems <laughs> well if somebody could get blown out of a that wall fall 50 feet three stories not die we could turn our truck around the corner and pick them up that's the <laughs> homicide division's math <laughs> Yay! And then they have a stolen back immediately afterwards. Boo! Let's start another division. Big Fat Les's division. There we go. We'll do that one. Sure, but they'll be unstoppable, sir. We can't give the lesbians that much power. But the GCPD started to put the bat signal up, and the crows were jealous that they weren't using them anymore. Well, they never explain how the so the bat light is supposedly like always on, except even though it's always on, specifically at some times she knows to go there when it's on, which it always is. It's well, they all really they always started piling into the GCPD headquarters. Alice, um, Do Gray Scott, uh, the Batwoman. Yeah, at one point. Did anyone just say, "Hey, can you stop fucking"? Coming through our police station for your own little petty squabble, please. Because <laughs> they had to do that. They had to go through the police station to get to the roof to get to the bat signal. Yeah, and Alice then, does. It, it, do Gray Scott doesn't <clears throat> grapple. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> and then then he he says, "You know, we're gonna you know, come down hard on anyone who turns on the bat signal, which is on GCPD roof." And then Mary. Goes up there, turns on the bat signal. The crows swarm in on them, and there, there, no, there are no police anywhere. Even though it's in, it's on their building. The yeah, but the, the relationship. The how the the show does a really bad job explaining, like where what is the crows' jurisdiction and what is the police's. They're just sort of both around sometimes, but it's mostly the crows. But sometimes the police do stuff too. 
nobody fucking knows. The world building in this show is garbage. Yeah, there, yeah, there was no rules. <laughs> there was no establishment of what did what. Who was responsible for what and why. What powers people had. What powers of or, or, an authority they didn't have. Nothing was established. Not one fucking thing. The only thing that was established was the bat suit couldn't be penetrated, which I'm pretty fucking sure was meant to be a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. It'll absorb everything. Will it absorb... No, because at the first moment of a bit of fucking outcry by the GCPD, you go fucking all emo shit, and then you have to get everyone from Gotham to go, we want her back, she's our hero. And then you turn up like a fucking narcissistical cunt to fucking absorb all the fucking praise. I'm back. Oh yeah, the one where she like shows up on the building. Yeah. <laughs> Genu oh, like, like, hey. Your people are genuflecting before her, and she's just like soaking it all in. I'm like, bitch, just someone fucking shoot her like right yeah. now. <laughs> and and I, I love how it's completely arbitrary about how about like when the bats the bat signal draws a crowd and when it doesn't like sometimes mm -hmm. they'll turn on the, the the bat signal and like tons of people will swarm at it and then then sometimes they'll turn it on and it's just bat woman and the person who turned on the light and then sometimes they'll turn it on and then the, the crows just swarm on it immediately like because a lot of the time it's just sort of implied that it's always on like at the beginnings of episodes they used to show the city a lot, off a lot they stopped doing that but the bat signal would always be on. Oh, if it's always on, how do you know when to come? I like the way there was never a scene to establish a relationship between Batwoman and the commissioner. No. <laughs> and, and if you remember, oh, Alice Batwoman. shines it at her in episode yeah. three? Was it early. Two, the first five? Time. I don't remember. Yeah. yeah. None of the cops show up. So how, how did how did how did Alice get there? Wasn't oh, that the, the only outside broadcast one they did, though? Uh, weren't all the others in studio? I think that was actually an outside broadcast in OB. Um, the point is, it's all very stupid. Yeah, I'm desperately <laughs> trying to somehow make sense of it. And you're asking a lot. I'm not going to lie. You're I really know. asking Remember a lot. Remember when she put her like hand in front of it to make silhouettes on the building or whatever? And it's like, that's not how that would work. <laughs> even close, but okay. A light that powerful is like, no. Could be hot. Why didn't the crows just disable it? They hate Batwoman and don't want her to be summoned. Why didn't they just break the light? That would have been a powerful because, scene. Because then the rest of the episode couldn't happen. Well, the because, thing is, you say because, the episode, because, but this yeah, kind of applies no, no. to all yeah, episodes. because they needed the light to stay there so Mary could turn it on. Because Mary... Because that was the only apparently that was the only way that Mary could get in touch with Jacob, her stepdad. Well, she couldn't we're just going go to his house or call him on the phone or something. She had to turn on the light. Because we're going that's all the way back to thing, that's what one, needed though. to happen to get them to the next plot point. It's funny you bring that up. When we were recording the last episode, before Mary got involved in the plot, I believe we talk about how like missed opportunities. And we're like, Do you guys do you remember? I think one of one of our four forgot this part of the, the show, which is fair because it hasn't been brought up since like episode fucking six or whatever. It was like Mary uh, so so Jacob, like fifteen years ago or whatever, lost his, his wife when all that shit happened. And it was it was it like a year's worth, a year and a half's worth of months later he met uh the, the other girl. Is it Catherine? The woman who gets poisoned? Uh, yeah, Catherine. So that means he's been with her for that long, and that means he's been the stepdad to Mary for that long. Their relationship is like non-existent in the show, yeah. and and we were we were thinking about it. We were like, wow, that's like a total missed opportunity to just even have them have a relationship. And then in that very episode, fucking Kate is like, you don't know him like I do, and we were like, what? She would know him better than you. Yeah, she's you've been, been around. Gone for like, <laughs> you've been gone you've for been gone. years. It's implied, though, that Ka uh, Catherine uh, fucked with the uh, DNA and shit. Oh, it's not implied. Say, it's stated outright. Yeah, it's stated outright. Which oh, means yeah, that his not, wife died, not really and the... then he immediately went and started fucking Catherine. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, they, well, they were married it, like a year later. <laughs> yeah, they were married like a year later. 
She's fucking with the DNA, and that's early doors. So they're rutting about a month after his fucking wife's head or bodiless, uh, headless body has been fucking buried. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna. I'll go controversially. I'll take the team of Jacob. He searched for a really fucking long time. He had definitive evidence that they were definitely dead. He moved on. And uh, the timeline is really. He was fucking dead before then because she fucked up the evidence. Well, so, how long? Yeah. Was, like, how how long? Like, and how long did he know Catherine he before she did that, though? They were having an affair. I don't know. It, it's like, a, I don't know. Was some don't... kind of relationship there, but I don't know how long were they together. But after the first wife died, then nothing was explained. I no. mean, well, yeah, they don't give us a lot on that. Yeah, she was helping him investigate. So I'm thinking, pretty yeah, soon. Hmm, yeah, it sounds like an affair type situation. That would have added probably added some layers to this. I was, I was how... say, that's more interesting than what we got. So why yeah. why bring it up? <laughs> We are know. we are trying to make the show better because they could. The well, show is. I know. We're going to say with the opening of this was just that he and Mary, this there's something there, but we get nothing. And then the final episode, they actually bank on it. She's like, she tries to get him to talk to Batwoman because of the fact mm. that he should trust her, and it's just like, oh fuck yeah, of course, that's his stepdaughter of over like a decade. Yeah. Did you? Did anyone even know that was their relationship? It's like no, <laughs> nobody. <laughs> you could probably yeah. count the number of scenes Jacob and Mary had together in the entire season one on one hand. Yes, uh, the I can't remember if they've had a scene together where no one else was in the room. The, the, the whole, the, the the whole Catherine's whole, the whole Hamilton family, the relationship with Jacob was so underdeveloped. He didn't even get a scene to react to Catherine's death. We just check in with him afterward. <laughs> We check in with him. They looped him. <laughs> oh no! It's funny though because none of us even cared to like really be upset about that because for what it would be we were invested, but two, Catherine was awful. She was she was what I thought was the worst actress. I'm not sure if it's between her and oh Ruby Rose god. at this point. Dude, oh my god! Uh, no, the whole Catherine character was so fucked up. I mean, they they establish okay. She comes out and admits that not only did she fake like falsify the DNA evidence, make him think his daughter was dead, but then she commits arson, she attacks the police van, bombs the bridge, nearly kills several cops by by trying to kill this witness in their custody, and then Jacob knows all this, and yet doesn't arrest her? No, they're just they're just getting divorced. Why? Oh, we're, we're, we're going through a bad stretch right now. Yeah, we're going through a bad stretch. Because she's an attempted murderer and an arsonist and evidence and stuff. You know, just yeah, like we're, all we're going couples, through a rough patch. Yeah. Because of the fact that we're all pretty sure that Catherine was a horrible person, imagine she had taken the cure and let Mary die. That would have been so funny. And the rest <laughs> of the season, just to hang around. I thought the actress was so bad that I, honest to God, thought she was deaf in real life. <laughs> <laughs> that would explain a lot. I'm not trying to be cruel, but because you know when you can't get that mind when you're deaf. And she was doing the thing on the podium, and she's like, Batman after where and here. I'd say, oh right, they've got a deaf actress to um to play this role. And they was like, no, she's just shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I i am I'm not yeah. She was fucking terrible. But yeah, Ruby so Rose come, coming into the room. Uh, uh, <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Uh, he's, he's giving her her best Helen Keller that she can. No, Dad, uh, don't shoot. She's your daughter. No, no. <laughs> that is fucking terrible. Um, right, let's go through some more sub chats because they're building up. Michael Plowman uh, with five US. Any three of them. And I'd say the country, but all five together, their only goal, uh, their goal can only be the entire Arrowverse. Any three of them, and I say the country, but all five together. I can't remember what that was referring to now. Is that ringing the bells? From the Everyone's Arrowverse? Looking. Yeah. Any three of them, and I'd say the country, but all five together, their only goal can be the Entire Arrowverse. Don't know. I can't 
can't remember. We've got. I'm sorry. We've gone past, and I don't know what. I don't know what that first to, Michael. All right. Uh, uh, Silverman with two pound super chat. Kate getting pepper sprayed. Lol. Ten out of ten. <laughs> no. <more. Yeah. laughs> that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> she started grunting. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's fine. Next, no red eyes. Nothing like that. No, absolutely fine. Next scene, it's all good. Oh, I think I know. It was uh, Adam. It was a reference to the Adam West Batman movie. Oh, I think I think so. Okay. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, the pepper spray bit was uh, fucking hilarious, and um, probably a time where I genuinely let out some laughter. Mm -hmm. And I don't think they were playing it for, for jokes. <laughs> but, uh, it's, so. yeah, seeing that horrible person getting maced, it's amazing how you can react to, <laughs> to that sort of justice. Uh, Antonio Gonzalez, uh, and, uh, Andres Antonio Gonzalez with uh, 30 more boobs. Thank you. Ketamine syringe pierces the bat suit. Bullets can't. <laughs> No, I think that that's when Batwoman had her neck. Uh, her she had her that she had just the cow. She didn't have the, like the full uh, she put the cow in her face. Oh, when she had the collars what? up. Yeah, well, yeah, she had her neck visible. Like that was a, yeah. around the time where oh. she was wearing that really garbage, more garbage Batwoman oh. suit. More garbage. Um, and well, then Andres. Well, while we're on the topic of the Batwoman suit, it's weird that we haven't addressed yet that the way the Batwoman suit looks with the hair and everything, people were in mortal peril and dying and suffering, and she took the time to create the suit and put the hair in and to recolor it and to make it pink and to get all the hair nice while people were needing to be saved. Dude, I was fucking living. That's the same scene where she says she's better than Batman. That's the scene where she says she'll be better than Batman. Dude, yeah. Dude. A better something. He just said one hour before he kills all those people and she takes the time to accessorize the bat suit. Hey, Luke, I need you to redesign the suit to put a wig on it. Well, people are going to die in like 20 minutes, but it's okay. Take your time. We, we need a new They can die. I'm looking flat. This is what I mean. Oh, they're, writing this, they're writing this for the big gays by big gays. Big gays everywhere. And you sit there like, what are you doing? Is this parody? Yeah. <laughs> you can't be serious. People, people look monstrous because of this. Not, not a good look for the females. Like, yeah, we're still getting ready, getting our hair done, <laughs> make, put makeup on and shit. Oh, <laughs> well, we got to I'll save you and from the again, elevator when I save you from the elevator again, not a second before. At the core, there is an interesting idea, being that what does a hero do when they don't have their suit to protect their identity, but they're in a situation where people need help or they'll die? It's like, oh, they this is go really back good to shit. Their base. No, Mahler, they go back to their base to get the suit, but not before they accessorize it and blingify it so that when they go <laughs> back, they can look super amazing while they're saving whoever happens to still be alive. And they win. And the audience is like, wow, the plot rewarded wow. her for being a selfish cunt. That's, <laughs> <not really good. laughs> That's the show. You know how she normally has like little, little conversations with Bruce in her diary? And I think the conversation in that episode was about living up to Bruce. And then I think at the end, she was like, <laughs> I, I, maybe I don't have to live up to you. Maybe I'm better than you. By the way, you'll, you'll love... <laughs> Dude. You'll love the bat suit's new look. You're get it's gonna be great. Yeah. You'll love it. I yeah. promise. And, and, and it still, fits it, you so well. And still, it gets worse because um, you know Tommy Elliot he drops one of the elevators, so she has to save it because that's the one that has Jacob and Catherine in it. And then he drops the other elevator, and she just lets that fall and goes back up to fight Tommy. But she didn't know there were any there was anyone in those elevators. She was just guessing. So it's just an accident that she saved the one with her parents in it. But there could have been people in the other elevator. She didn't know. She just let it fall. She didn't even check. Oh, shit. So Dude, people, could have, people could have died in there, and she just let them die. Huh? That would fit her MO. Yeah. Yeah, she don't give a, she don't give two shits about people. We still, we still not, unless some, not unless it somehow affects her. Yeah. She does not care. 
Yeah, her and her ability to um, rub Vagu on Vagu. Uh, Andres Antonio Gonzalez with uh, 75 more boobs. Thank you, sir. The bat suit has on a pen drive. All Bruce's money or Bitcoin equals Kate Keynes because she becomes an instant billionaire. He probably did invest in Bitcoin. That's true. Mm -hmm. Batcoin. Bad At least coin. that would have been some kind of explanation about where money <laughs> comes from. Um, but it was not. Well, which was she. Right. Okay, here's a theory. So, the first she doesn't get the money until like, she learns this later. But when when she first walks into the bat cave, how all of the bats they spin around her like a cyclone. They accept her as one of their own, right? Because she's Ruby Rose. You know, she's yeah. basically a bat person anyway. That yeah, makes sense. They become the bats accept her. That is her becoming heir to the Bruce Wayne fortune. That's how you pass the test. You have to go into the bat cave, and the bats must accept you. You must pass their test, and if you do, then you become the chosen one. <laughs> They bestow okay. upon you the bat credit card. <laughs> the bat credit card. If they don't accept you. Do they just like shit on you or something until you go? <laughs> you get you get guanified. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Yeah. That is so bad that they uh, they they could possibly do that. I could easily possibly do. It. I could see. I could see that because it's so horrendously terrible. Rags. That I think. Um. Yeah. I think. The, I think. Caroline Dries is already writing down that idea for. I want you to give me a reason why. Give me one reason why that wouldn't work given everything that we've seen in this show. Because try. Just try. Oh, the bats are gay. <laughs> yeah, so you thought Rags didn't have a response to that. Yeah. They're all les bats. The les bats. Les batians. Um. I've got nothing. It's just terrible. Please. I was going to say, by the way, I have to hop out for half an hour, but I don't know if uh, you guys are still going to be going by the time I'm back. Or um, I was going to wrap it up around about the three hour mark. So it's ten minutes. Uh, you need to jump out right immediately. I need to jump out in. I got four minutes before I run out of time, so I can stay for four. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, if you want to, you want uh, you want to give your details on then, and I'll go through this. Well, I was going to go through the super chats, and you know, um, but if you want to give your details. I'll give you the screen, and if you want to promote yourself, oh, that's fine. I don't. Oh my goodness, oh, I, was, I, was, I can't handle this. I'm front and center. <laughs> oh, well, I, uh, I, like I said, if you if you guys go for uh, as much as another half an hour plus or whatever, I'll actually be able to come back. But I'm assuming okay. you can't. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm Muller. Okay. I do. I do reviews of things. Uh, the most interesting and relevant one would probably be on the Muller channel, where Rags and I and, and a German and an Australian react to Batwoman episodes. And that if that isn't tempting enough, we do other stuff sometimes. Go go check it out if you wanna. If you wanna, go on. I mean, I wouldn't want to force anyone to watch our content. You know, that's it's very long. We watch. Well, it. I, like, I, I watch your Star Wars as opposed to watching the film. So <laughs> I would I would I would recommend. I think I think I managed to be under the length of TROS with my TROS video. So that means. For the first time ever, I was. Um, what do they call? I, I was. I, I achieved brevity. That's that's the one thing I apparently cannot do. Brevity is the source of wit. Soul. It's the the soul of the spirit. Soul. There you go. It's the spirit of the bat. <laughs> yeah. If, if you uh, if you yeah if we're still going in half an hour, you want to pop back? Feel free. Yeah, yeah. I can I can jump back in, but I'll just mute for now. So uh, have fun. With the rest of the stream, yeah. I may or may not be back. Bye. 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 <laughs> uh, okay, so we got a uh, King uh, Rockeye with a ten dollar super chat. This stream got too much hype. Mauler, Jay Longbone, I binge her NOC streams. And freaking as in the same podcast. I'm sorry, ass dude. It's a good Thursday. Hail everyone. Hail. See. Uh, Cor see. See. <laughs> oh, the ball is still there. Look back. It's still there. Um. Yeah. See. Hail. Oh no. Nazi confirmed for rags. Uh oh. 
Oh, I, I'm, as, I'm, a, I'm as bad at keeping secret identities as Kate Kane is. Well, she doesn't try. <laughs> there's no, there's literally, there's no effort in it. There's no, no, even attempt to to protect a secret identity. She would rather be outed as Batwoman than be branded a heterosexual. <laughs> That was one of the bigger face palm moments early on when I, I, like one of the one of the first episodes where she's returning after a night of bat womaning and the entrance to the bat cave is literally in the Wayne Enterprises parking garage. Oh yeah. <laughs> she <laughs> yeah, she drives that. inside of it with her actual motorcycle into the bat garage. Doesn't he turn the, the lights cave? off? Like, but it's any, also partially seen her. Yeah, but it's also partially Bruce's fault. Why the fuck? Do you have the back cave right underneath your 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 office building? What the fuck? And it's not even. It's just like it's it's oh, just a th the only thing. Damn protect, it! I like, already pay for the parking in this building. Of course, thing, I'm going to use it. <laughs> the only thing between the parking lot and the back cave is like a thin layer of concrete. That's it. Someone but, can know, actually hear what's it, going on in there. Yeah, a trombone can easily like get through there. Yeah, but. <laughs> This is the CW. This is Caroline Drys, and she was just like, "Fuck it, let's just have it. <laughs> let's just have it under the hair because I can't be bothered to move out." Well, oh, it was like they although, let us film in this parking garage, so we are going to milk that shit for all it's worth. <laughs> although, in Bruce's defense, he would at least be smart enough to close the the office door when he's entering the Batcave. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> it, as opposed to having the doors wide open. But the but. That is the best thing that can happen to somebody with a secret identity is is to have uh, somebody think you're something that you're not. So if if Batwoman was doing the big big straight instead of the big gay, and then Kate Kane's the big gay and not the big straight, then that'd be perfect. Because they'd be like, like BS, am I right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. But no, she decided not only was she going to come out and say, actually, I am the big gay, but I'm going to post in my face all over a magazine <laughs> and give everyone a good look at who I am. It's all about me. <laughs> One of the most it's frustrating things they did all season. Like, she's giving the criminals of Gotham all the information they would need to figure out who she is, and they never followed up on it at all. Well, Alice finds out, and she just sort of never does anything with it. No. Yeah. They know she knows where uh, uh, Kate is. Kate knows where she is, and neither of them do anything till episode sixteen. Was it? Because yeah, even Kate after, well, even after Kate, you know, quote unquote, betrays Alice by trapping her in Arkham, she still apparently doesn't give anybody else that info. No. She doesn't yeah, do anything. She, she always seems to know where to find Alice, and never tell well, Alice, the cops or the. Alice doesn't or tell everybody. Alice doesn't tell Gotham her i her secret identity after she's, you know, fully committed to destroying Kate. Now, I'm like, were you ever going to tell anyone ever? Like, do you not think, like, are you not to get back at her to let? Is she, well, is she kind of like holding it on, for, holding on to it for selfish reasons? Only I'm going to get to kill my sister, sort of thing. But that still wouldn't. Probably, I don't even know if that she thought that'd get her killed, but it would make her life harder. I don't even know. Yeah, Maybe I mean, it's pretty bad. I think right Mouse thing. would say something. Mouse would be like, Well, why don't you tell the world that this is Kate Kane? <laughs> <laughs> but then the show would be really over really quickly because they would go and arrest her, and that would be it. Uh, the end. We never got we never got that this season. We never got the uh, the moment where Jacob learns that Kate Kane is Batwoman. No, we haven't gotten that. That's still a that's still a moment that they we we have yet to see them squander. I, yes, I was going to say I was positive we were going to see that this season. Probably in the uh, the final episode of the season, she was going to confess, and that's how she was going to build the bridge between the Crows and Batwoman. Well, if they were smart, they would have done it. If they wanted to make Kate like an actual hero of a kind, then what they would have done is they would have had her like have to save her father using bat stuff while she was unable to like have the bat stuff. Yeah, it, she need. Yeah, she needed to save 
do Grey Scott in her bat suit and him being legitimately grateful for that and then her reveal to him that it's her and she's doing a good thing but she just wants to suck pussy so she wants she needs the glory and she doesn't i i shudder to think how they are going to ruin this big payoff moment um she's left the series so it's never going to happen i i say payoff moment but what i really mean is like it's more like taking out a loan but it's never going to happen because kate kane's now gone Kate oh, gone fuck, you're show. right. I forget. Um, <laughs> it's well, never going to happen. Oh, it's man, you're so fucking crazy. right. Jesus <laughs> Christ. We're not even going to have that moment. Nope. Never. Oh. <laughs> wow. All right, then. <laughs> this show is fucking shit. Jesus. Oh, it's Ugh. so shit. What if what if it'll be it'll be some throwaway line next season? Ever since I discovered that Batwoman was actually Kate Kane, I swore that da, da, da. he's just he's just gonna allude to this because if they can just throw out, oh yeah, uh, Joker, yeah, Batman killed him. Fuck it, whatever. I just this is just a throwaway line to justify your own shitty murderousness. Yeah. Then they, they could they could do that in a throwaway line too. Everything's on the table. Oh, uh, throw line throwaway lines are their specialty. Um, all their have... lines are worthy of being thrown away. <laughs> all the fucking lines are. It's fucking terrible. Scripts is a throwaway yeah. line. Uh, basically. Corey Timmons with a $2 suture. HBO Max censored uh, South Park five episodes. Yeah, I saw that just as I was going on air. I think um... <laughs> Nick Riccade has just sent me a DM of his toaster. Uh, <laughs> um, they, I think it's the Muhammad. Every time they showed Muhammad, wow, they've uh, they've censored those episodes. They've removed them. Fucking hell! Uh, because uh, current day is all about. Well, we don't want to insult the Muslims. No, but we can insult Christians and everything yeah. else. But we don't Not want Christians. to insult the Muslims. Because they'll do a jihad on us. Because they're a protected, they're a special marginalized group, those Muslims. Yeah. <laughs> Muslims didn't do nothing. <laughs> Is, uh, so I on the progressive to... stack, are I Muslims want... or trans people higher? <laughs> so I, want, I want to hear that. I want to say some. I want to hear a new station say that Muslims are marginalized. <laughs> And then my life will be complete. Clown world will be complete. Uh, I just just the, the same day that Blazing Saddles gets um, pulled for racism, <laughs> <laughs> then my life's just going to be complete when they do that as well. It's just going to be clown world. Uh, Action Com with a five dollar super chat. Why didn't Kate's parents adopt Bruce? Get a billionaire oh, oh, away shit. from hell, Alfred. No lawsuit. Very strange world. How old? Are they? Yeah, um, I think they were too young at the time. It, it looks like um, Duke Gray Scott was was much younger than Martha. So um, I think he probably would have been adulthood. I don't know. Not, Wait, I'm, I'm unclear on the age difference between Bruce yeah. and Kate. Because he's had, he's old, he? I mean, he was operating as Batman when Kate was a kid. That's like 10 years ago. Well, so, at least. 15 years between the accident and present day. Yeah. But then they cast a guy to, to play Bruce Wayne, and this guy has got to be around Kate's age. Uh, well, no. Kate in the show is meant to be 28. All right, so okay. Bruce would be like forty-ish. Yeah, so he'd have to be. But then the actor is like, I don't know, thirty or something. It's like, why, why does he look so young? Shouldn't Bruce He's be a hard thirty-five? Maybe the magazine he's that they had some shit. years ago and they fucked up massively, and so he's going to get walking into Wayne Enterprises and they're going to go, "Wait a minute, wait, yeah. I have so many questions." <laughs> and then the real, real Bruce shows up, and they're like, "Oh, who's the real Bruce?" Gray haired silver fox that looks exactly like this guy. But it's also, George Clooney. 
Oh my god! Wait, uh, only the real Batman will have the bat credit card. Ching ching. <laughs> Batman forever on that card. It had Batman forever on the Bat American Express card. Uh, Dress and Tony Gonzalez again with 75 more uh, boobs. In the failed pilot in Arkham, there was a room filled with fear toxin, like free samples when you go visit a criminally insane patient on a hallway. Hmm. Yeah, where did they get it? Was it ever established where they got the fear toxin from? Kinda. Kinda? Uh, yeah. I think Crazy um, Skin Guy no, no, China. was like a colleague of, of Scarecrow. Or no, so with like, is there a factory that just produces fear toxin, the, the spooky factory, where they make the the crazy spooky fear? Ace, Ace uh, Amazon? <laughs> Maybe from Amazon. I don't, I don't know. know, man. I mean, they, they seem to have this stuff at Arkham at one point. I think we there was a yeah. trade. But what? Didn't Cartwright say the Scarecrow was a former colleague of his? Yeah, I, I think he's talking <laughs> about Kate being a former colleague, but that doesn't but the, uh, necessarily equate to here, have my fear boxing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was just some shit. Oh, I'm just, it was a colleague of mine. Yeah, that stuff is you just should, really easy to get a hold of for some reason. Toxin, if you give me an ass mask. <laughs> uh, big fat nerd with a five power super chat. Every time Alice kills someone, Kate is like, that's my sister. She's got good in her. Then lets her go. Loving this dream. Yes. I, I believe that she can be a good person, even though she's just constantly killing people. I'm not <laughs> sure at all. For justice. I'm going to keep visiting her and threatening her and then leaving without doing anything. And she knows and all of her, her henchmen know who I am, but never act on it. Yeah, this, is, this is why I was keeping track of all the crimes Alice committed since Kate let her go. I mean, there was... That list was getting long. But it just cyclically went through this the whole season. Yeah. It was boring as fuck. <laughs> there was no growth. There was no development. The only clever thing, when I say clever thing, the only decent thing they did was that episode when she did trap her in Arkham. And I was like, ah, oh, great. Now we're going to get Alice out of the show, which is needed. No, she was there the next episode, cutting people up and getting ass masks and running the Arkham Asylum. Is yeah. Fuck out of here. I mean, I don't blame them for wanting to keep the actress around because at least she could act. Yeah. But, I mean, you I, can't I have... Overused, but... they, they overused the hell of the crap out of that character. They did. <sighs> Should have been half the episode she was in. Probably less. Yeah. But what do you do when you've got a wooden plank and a hyperactive Asian fucking running the show? Fuck him. Yeah, fuck him in the fuck holes. Um, no, because the bat suit's impenetrable. Uh, Nikki D with a $5 suit chat. Who's the bestest ever? Captain Marvel, Ray, Palpatine, or Batwoman? Um, like best? Mm -hmm. Best ever. In terms of power level, it's probably Captain Marvel. Yes, yeah, Captain Marvel. Yeah, she could like intergalactic speed travel. It's kind of fucking nuts. But could she tell you how Ray Palpatine? <laughs> I'm gonna go with Ray because uh, that's what Doomcock says. <laughs> okay. All right then, Jay. You Captain <laughs> Captain Marvel, because <laughs> you know Marvel. Ray. Yeah, she uh, Ray is so dead. I don't care. <laughs> I say Batwoman because nothing can penetrate that suit. Oh my God, oh <laughs> my <laughs> Ray's lightsaber would just be bouncing off it. She'd be going like, "Oh, oh, oh, oh." 
it'd be great. <laughs> and then she'll go, hey, you fancy a scissor? And she'll be like, you've turned me gay. Yes, yes, I would. Because that's how relationships work on television nowadays. Maybe if I fuck you long enough, you'll be attracted to me. <laughs> oh, she's going to get me too. Uh, the God of Gravy. Great name. With a five pound super chat. He is hoping that Batwoman doesn't try to do and ruin the plethora of superb DC baddies like Penny Plunder, Kite oh, Man, you. Dog Welder, or the Hot Dogler. I could imagine. Well, Kite Man's been used on the um, Harley Quinn animated show. And Kite Man was actually used relatively recently in a... Uh, uh, the uh, the War of Jokes and Riddles in the Batman comic. Uh, just useless noise for you there, by the way. Uh, J. Pat with a five Canadian. Uh, 1344 of EFAT Mini for episode 14. Duella Dent is the name on all the trophies. Interesting. So, uh, Face girl is most likely Harvey's daughter. I knew there was something. Yeah, they know what they knew what they're doing. Yeah, I knew I knew there was a dent with her somewhere, and it wasn't in her body dysmorphia. Well, there were plenty of dents in that. Uh, take a six one with a two US dollar super chat. Give Kate Kane the poochy send off from The Simpsons. Oh yeah. Ah, I need to go now. My planet needs me. Yeah, I think that'd be perfect. And, and it would be more believable than anything they've done in the series so far. Because it's shite. <laughs> um, Brian Gade with 50 Danish Kroner. Would you guys say that Batwoman is the room of TV shows? Jay, uh, no, you? no, I, I did that, and uh, it got me in trouble. I had to apologize for it, so I would, I would not say that. <laughs> I mean, I understand why people would think that. I think it's, I mean, in the sense that not just not to the same degree. I, like, it's so bad, it's good, but it's trying to be serious. <laughs> I want, I want everyone's take before I give mine. What do you say, Jay? The room of. The room. No, because the room will stand the test of time. Everyone's going to be quoting that forever. Batwoman is going to be forgotten after a while. Yeah, I was going to say. I was going to say it's not that r remarkable when it comes to cringe. Yeah, I yeah, I would say no because I could I could I watched the room. And I was thoroughly entertained about how bad it was. Mm -hmm. it, it was it was like a so bad it's good. I mean, it's terrible, but it was funny. It was laughably it was entertaining. Yeah, there was an yeah. entertainment aspect to it. This this show is not entertaining. This show is infuriating, and this, <laughs> the, I, the room wasn't infuriating. I was piercing myself. He was fucking her belly button. <laughs> <laughs> I was, that's a, that's what we call an advanced I maneuver. I had tears coming out my eyes at that scene. There, there's there's a line between laughably bad and just bad. Mm. Yeah, and that was laughably bad, and it was yeah, it, it was entertainment. I I I was felt when it finished. I was very you know kind of happy at the end of it, <laughs> satisfied with what I'd watched. It was dross. Utter dross, but it was entertaining for us. So I would I would say it's more the um Zart <laughs> of uh, movies than uh, the room. Uh, la, 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 la. uh Chi the Flory with a 50 Swedish Corona super sticker of a fox. Give it a thumbs up with a good job. Uh Chi the Flory, thank you so much indeed. Uh, Marius uh, Van uh, with five uh, Canadian Hail Batwoman crew and also Hi Rex. Hi Whoa. Uh, oh, and then Flo Muzz with a five euro super chat. This stream is how I like my tea dark British and with a lot of brown sugar. 
Thank you. <laughs> and, and then hi rags again. Boy, hello. Hi rags. This is ridiculous. Oh my god, what's going on here? Then King James the second with a two dollar suit chat. Dream team indeed. Hi wags. Whoa. Three in a row. What? Pretty amazing. What is going on? What have I done to deserve this? Discrimination. Uh, Symbiont with a $10 super chat. This is a great effing lineup for my favorite creators. Love all you guys. Hail to the panel. And special shout out to my girl, Jay Longbone. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, Cozy Koo with a $2 super chat. Mauler, make a bat woman praise. I dare you. Where he's gone. Well, you have to praise the incredible talent that must have gone behind what it, what it surely would have taken to be this almost surgical and precise with how terrible it was. I think it's chaotically terrible. There's nothing precise. That's its alignment. Its alignment is chaotic, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. I've, I've said similar things like several times. Like you, you have to work hard to be this bad. Realistically, they could have made a better show by accident. Ah, uh, yeah. But to be this powerfully terrible of a TV show, like you, you have to, you have to, you, you have to bust your ass to be that bad. Would you say um, this is the worst television show you've ever watched? Uh, worst? Mm. Yeah, uh, I would say it's the worst I've watched. Worst? No. Crisis on Infinite Earth is worse. Well, it's part of the, that was like an episode. There, I'm talking series as opposed to series. Um, this was a crossover, so you can't really count Crisis. Oh, I oh can't can I not? Okay, then. Well, um, it, it, it crossed over multiple different shows. This is like specific to the show. Is this the worst show you've ever seen? Yes. Worst written show, yes. I, I, I have said this like numerous times now in my own videos. Worst written show, absolutely. Uh, worst show overall, I'm not sure. It's it, it's up there. What's the contender Definitely. that is the con that is uh, it's in the running up in your mind? Oh god. Yeah, yeah I was gonna uh, say can you come up with yeah. another uh did you see uh, another life on Netflix? Oh god, no, he's right. You know, oh. I've, I've only heard things. Oh, oh don't. If you haven't seen it, don't. It's it is horrifically terrible. Um, the, the, I mean, that's that's another one that's up there. Um, off the top of my head, I can't think of anything. But I mean, there is there's a very small group of contenders for the title of worst ever. I mean, Batwoman and Another Life are definitely in the running. At least Another Life had Katie Sackhoff in it. But yeah, yeah. Oh, at least that one has that, um, so it, it it might very well be the worst. Hey, Sophie's what, hot. What do you think, Jay? Oh, uh, is that the brunette? Big knockers. Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> Jay. Uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, I'd say Batwoman, and I would. It was the worst show I've ever seen. I would. I, was, I would say that Supergirl trails behind that, but I've only seen the first two episodes, and I wrote it off immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wrote off as a terrible show since then, so I, you know, I can't say that. I want to, but I can't. But yeah, uh, Bad Bad Woman is like the worst show I've I've seen. I've seen a lot of bad shows. Yeah, I, I, um, I uh, Star Trek Discovery. That's a good one to go. <laughs> I, I would say this. Yeah, I would say this is the worst show I've ever seen in my life. Um, it is. Dog shit. <laughs> uh, it's canceled better with two Canadian scissor timbers. Ah, let's bat pirates. Uh, if there will be scissoring of the timbers, uh, salsa timbers. with a two dollar super show. Uh, super chat. Yo ho ho, all the scissors for me. You know that the, the character they were going to bring in is, is you're never going to believe this actually, but the character that they were going to bring in, the pirate, was a lesbian. Of course, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'd never believe that, would you? 
you he's never... sailing the. I don't even know. I... Way to step out of your comfort zone, Caroline. I, I mean, it was it was implied that her and Julia was was banging. So yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I already knew she was a lesbian. Okay. Um, I didn't want to ruin his surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Because the face course, would have been all alight. <gasps> they have said that they are going to replace Batwoman with another out lesbian. Because that's <laughs> like the actress. That, that is, like the actress has to be a lesbian. She both, can't just play one. Both the actress. Well, they'd never get away with that. Well, they have because they've 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 uh, they've put it out for everybody, but they've actually said in press we're going to fill it with another member of the alphabet community. But when it comes to the actual um, uh, inter well, not interview, uh, application process for the role, it says, uh, you know, you can apply to da, da, da. We actively encourage people from the alphabet community to apply. So they're not out and out discriminating on the application. Yeah, it's skirting the, the yeah. Mm. But they have said in, in interview, she, she's quoted as saying she would, in the statement that they put out, Caroline Dry says we will be replacing with another member of the alphabet community. <laughs> so they are bigoted. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you're a bigot. Well done. But that is, is the only defining characteristic of the character. It's the only thing that they do have defined in the whole series is uh, she's gay. I'm just like to sit down with these people and ask them, all right, it'll be honest. What the fuck does her being gay have to do with her being a hero? And I want all, you to explain All gays it. are heroes. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gay, gay you're, you're a hero. Hey, do a gay thing. All women are queens. <laughs> it's like they boil these characters down to just one defining trait. With Supergirl, it's that she's female. With Batwoman, it's that she's gay. Yeah. That they, they don't think of anything beyond that. No. Welcome to the CW. <laughs> oh, they went... Yeah. Oh, quality just went down really far. ML got out at the right time. <laughs> oh, dear God. Um, Connor Logan with a $5 super chat. You guys are awesome. V a fat crew, you rock. Really happy to see you. Sorry, ass. Uh, what was each of your favorite parts of Kate Kane getting hurt in the series? Oh, it was either the it was either the the holy water when she got sprayed <laughs> by the holy water by Alice, and it obviously made her melt and con, you know convulse like the demon she is. Um, <laughs> or I would say her getting hit by the truck. <laughs> Truck's a good one, uh, Jay. Oh, um, God. <laughs> against Kate in the series. I guess, my, that fucking truck, man. <laughs> that was great. Came out of nowhere. Yeah, it was just so cartoonish. Cause, yeah, it, came to, it comes out of nowhere and it's just like, boing. She just... <laughs> it was so over-the-top violent. She got no peripheral vision, has she? None. It's like you didn't have to make it so ridiculously violent to get the point across. But they did. <laughs> uh, Thorias. Uh, the trumpet. Thorias. I gotta get this right. Thorias. Knocked out by the trumpet. Oh, that's a good one. Though. That was a good one. It would have been funny if it made like a trumpet noise when it hit her. Like, <laughs> boom. <laughs> 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 I would I would say uh, when uh, they thought she was sweet, the look of pain on her face when they thought she might like sausage. I was... believe someone would imply that. <laughs> yeah, how I am not perfect. perfect. Levels of how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> I'm super gay. How dare you imply that I've taken a cock? How yeah. dare you? How dare you? I would never sully this goddess of a body. <laughs> the skinny twig. Nothing can penetrate the suit. Uh, Miguel Barakan with five US dollar. Super chat. On the scale of one to ten, how likely will it be that they try bringing in Poison Ivy 
and Harley to play off the alphabet thing between Fuck, them. I'm so fucking sick of Harley Quinn. Oh, I, yeah. I can't. Uh, I, I would never see her again. Yeah, same. Fucking Aya. Dude, I, I, li I liked Harley Quinn until I saw that movie. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> the, the Birds of, the, the birds uh, of Prey movie. Oh my god. She's been getting really obnoxious in the comics, though, for a good few years now. I believe um, it. And now she, they've turned her. They've turned her good. And in the comics, she's insufferable. And in that Birds of Prey movie, she was fucking insufferable. Oh. Well, I, Poison Ivy, though, I could see them bringing in Poison Ivy. Uh, maybe James Gunn can redeem her soon because he's coming out with his Suicide Squad movie. So. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. There's there's rumors they want to do another Harley Solo movie with the same crew. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> even, if, even if James Gunn fixes her, it's like they're going. Uh, well, like, I mean, they, they took it, her out of the fire and then threw her right back in. It's not. It's not uh, the studio that's making these noises. It's the people that fucked up the film that's making these noises. So uh, it's it's Kathy Yang that's like, I deserve a sequel because. I'm a woman. <laughs> yeah, and, and the, the studio had to hire another director to fix all my mistakes and reshoot all my stuff, but I, I deserve another I deserve another movie. I deserve I deserve the opportunity to waste another hundred million dollars. <laughs> I mean it's not my money. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and I'm Asian and it's so hard. It's so hard getting roles, <laughs> even though I got the job and I got the budget. And all I had to do was my job. It's so hard. So hard in Hollywood to do that thing. You know, if you, if you take all this women stuff, this, is, this just came to me randomly. I don't know why. But you go back to all these ancient civilizations and all these ancient cultures. And even, even further and further up as time goes on, all across the world, from the Minoans to the Celts to the everybody, Rome, every, everyone. Femininity and womanhood was always like this. They, they would play up the sacred aspect of the fact that women were mothers. They could create life and give birth. And this was an incredibly important aspect of the species and humanity. And it was this magical, incredible thing. And it was something that a woman could be proud of that you know men could never do. And it was something special and meaningful. And now it's like the opposite. Where that like that's a terrible part about being a woman. It's like, yeah, well. It's like you have to grudgingly accept this as a part of your existence. It's really weird. <laughs> um, that's that's called victim complex, and it's uh, it's rampant in today's society. Um, Kathy Yang is uh, a privileged woman. She got her role on her gender and her ethnicity. She didn't get a jo her role on her talent because she has no talent in as much as. She didn't have a body of work that was able to be uh, judged on merit. So um, they skipped those lines. She fucked up the film. It was garbage. And um, fuck her. <laughs> In a nutshell, uh, because these are privileged people that, that keep fucking whinging and complaining. Uh, and they're the ones who are getting all the, the jobs at the moment. Reet, um, where did we get to? So on a scale to one to ten, I would say uh, pretty high for Poison Ivy, mm, pretty low for Harley Quinn. Um, Isabel Luisa Pinto with a 10 euro super chat. This is my entire YouTube subscription list on the same panel, plus no uh. water. Oh my gosh. Really? Yeah. Do Gotham. Hi, next. Also, hi, Rex. Hello. Oh, well, hi, speaking of Gotham, hi. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You've got a. Um, mm. Jay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. I was going to say, I'm working on it right now. I'm trying to get out the first part by be the beginning of next week. Oh. And it will be an audio Gotham High. Yeah, yeah. It's basically us on uh, Discord <laughs> <laughs> talking shit about this terrible comic. Oh, God, I can't wait for that. It's going to be great entertainment. Uh, Baby Moon with a $10 super chat. I've so been looking forward to this. Thank you. 
Love you all. And as a huge Batman fan, I've watched all of each of your Batwoman videos for my own sanity and clarity. Blimey. Um, I lost love the my commitment. Brain. That is a lot of content to consume. Mm. That is I know. Right. Some, of those, some of those videos get pretty long. Yeah, I had videos. Sides. Some of the times is the fucking video was longer than the episode. <laughs> but let's just be honest. Every one could have been longer if we decided to really go into the minutiae of the mistakes. Oh, absolutely. But you just you just had to say, look, I have to pick out the most glaring ones and just leave the rest of the shit. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be here all fucking day. <laughs> Um, Ajia Singh with a five dollar, uh, five pound super chat. Madao brings the big gay energy. Oh, yes, she does in spades. Uh, James Moore with a ten dollar super chat. Oh, god, I got cancer because of this show. It's a bit rough. Well, just you just take dark. some of Mary's blood and it'll cure you. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all's video cured it. Uh, god have mercy for season two. Oh. And I lost 12 hours on The Last of Us Part 2. So I get to restart now. Yeah! Load's gone. Oh, you lost 12 hours? How'd that mm -hmm. happen? Um, maybe he threw his PlayStation out the window when he was playing the game. Because it's horrific. Heard it's pretty bad. Heard it's pretty bad. It's not good. It's not good at all. Uh, Bjorn with a 20 Swedish Chrono Super Chat. Does Batwoman use a double sided batter wang? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's one of Bruce Wayne's secrets in his notebook. Yeah. Um, I reckon she's got a bat dildo. No doubt. Okay, that killed the conversation. <laughs> no, no, we're in agreement. I got, no, a, a dildo is too masculine. <laughs> Uh, a rampant rabbit. Okay, that killed the conversation. <laughs> John Ellis Bush Bush with a two pound super chat. I Bush show never gets cancelled. I have a, I'm gonna make a bold prediction. I'm gonna say that Batwoman will be given half a series order for season two, and it will not return for season three. Mm -hmm. You're probably right. I'm kind of like, we had our fingers crossed for a second season. <laughs> Fucking sick fuck. Yeah, it's, I think the rating is going to be really high when it comes back because of all the hype. Oh. No, because of, <laughs> no, 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 no. Like it was, the show's the show's bad, and people, I think people are starting to see how bad it is because of because of the news that Ruby Rose just left, and people are like looking at that and people are at home anyway so they're going to probably check it out to be curious i, and, like, uh, yeah, I, think, I think so too i mean I, I don't i don't think it's coming back until january because of the global mm. situation so i think most shows are going to be on half season orders i think it probably would have been cut to a half season anyway even if a full season order had been on the table but now i Just agree though, there will be a curiosity factor at first um, that won't last long. No. Yeah, and then those those ratings will drop like a brick. <laughs> I think off. it'll be. I think they'll be even lower than season one once the interest drops. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely, absolutely, without doubt. Uh, drop quicker than Ruby Rose on Minge. Uh, oh, <laughs> five pound super chat. Will Batwoman be like the BBC? Continues the constant virtue signaling, despite terrible ratings. Yes, mm -hmm. I think they're going. I think they're going to go even harder because I have a theory, and I think a, a, a couple other people told me uh, told me this either on Twitter or in the comment section that maybe Ruby Rose left because she didn't like the direction that they wanted to go in, and I think they pulled back the SJW shit. Uh, either because they because of the reception for the trailer, and partly because Ruby Rose was like, you know, I don't like this shit. I, I, I'm not feeling this. And they probably entertained it for a while because of her injury. But after a while, she's they were it got so stifling. She was just like, fuck it, I'm leaving. But now that she's gone, they're gonna go full on. We're gonna get a new gay. <laughs> 
She's probably going to be black, maybe. And then we're going to go full steam ahead with the social justice warrior shit. I think it's getting only going to get worse. Mm, I agree. Because whenever these, whenever something goes bad, they they never stop and take a step back and go, you know what? Maybe, maybe we shouldn't be doing this. Maybe, maybe we went too far with this stuff, and we need to calm down, and we need to really kind of stop what we're doing here. I I just don't I don't see that being the case. No, uh, when 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 you got a show that's just about the message, then they're not bothered about any of the other stuff. It's just that it, it, it's going to go full virtue signal. Probably worse because they, I think they'll realize their days are numbered as a show anyway. Yeah. So they, they, they just figure, that. fuck it, let's just do what we want. Mm. Yeah. And you could tell, like, they were trying to, I don't like, they, they of course, this, they're social justice warrior shit in the first season, but you could tell it was subdued on purpose. Like, they wanted to go harder, but they left that for, like, singular episodes, like episode 10. Yeah. Like blatantly yeah. coming out and say, "Oh no, you're, 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 it's okay that you almost kill people because you're gay. You, you you've had it That's rough." About it. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. true. I mean, if if you watch the pilot, it was not quite as cringy as the promos made it look. I mean, it was yeah, bad, but not as bad as the trailers. So right. they did tell they toned it down a little bit after the backlash, but right. after, but after yeah. that didn't last long. Like after a while, they were just like, "Fuck it, let's just go," you know, full steam ahead with this shit. Yeah. And that gotta let a man take credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was... you fucking twat. Yeah, there's no way you advertise a show like that, and it's not it's not gonna be that. <laughs> because why would you make someone hate your show before you? You know what I'm saying? Because they they oh. think that shit is empowering to women. They think that's what yeah. women want to hear. They want to hear. Um, anti-male statements instead of just being strong and independent in their own right so they, yes. they works off the philosophy of putting somebody down as we see with batman all season pulling something down to try and elevate yourself that's their mantra that's what they do yeah it's not like any women have anything they devo- any men in their, in their lives that they you know that they care about that they can the point men bad yeah. kind of good <laughs> Um, it's such a a sad state of affairs like at at some point all these Hollywood writers stopped trying to create strong characters and started trying to create strong female characters and in the process all the really good great female characters we had in the past are either being like marginalized or ignored in favor of these new crap versions (laughs) like you can't Captain Marvel can't hold a candle to Ridley. Yeah, and and these people was, who support these really <laughs> shitty characters will tell you that like, it's not that's really Ridley. changed. Yet. Is it Ridley? We're talking about fucking Metroid. <laughs> it's, mi- it's Miss Ridley. Miss Ridley, well, and yeah. she is a space queen. <laughs> anyway, um, um, people who support like Captain uh, Captain Marvel and Ray, they'll tell you. Well, Hollywood's really changed. Like, we're just getting more representation. No! You cannot watch shit like Alien and Kill Bill and shit like that and then go to Captain Marvel and not see that there's a huge fucking gap in quality. <laughs> you, can't, you can't! You can't like, Oh, you're that. being you represented. See- you're being represented as terrible, horrible people who only <laughs> are asexuality. There's not actually a character there. You're being represented as bad people. That's how people like are seeing you now. With with Ray being on one side of the spectrum, uh, Batwoman being on the other, and Captain Plank being in the middle Captain of Plank. the kind of characters they make, where they're all terrible, but on one side they have good morals, quote unquote, and the other one they do not. Like Batwoman being the bad one, and you know Ray, she's yeah. If you watch the films, she's a good person. <laughs> it's not. I don't think anyone would deny that. She's a good person. Sure, she saves lives. She tries to protect people. Do the right thing. There's no like Marvel, reason for it. She's just good. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. She has no character. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it's funny because you think about Captain Marvel. She's kind of a combo of both of those. She has some really awful morals, but also she does have, you know, the do the right thing to some degree in there. So uh, yeah, Ray, Ray was, never had to overcome anything. She had no struggle. Well, neither did Captain Marvel, right? No. Uh, so people will argue. You can't, you can't empathize because there's no journey. No. 
There's no one. We can't empathize with any of these three characters. Either they're a monster or they never have to try. They just do. In the words yeah. of Yoda. Just <laughs> Um Okay, Muffet won again with a five dollar two chat. Is the work hero, Batwoman and Abby? Um they're horrible. I think what is, is the work hero Batwoman and Abby? War I don't quite get what they're trying to say. Never mind. Uh, Casey with a two year and 30 super chat. Being gay is her superpower. Pretty much. Being a marginalized woman is her superpower. Uh, Muffet won with a $10 super chat. Follows of the woman moment reality seems to believe. I think this is some real horrible autocorrect going on here. Uh, for, I'm going to read this verbatim so if this doesn't make any sense before you um, hit send everybody you do have the option to review your work <laughs> follows of the woman moment <laughs> realty seem to believe the trop that woman can do anything I think it's a trope that woman can do anything a man can 95 pound woman can overpower a 250 pound uh, guy with no training. Bruce killed the Joker. Well, she can kill Skin Man. She can not kill him even better. <laughs> yeah, but she can. Um, she can easily take out people twice her weight. No problem. Unless with... they play football. <laughs> yeah. And are black. Like yes. <laughs> there was a video someone sent me where there uh, there was a. Uh, an attack on uh, apparently the, there was vague allusions to both EFAP, J Longbone, and, and possibly you guys. I'm not sure, but the idea was that uh, this video is trying to criticize Batwoman, but it's like some people go too far and they make videos where they're like reacting in angry ways and they they, <sighs> they use cast member names and stuff so they focus ire on them. And then he was like, but they often don't even focus on the actual real issues. They'll be like, oh, a 90 pound woman is throwing around guys that are t you know three times their size. These are the same people who like shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, where a 90, 90 pound girl <laughs> will knock around vampire. And I was just sitting there listening to it, like, she's fucking, she has superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> Batwoman, people argue she has the suit, right? Which is something in quotations, but most of it, a lot of her scenes, she doesn't even have it and she does the same shit. Yeah. The most they did was be like, she was trading with crazy mug people in Iceland. And you're like, okay, but. She's still a twig. She has no muscle. Like, what? What is she throwing around? Yeah. And it's I think I, it's in one of our videos where I said, like, if a guy <laughs> fell on her, she might break an arm. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, that could happen. Just uh, she knocks a guy out who's pretty big, and he falls on her. She might die. <laughs> she is a very scrawny lady. Yeah, she's like like more so than you, what you usually get in these sorts of things. Like, she's very yeah. twiggish. <laughs> I think I may have seen. I think I may. I may have seen that video you're talking about. Well, yeah, I was sent it from my Discord, and I was just like, okay, that's not at all what we say. <laughs> but like, okay. uh, wait, what's the name of the guy? What's is it? A guy who made that video? I think it was a guy. Yeah, and this is the thing. Nobody's name dropped, but I was like, out of the five of us here, I was like, one of he must be mean one of us at the very least. Because I, I think I know this guy. I think he, cause we he are the my Batwoman fan club, internet fan <laughs> yeah. club. Yeah. Because I, the guy, I think the guy, I, I don't know if this is the same guy who made the video, but there was a guy who was in my DMs talking about, hey, you want to be part of my Batwoman video? And I, and I didn't answer because I didn't, didn't have, just didn't have the Aww. time. And then later on, I was like, uh, I saw his video, and it was just like, it, like, it's the same kind of tone you were talking about. It's critical, but at the same time. He keeps making excuses for the show, and I, I don't know if I got to, mm -hmm. to the exact part you were talking about, but I was like, this sounds familiar. It might be the same video. Is it? Wait, is it called Why Batwoman Sucks? It could, it could be. I really can't remember, but I, I know, I know that there's like this idea of like, you know, so what have you guys said that's positive about the show? And I'd be like, whatever. Like, come on. It's fucking garbage. Like the idea that we, we, the idea that we have to be like, okay, but there are some things like the camera actually captures the people on screen. You're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was like it the audio is mostly hearable? They read their lines and then the yeah. scene ended. 
I know there was this one guy who contacted some of us on Twitter. Uh, this was like months ago, saying he was making a video attempting to defend Batwoman and asked us some questions of like, have you seen like Batman Beyond and uh, have you seen the other Arrowverse shows and how much of them do you watch? Uh, I, I saw the video the guy made. I don't know if we're talking about the same one. Um, yeah, I, I saw it a while back. Didn't agree with it. <laughs> uh, you know. I don't, it's, it's, I, don't, I don't see how you can possibly defend this shit. I know <laughs> when we were watching Crisis on Infinite Earth, we uh, oh. one of these times after I think it was after it was done, we watched some dude and his reaction to it, and he was like getting teary eyed and he was like loving it. And Which I'm like, man, like these watching. people exist. Yeah. <laughs> some people. Oh fuck yeah, we watched that. It was like, yeah, oh, because I for a second there I thought you were talking about the um the one everyone knows, you know the the guy who reacts to trailers and cries his eyes out. That's that's the one, yeah. But like we after we watched uh, was it Infinite Crisis four or five? I can't remember which one, but we were like, who it likes was the this? one? It was we the one where uh, the Arrow dude dies, the Greenman dies, right? Well, he dies twice, so. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mean the first time, because <laughs> you know I shouldn't have to. Oh, they fucked that up so bad. Steven and Matt. Well, I mean, either way, we were we were like looking for people who were well because Brown Table was very happy with that first episode of Infinite Crisis, I believe, uh, Rags. So, <laughs> you know that, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was it was so bad. He, he 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 gets killed from those fucking those those CGI demons. And yeah, they the knock the yeah. fuck out of those demons so hard afterward. Like you can kill them just by like punching them one time. Like yeah, that woman killed him. French was killing these things. Like just with his bare fist, even though he's not a fighter at all. Like these are the things that killed Oliver. Like what the fuck was he fighting? In fairness, he, he died a second time through giant lasers or whatever. So there you go. There's your payoff. Everyone wanted that. Oh payoff. my god. They, they, he died at the dawn of time. Do you know how difficult it was for us to understand anything in that fucking storyline? <laughs> Dude, that, that whole that whole that whole crossover was garbage. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I could have gone on for days about how bad that crossover was. What a train wreck. Well, we uh, had no context for it, I and mean, we had to watch it. It was confusing, to say the least. They, the 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 guy who like got sucked into a wall and became some kind of wizard managed to move them in a place beyond space and time to protect them from the destruction of the multiverse. When you mm. say that sentence, you're like, hmm... I'm not well, sure I mean, I'm following. They're taking parts from the DC universe, but they're not understanding how they actually fit together and work. Well, the fuck yeah, yeah like, nothing was explained. So we're just like, yeah, okay, yeah, like, like, so, so much of that crossover was unnecessary because at, at any time they could have just gone back to the dawn of time and, and fought the, the anti monitor there. And I, I actually pointed this out like, why don't they just do this? And so many people in the comments were saying, oh, they can't because, um, you know, that. Everything was destroyed across all time periods, so that time doesn't exist anymore. And then that's literally how they how they win. Yeah, they just go back in time to the dawn of time. You guys are on a oh, doomed mission. Okay, Probably Probably didn't didn't you guys are when Batwoman killed uh, oh, Batman. But she's a paragon of courage. She killed Kevin Conroy. <laughs> it wasn't even just Batman. Kevin Conroy. Mm. <laughs> She killed Batman the animated series. <laughs> there is no home. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't uh, even bothered by it afterward. No. She she felt worse about killing Crazy Skin Man than she did killing Bruce. Yep. Yeah, oh, uh, she didn't even yeah. register that Bruce was a kill. I think she was like, well, no, the electric killed him. <laughs> 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 I punched him, but electricity killed him. Oh, God. Uh, Connor Logan with a two dollar super chat. What were some of the big physics screw ups of the show? Uh, anything that involved Ruby Rose and lifting? Anything, uh, well, yeah. Yeah. anything that involved yeah. her getting hurt every time yeah. would just be ridiculously <laughs> underplayed. That was just ridiculous. Uh, I don't think she could even lift a woman. Uh, <laughs> Night James the second with a five dollar super chat. Well, I've got to head to work now. I fully expect you lot. Still be here when I get back. Don't disappoint me. Bye, Wags. Bye. Uh, oh, I I need to. Uh, I'm wrapping up pretty soon because I'm 
my eyes are struggling to stay awake. You got this, buddy. But we're talking I, about Batwoman. I, 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 I have to yeah. start yeah. talking to you at some point yeah. tonight, so I have, to, I have, I can't stay forever. Um, sorry, I'm gonna gonna smash through these super chats and then we'll, we'll wrap. Uh, Star Trek of 58 with five Australian. No message, but thank you very much indeed. Taylor Ramirez is back with a five pound super chat. I like how you're trying to make any sense of the timeline. Tommy and Ned Flanders' age is just a mystery box of headaches. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love the. We have so many names for him: Ned Flanders, Creepy Skin Dad, the Creepy Skin <laughs> Man. Just like what Doctor Cartwright. That's another one. His alias is so. It's such, I love Ned Flanders. Just call it. <laughs> <laughs> I just end up calling him Creepy Skin Man. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're trying. To, we're trying to. We are. We've put more effort into trying to make sense of some of the stuff than they did. Clearly, like we're, we're know putting they in work. People to remember that there are other episodes. They just hope people watch it all as if it's one thing. And even then, it doesn't make any sense. One of the oh, horrific fucking series. Uh, Muffet one with five uh, dollars super chat. If the bat suit is impregnate, uh, is impregnable. Ooh. Impregnated. Uh, how can the uh, suit be modified for a woman? A woman is. When like if if an impregnable object meets an unimpregnable force, now you know which one wins. Now you know which one wins. You can. Uh, I'm sure that Luke got his um, darnings, uh, you know, set out and knitting set and did that for her because he's a super cutie and is made of soy. Uh, Star Trek of Fifty Eight with five Australian. Even in the suit, you'd have a bad concussion. Oh, oh, I see. You'd need a brain for a concussion. Did not realize. Oh, look no. at you. oh shit. Yeah. Uh, falling A's with a five dollar suit. I haven't missed an episode of EFA as J Longbone Orth. Now, what are you doing? Right, right. Right. Got it right this time. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, okay. Uh, reviewing Ask Batwoman. Before. Only watched the debut episode. Thanks all for the entertainment. Thank you, Falling A's. You're so welcome. You put in more uh, than most. <laughs> yeah. Lord Thorth with two Canadian. Virtue signal replaces bat signal. Only on Fox. And in uh, the background yeah. of my videos. Should just have a big V. Yeah, yeah, the big V. Uh, <laughs> big Fat Nerd with a five-pound suit chat. How about when Kate got Lucius's book and left it out while bonking Julia? Uh, then she nicked the book, could have left it in the bat cave. Yeah. We discussed that earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, the vagina was more important than her safety. Because I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but Kate is gay. <laughs> Look, the hell you say? Shocked. Everyone's in shock. They just did not know. I'm How? stunned. How? Uh, Silverman with two pounds super chat. Which is worse, Catwoman movie or Batwoman? Uh, oh Batwoman. my God. I would say Batwoman movie like an hour and a half. A, yeah, I haven't seen a Catwoman movie, so I'm just going to say Batwoman. Well, it's only about an hour and a half, but there's 20 fucking episodes of this shite. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to watch uh, that again. I can't remember how bad it is. It's <laughs> utterly horrific. The um, the scene where she's in the house with a woman's telling her about the cat women, and she <laughs> gives <laughs> a ball of fucking. What's he passing? Uh, she oh, gives her remember, a yeah. with some catnip on it. She's she's doing like playing with it in a oh god. You just oh it's, <laughs> that's her kryptonite, okay? <sighs> Why would it be a kryptonite if she loves it, Rags? That makes no sense. That woman could love kryptonite. I chihuahua. Just because she got a Norx out in that film with um the other Australian guy. Uh, Hugh Jackman, swordfish. Yeah, Swordfish, that's the one, yeah. Uh, the musical boy, now a tree with a five-pound super chat. Surely, part of the charm of being a superhero is the chance to become someone you aren't for the good of those around you. Uh, no, she wants to be a lesbian. <laughs> and that's who she wants to be. Um, she didn't do anything good. I'm, rack I'm really racking my brain. I can't even remember of anything she did 
There was a lady she saved in an alleyway at one point. That happened. Uh, yeah. Uh, technically, Um. I guess... I, I guess the show would have us believe that she stopped that train with the 400 plus people on it. Um, I mean, they supposedly yeah. hacker chick was going to stop it in time, even though momentum would have killed everyone in, the, in there. Oh, yeah. But yeah, she, no, Kate, Kate stopped it with her, with her motorcycle, her, her scooter. And her, <laughs> she stopped, she stopped a runaway train with her motorcycle. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> Muffet won with a five dollar super chat. Where are all the other superheroes that know Batman seeing Batwoman destroying his name? Um, well, if you've seen the CW, they are all absolutely horrible people. <laughs> <laughs> well, they'll probably say something along the lines of Batman went rogue and killed them. Why not? Why not destroy it all? Um, Big R's 169 with a five dollar suit chat. Darius and Jay Longbone, my long awaited team up. Maybe you two can set up an Inquisition type show and call it Deconstruction or something. Sounds gay. Sounds <laughs> late and gay. Uh, Jonathan <laughs> Bush with a five pound super chat. Can we please get Chris O'Donnell's? Dick Grayson in season two. CW will make it happen. Do well, it. He would Howard. be older than Bruce at that point, wouldn't he? Huh? I mean, Chris O'Donnell is, is older than the guy playing Bruce Wayne now, right? Oh, Chris O'Donnell must be, what, 48? No, he's 49. Oh, what a guy! Probably quite a bit older than, than the Bruce actor. Uh, yeah, he'd be about 37. Well, can't we just argue well, else will or whatever? Character. Multiverse, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're bringing the multiverse into the film, so why not? Yes. Like an- another universe version of Dick Grayson? Yeah, I, th- I mean, it'd be good to have like a Dick Grayson or a Tim Drake or something like that to have some sort of connection. Um, well, I mean, they, they did establish in the, the Crisis crossover that like, Tim Burton's Batman universe is a thing. In the multiverse, uh, I'm not sure how Chris O'Donnell's. I don't. I don't know about the Joel Schumacher movies. I don't know if we're calling that the same universe now, but there's a connection there, I guess. If you want to dig deep for it, I didn't nearly knock my water over. Um, Irish Bailey with a ten dollar shooter. Hi, Anne. it's been a while, but I think your last vid was awesome. An angry Joe should sue that person into oblivion. Also. Batwoman was terrific. Mm. <laughs> it spawned many a oh, hilarious cute video on your channels. Lol. Yeah, it certainly did a great service to the arts. Um, I th- no, I, I can't be that vain. I was gonna, but ah, fuck it, I will. I I I, th- I think that we probably had. Between all of us, I think we probably put some people off watching watching the show that would have. No, that's what we've been talking about. How good it is! Ridiculous. All this stuff is all. This <laughs> is all just speculation. It's we're just saying it could have done better. That's all we're saying. <laughs> yeah, we're saying we love the show. Can't wait for more, and maybe tweak a few things. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, the I just don't think we should fully praise. You know, we should throw a few criticisms in. And yeah, well, we don't. Today. I mean, nothing's like a perfect ten. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a nine point eight right now. We'll be doing a praise stream too. It will. It's a hundred hours. <laughs> no break, straight through. Uh, the musical board ninety three with another five pound super chat. Thank you, sir. Uh, epic crossover battle: Batwoman, Captain Marvel, and cosplay Doctor. Who wins? Known, of course, that the losers are literally everyone like us. Doctor Who, Batwoman, Captain Marvel. Who wins? Captain Marvel, easily. She's too powerful. The only person that could be Captain Marvel is probably Ray, and Ray wins because the plot is the most yeah. powerful weapon you can have. And it's yeah. Captain Marvel did get punched by Thanos, right? Has, has Ray ever suffered anything yeah. like that? 
I guess no. she got her life, her life sucked by Palpatine, but she obliterated him, so I don't know that, you know. Yeah, yeah. The, thing is, the thing is, I think it would be a draw, though, because no matter how powerful Captain Marvel is, Doctor Who would just keep regenerating, right? Because there's no limit on that. Just oh, oh, yeah, with, with, with the new cannon, yeah. yeah. Yeah, with a new cannon. What if you drop her in acid? What happens then? That I think she's a goner then. That could be nasty. Do it. Uh, I think, yeah, the doctor can turn off the ability to regenerate. Uh, Andres Antonio Gonzalez again with another 75 boobies. At Thor Thorias and Jay Longbone should uh, do an episode per episode a review of Birds of Prey 2003 and oh, how it oh, okay. I, I can't go back bro <laughs> we, can't can't go back. we can never go no, never go back I personally love Birds of Prey why <laughs> I'm not watching it I'm not watching it that's all I'm going to say I loved it I love that all. I love it all. Uh, the Musical War 93 with a five pound super chat. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but Jerry Conway claimed Birds of Prey failed because men didn't see it because of lack of sexy women. <laughs> didn't <laughs> want people to see it. I cannot watch content without sexy women. Even though crap. more men saw the movie than women did. Yeah. Uh, I think it was 56 to 44. Yeah, but, it, but it's our fault that the movie failed. Yeah. Okay, well, well, I, I, we would have brought our girlfriends, except you said we're a bunch of fucking incels. So yeah, so we yeah we don't do we're all virgins as well. I was I mean, told the movie wasn't made for me. <laughs> I only saw it to review it. You know, fucking what's her name? Brie Larson lied to me. She said that Wrinkle in Time was made for black people. We showed that movie to two black people, and they didn't like it. What 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 what, what am I to make of this, Brie? Hmm? <laughs> Liar! Disgusting. She, she just might be a retard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Musical Boy 93 with another five pound super chat. Google her and tell me the first thing you notice about her character design. Hint. It rhymes with Schmoob Schwido. Who is he to say anything? Um, I know Power Girl's outfit. She's got a knockers hanging out because she has the oval symbol there. Uh, the law reason for that oval symbol was because she wanted to earn the uh, insignia, uh, and that was going to be where the insignia was going to be positioned. But uh, yeah, it, uh, while she was going for it, she was showing her knocks off. Um, Mugsy Kids with five Canadian. I bet that when Beth sprayed Kate, the actress Rachel was thinking, I wish this was real pepper spray <laughs> for being forced to carry uh, this show. Uh, yeah, I think we all hoped it was going to be real. Um, Wait, is that, something, is that something people feel that the Alice actress is carrying Batwoman? I, I think she... Yeah, I think so, isn't she? Yeah, she's got the best acting chops of them all, I think. No, I reckon Luke beats her. Luke? What? Yeah, he didn't do anything! I mean, look, look, wait. I'm sorry. Are we story. are we are we treating the uh, Alice the same every fucking scene? She she does <laughs> pa pauses after every word that's really loud. She does quirky shit. She she moves her arms up and down. She she wiggles around. Yeah, she I does... think she was. I, I... <laughs> I, I think, think she's entertaining. Like, Luke, Luke to me came across as a very normal person. <laughs> and then there's the one scene where he cries, and I was like, I can, I, you, you, the EFAB will come out with it. It's the only time in the entire history of the show where the four of us are just watching it. We were like, oh. huh. Because it was like a, a character is being told by his presumed father's killer that despite having the blood of his father's uh, on his hands, that uh, he was innocent, he was framed, and that his father loved him. I was like, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, it was good. It was well acted, but f when he's just doing soy Luke, there's anyone <laughs> do that. Well, yeah, yeah I, I mean, look, that's what I mean. He's just he can play a normal guy. Like, hmm. uh, 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 for me, yeah. whenever Alice is on screen, I'm like, oh for fuck's sake, here we go. Because she, yeah. she does a little. They should have developed him, and they should have developed Mary with all the screen time that they gave Alice. I feel like we should just ditch Mary entirely and push all of the time for Mary into Luke. 
Yeah. yeah. What the fuck was the point of Mary? For the young people, because she likes Instagrams. Oh my god. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Points, I guess. But it's not like her story made any sense. Oh, Mary? Yeah. <laughs> what even is his story? I don't know. She she wants she's obsessed with Kate. She's obsessed with getting Kate's approval, but Kate treats her like she doesn't exist until suddenly she doesn't for no reason. And then suddenly they're like sisters because uh, the plot says they have to be. And that that was her story arc. Sounds great. <laughs> what I will say is you guys might be right because I remember checking the subreddit and the people who actually like the show love uh, Alice and her actress. They think like she's amazing, like Oscar worthy shit. So uh, you're probably right that she's yeah I know you're probably right that she's uh, <laughs> she's carrying it. In, yeah. It's certainly not fucking Ruby Rose. <laughs> she, <wasn't, laughs> well, she, she was trailing behind like a rag doll attached on a string. <laughs> like, it's like, well, see, I, see I, I like I like her in that she's the only person on the show who's like fun to watch. Like maybe not in a good, like not. In I, a, don't know. I, li I like like in, a, in, a, in an effective acting sort of way. But when Alice is on screen, I'm at least paying attention because I know she's going to do some kind of wacky shit. And uh, you you can tell the actress is good, even if the character is just completely bonkers. But um, yeah, there are moments when Alice, when, when she's allowed to like do some genuine like acting, when you can tell like Rachel Scarston is actually talented. But the, the character, the writing is what's screwing this whole thing up. Like serious hot take. Everyone on the show is good. Is a good. Is a good actor. Separate. Like, for, if the if the material was good, they would all be great, except for fucking Ruby Rose. <laughs> I, <laughs> Ruby I, Rose. I was gonna cut you off if you didn't mention that. Yeah. Situation. <laughs> <laughs> the Ruby Rose copy out there. Though I have to remind you, Catherine exists. I'm assuming she's an exception too. Oh yeah. shit! Right. I forgot about her. Oh my god. Oh my god. And we have uh, <laughs> Meadow as well, but. Uh... Well, she's just she a voice. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the guy who does um, Luke, he could definitely act. When he, that's that was a good scene. It was yeah, good he's. Scene. If anything, they should yeah. have been push, they should be pushing the shit out of him. Give him loads of emotional when, shit to do. And when he was macho, Luke, like he was actually pretty good. Yeah, don't emasculate him. Get the get the more alpha Luke and give mm -hmm. him that personality. And yeah. you've got a character then. You've got and, and, you know, we have an opportunity here. Batwoman ditches Gotham and he has to pick up the pieces and he gets vengeful and he goes after the guy who may have really killed his dad. Like, there's so much. We can do it. Mm -hmm. We can make non muffin Luke. We can do this. Yeah, yeah the they were almost. I guess. Oh, I was good. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, is that, they almost went there that one episode and then they just dropped it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Punching a punch bag and then decided it was it was too much. I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the upshot is that most of these people are not bad actors. It's just a terrible show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah they, I think I think we always kind of knew that because there are some directors that can force like a good performance out of a lot of people as well. Uh, that yeah, typically aren't Scott. associated with good performances. Yeah, Duke Gray Scott's a great. He's a good actor. He's a very good actor. He could not look like he gives less of a shit than <laughs> that. <laughs> so this is the thing. I've known him for a long time as an actor. When I knew he was in this, I was like, oh, cool. At least someone I recognize outside of Ruby Rose. He's so funny to me because it's not just that he's deadpan with everything. So he doesn't give a fuck. Sometimes he wakes up during sentences like, oh, I got to push the emotion. So he's like, he's like, say he's got to say like, where the fuck did you come from? He'd be like, where the fuck did you come from? You're like, wait, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> And, he, and he's just standing there, like straight face, like I'm acting. I think <laughs> there's parts where he's like, he's like really angry. I've noticed in recent episodes, like, okay, I have to be angry. I'll just throw some shit. <laughs> I'll really show that I'm angry. I, I want him to shoot Batwoman <laughs> with his <every time. laughs> I love that. I just love that bit though. When um, when uh, Batwoman stood up and realized she was surrounded, and then I might be I wrong. On the same side, and he just fired his gun. Yes, <laughs> great. Um, I might be wrong, but in the EFAP recording, when they reveal they've betrayed her and they're all aiming their guns, I think we're like, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, so Shoot a dead. Um, where did we get to? Yes, 
Take a 6 one with two, uh, two uh, US. Uh, Ruby is Australian. Uh, she said no. She said now to season two. There we go. <laughs> she definitely said now to season two. No. Uh, James Moore with a five dollar super chat. I've been rewatching Batman the animated series, and every time something brings up Kevin Conroy's role, uh, role, every time someone brings up Kevin Conroy's role in Batwoman, it makes me sad. That's because it was sad. Uh, yes, yeah, it's one of those ones where it's like, what, you would prefer he never plays Batman, li Batman live action? It's like, yes, I would yeah. prefer that that never happened. Yeah, I, wa I want it taken all back, and I don't want to see that, and I want it removing from my brain. I don't know why the fuck they thought any fan would want to see that. What in the world would they... And you're like, oh, they made a mistake. It's like, hmm, seem to be making a lot of these mistakes, don't they? <laughs> they they, they did it for a PR. Well, it's just, just like across... The headlines that would get it's weird how in the last three years even, it's just like Luke broken and cowardly, John Connor shotgun to bits by the T-800. It's like uh, Woody betrays all of his friends in exchange for going after some toy pussy. It's like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Toy pussy. That's a, that's a good one. Toy pussy. <laughs> then, there, then there was that whole Jake Skywalker debacle. Uh, oh yeah, I opened with Luke. <laughs> that was my uh, primary. I, I you're about the other Luke from the show. Oh, do you mean the animated version where they they like they make oh, they God. they reanimated the OT and they make it so that Luke like is terrible? Uh, Galaxy of Adventures or something? Are you talking about that? Or are you talking about someone else? No, I, I thought you. I thought. My mind went to Luke Fox. No, I don't give uh, a fuck no. about Luke Fox. <laughs> so Luke Skywalker. <laughs> uh, uh, Rel, uh, Rel owner with a two pound super chat. You make my days feel less boring as thank you. Well, it's uh, this these crew as well. Thank you very much indeed. Um, Sir Tom Rock ninety eight uh, with a two dollar super chat. The first. Uh, through 12 doctors destroy them all um well there is no longer doctor 1 through 12 there is doctor 669628 through to uh doctor 669640 <laughs> because they fucked everything up good it's better now ah! eric bailey with a five <laughs> This is your bill. This is for your therapy bill that, uh, for watching Batwoman. Uh, though your loss of sanity was our gain in entertainment, all the best you have. Thank you very much indeed. And Sean Rock with a $2 super chat. Thank you for the laughter. Go Bat Magnet. Go Bat Magnet. That was the first episode there, Bat Magnet. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, finally, we got uh, Boosh. I'll stick you on the screen, Stitch, then. Uh, actually, come with a two dollar super chat. When will Crow's headquarters get light bulbs? Uh, never, because <laughs> it's going to be persistent blue filter for here until eternity. Um, right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Let's wrap this up now um, because I'm absolutely dead. I'm dead. I have uh, to record my Star Girl review after this. Ah, uh, this week's episode was. It was all right. It was all right, I thought. It was all uh, right, -ish. Started off terribly, and then they did some good scenes. There were some nice scenes. It, it seemed consistent. It's it's higgledy piggledy, but there's some good scenes. I think. Um, yeah. So let's go one by one again. Let's let's give you all a big plug. Say hello to everyone and uh, plug your shit, uh, Molly. You get to do it again. I did. Cheeky. Oh, you already did. Is that yours? No way. I'll just take this time to be like, thanks for having me on. It was lots of fun. It was a good old channel. You guys should subscribe to this channel. if you. I don't know why you're here if you haven't. Weirdos. <laughs> weird, fucking weirdos. <laughs> um, thank you. Um, we'll have to do We'll have to do something together soon anyway. Uh, and oh, I'm, yes. I'm always up for anything, Dune. See if you want us for anything. Give us a shout. Sure. Uh, so we can have a shout. Uh, thank you very much for coming on. Rags! Hello, what? hi there. Well, um, if you want to check out more of my stuff, you can go over to my channel here. Rags, R-A-G-S, nice and simple. 
Um, haven't done a lot of stuff, uh, haven't done stuff in a while, but I'm working on a really big project to get back into the swing of things. And I think you guys will really, uh, really like it. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully soonish that will be wrapped up and completed. And also, of course, EFAP with Mahler. Why well, uh, do that every week? Uh, and we do the Batwoman um, responses. We do the um, the podcasts themselves, movies here and there. It's a lot to look out for. Hmm. There you go. Thank you very much indeed. Thorias! Thorias! Fuck. You got it. Right, second, second time. time. Uh, thank you so much for, uh, for having me on. It's my first time doing something like this it was a lot of fun. And, uh, to all of you guys in the chat room, uh, go over to, uh, my channel, Thorias Unlimited. I, I talk about other things besides Batwoman, uh, also, uh, Stargirl and, uh, various other shows. And I also do movie reviews and talk about comics and stuff too. So go check that out. Um, Dude, people, uh, Thorias is really good. I've been watching him since I started to see he was doing the Batwoman stuff. And uh, I did thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy uh, his content. And uh, he's very entertaining and very analytical, but in a good way, not a boring way. You, you, Thank you. You see things which, which people can miss. And I do like, I do like that. Thank you. I was I was told by a lot of, by some of my followers that you, you give me shout outs in your own videos. I had to go check those out. So thank thank you. That's that's no, probably that's my followers found me. Uh, and the other person that kept my sanity going uh, during the whole Batwoman experience, Jay Longbone. Hello. Uh, thanks for having. <laughs> thanks for having me on, as and. Nope. Uh, <laughs> if if you guys uh, in the chat want to check out any. Anything I do, I'm at uh, Jay Longbone on you, the old good old YouTube. I pretty much, you know, I make reviews, reactions, pretty much anything I want at in the moment. Um, oh my god, I just went up, oh, had a blank right there. <laughs> um, I, oh fuck! Boo! <laughs> I'm not good at endorsing myself. Oh <laughs> yeah. Your stuff is like I, you, you do some really crazy editing stuff, and it, it's it's yeah. really like both visually uh, amusing and also seeing your reaction to stuff is just fucking hilarious. Um, oh, and thank stuff you. is just fucking in a, in a in a way which just makes you piss yourself laughing. <laughs> and again, when I saw, I think it was a thumbnail, one of your thumbnails that I saw for Batwoman, because uh, I was fascinated by who was actually watching the show other than me. I thought because I didn't think I thought it's going to be the only person standing, uh, and then when I watched the first video that I watched of yours, I was just I just fell in love. I just thought you were fucking hilarious, um, and so yeah, you've done some amazing stuff with like just weird ass movies as well. <laughs> Thank you. Just watching some weird ass movies and editing <laughs> editing some fucking shit together, and uh, you, yeah, you watch Jay, you're going to have uh, so many giggles, people. She's fucking brilliant. Absolutely. Well, thank you. I got more weird ass movies to come too. Like I think I'm gonna do a reaction to 365 Days, that new fuck movie that's out that's everyone's talking about. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and of course I got <laughs> I got the Gotham High reading coming up possibly in the beginning of next week. So yay. Yeah. Awesome. Yay. awesome. Um, before I sign off, uh, members, we've got some new members tonight. So I'm just gonna quickly smash through them. Uh, Caparos has become a Stormtrooper member. Uh, Geeks the Corruptor has become a Stormtrooper. Uh, Salma has become a Stormtrooper. Fujimura Panzu, maybe, has become a Force Sensitive. Uh, Dank Moff Tarkin, love it, has become a Stormtrooper. Loch Ness Mobster has become a Stormtrooper. Automata has become a Stormtrooper. Connor Doherty has become a Force Sensitive member. And Riff Magos has become a uh, four sensitive member as well, and very finely Star Trekker with two Australian. Good luck getting Dick Grayson. <laughs> <laughs> bat woman, bat 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 bat. That's the only time we'll see Dick in that show getting in anything. Uh, so thanks once again, folks. Uh, everyone who turned out tonight, uh, we were like over two thousand two hundred of for most of the streams. That was fantastic. Uh, everyone who hit the super chat button, very grateful for keeping the channel going and. 
people, of course, who hit the uh, membership button. Thank you very much indeed. Mods, you're brilliant as always. My beautiful mod, my beautiful ladies. There's more dick. Look, dick came back. Dick, unbelievable. Look, he's desperately trying to get into Batwoman. Uh, my mods are fantastic, so thank you for being uh, simply amazing. And my panel tonight, uh, Mags, <laughs> Jay Longbone, and Therias. Thank you for joining you us. It. It was you bet. Awesome. I tried that Thank time. you. <laughs> Thanks for having always, me. Always happy uh, to talk shit. about Batwoman. <laughs> I'm hoping this is the last time I ever do it. <laughs> I hate this show. Uh, racist. Racist. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And uh, a bigot. I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now. Bye.